Stargate Book presents The Miracle of Prosperity Magic by Norval. Digitally narrated using the voice of Edward Herman. 1. The Miracle of Prosperity Magic Transforms Failure into Success. You may tap an astounding power within the universe that can bring you prosperity in every department of your life. I call this power the miracle of prosperity magic because it works like magic and it can create seeming miracles in your life. The moment you begin to release the power of prosperity magic, it will begin to work its revolutionary miracles in your personal life, your finances, your social life, your romantic and marital affairs, bringing you the fulfillment of every dream that you have ever had. How I Discovered the Secret Power of Prosperity Magic For more than a period of 35 years, I have advised thousands of people, including movie stars, producers, directors, business executives, industrialists, financiers, and famous men and women from all over the world. I have learned their secrets and discovered the methods they used for achieving fame and fortune. I have been entertained in their mansions, attended parties on their magnificent yachts, ridden in their Rolls Royces, Mercedes, and Cadillacs. I have listened to their fabulous stories of how they became rich and famous. From this accumulated lifetime experience of counseling more than 5,000 individuals, I discovered that all of them possessed one thing in common they used a formula which I have named the miracle of prosperity magic to change the circumstances of their lives. They have risen to positions of fame, power, riches, and grandeur, because they thought in a certain way and were powerfully motivated by some higher psychic power within their minds. You can now use this amazing power with effortless ease. Now you can use this amazing power of prosperity magic to perform miracles in your own life effortlessly. By simply studying these principles a few moments a day, you can begin to see astounding results in your life from the very first day. Gertrude L. used this secret power to turn her barren and impoverished desert place into a place of incredible beauty and riches. People beat a path to her door to give her money. Phyllis R. used one of the principles of prosperity magic to turn her dream of love into a perpetual honeymoon with her true soulmate after she had been denied love all her life. Loretta E. tapped the source of all riches when she applied prosperity magic to her life after ten years of marriage. Her husband suddenly presented her with a pearl necklace worth $10,000 and the deed to a new dream home. Sandra R. was a poor girl in Hollywood when I gave her the cosmic blueprint for her future life. Six months later, the Sunday supplement carried the story of her engagement to one of the members of a royal family. She then entered international society and was showered by every type of glorious experience. These are only a few of the miracles that seemingly ordinary people have achieved through the use of this magic formula. You can begin at this moment to utilize this secret power to bring you riches beyond belief, social prestige and popularity, romantic fulfillment and happiness that will make your life a glittering pageant of beauty, peace and joy. Here are the 10 miracles of prosperity you can create. Prosperity does not mean money alone nor does it relate only to success and achievement in business. There are ten various forms of prosperity that should be in your life if you were to experience every facet of success. The following ten forms of prosperity constitute the cosmic blueprint of destiny that should be in your life. 1. You should be a success as a person. This means you should be popular and well-liked by others and have the ability to make lifelong friends who will like you for yourself. 2. You should be in work that you enjoy doing and in which you can achieve the recognition and rewards that you deserve. These rewards should be sufficient to build a financial structure that brings you and your family future security. 3. Your dream of romantic fulfillment should easily be realized and a happy, prosperous marriage should be possible with the creation of a healthy, happy family of your own. 4. Your dream home must become a reality where you can build a family center that you can share with your friends and loved ones. This home should become the foundation of your family unit and bring you enjoyment, peace of mind, and romantic fulfillment with your true soulmate. 5. There should be sufficient money and leisure time for travel, entertainment, sports, 
cultural pursuits, and other activities to break the monotony of routine work and life. 6. You should be able to afford fine furnishings for your home, beautiful stylish clothes, and distinctive ornaments and jewelry that give you pleasure. You should also have modern luxuries like color TV, air conditioning, refrigerator and freezer, central heating and all other modem conveniences that give you comfort and enjoyment. 7. Prosperity magic applies to more than material treasures. There must be peace of mind and inner tranquility, the ability to meet life's challenges without stress so you can enjoy the things money can buy. You should be able to share in social reciprocity with your friends and find time to be with your family, your children, and the people who really matter to you. 8. You should possess a personality that reflects charm and personal magnetism and that is able to attract friends who want to share their lives with you. This type of charm and magnetism does not depend on a perfect face or body, but rather it is a spiritual inner beauty that transcends the physical self and gives an aura of beauty and radiance to the outer personality. Abraham Lincoln had such a quality of soul luminosity. 9. You should have an avocation or hobby in your life that relieves the tedium of daily work. You should be able to tap the creative centers of your mind and release your inner gifts and talents that bring beauty to the world. This desire to elevate the world's standards, to bring peace to a war for world, to erase poverty and crime, is a spiritual quality that can transform and change your life into one of glittering goodness, peace, and beauty. 10. Lastly, but most importantly, there must be soul involvement and an understanding of the spiritual laws back of life. These are to be found in the Ten Commandments, the Golden Rule, the Sermon on the Mount, and also in the revelations of the great spiritual leaders of the world's nine revealed religions. Where can you find the miracle power of prosperity magic? You can discover this astounding miracle power of prosperity magic immediately. It is not to be found in some far-off mystic shrine in the Himalayas, nor India, nor Egypt. This power resides within your own higher psychic mind centers. It is embodied within your own subconscious and superconscious minds. It is the concentrated life energy that exists in every brain cell, in every nerve and muscle of your body. When you learn how to tap this magical power, it releases prosperity magic throughout your brain and body in a flood tide of creative energy that propels you in the direction of the great destiny you desire. There is a cosmic force within your higher psychic mind that will shape your destiny in the image of your innermost dreams and desires. You can elect to become anything that you choose. You can rise to heights of great achievement and magnificence if you so desire. You have the power to select the level of income you want, because this superpower within you can bring you all the money you desire. You can direct prosperity magic to build a million-dollar fortune if you so wish, or you can be satisfied with lesser goals in which you have financial security, a home of your own, a business that brings you profits and enjoyment and love, happiness and fulfillment. Choose the part you wish to play on the stage of life. You can even choose the part you wish to play on the stage of life. Do you wish to be a hero or heroine? Or do you want to be a villain? The rewards that go to heroes are much greater than those that go to villains. If you are working out your life drama in a drab, ugly environment, you can release prosperity magic and transform your surroundings into something that is beautiful and resplendent. Life will never give you any more than you demand. If you have a million-dollar consciousness and elect to play the part of an important, talented person, you will easily attract large sums of money, good friends, love, happiness, and a destiny that reflects the wonderful events you have put into your cosmic blueprint of destiny. This man changed his life with prosperity magic. Philip T. worked as a clerk teller in a bank. He did his work well and was well-liked, but he never seemed to get any further ahead than his limited salary and job. He married a wonderful girl, but she had to work to keep enough money coming in to pay expenses. When a child was on the way, they knew that she would have to stop working to care for the child. It was at this point that Philip came into my class for lessons on prosperity magic. He learned that he had chosen to play a role in life that was limited. 
He soon realized that the only difference between himself and the important bank officials was in the degree of mental energy they expended on their careers. Philip made a decision to act out a different role in his life drama, one that would bring him promotion and importance and much more money. He attended evening classes in banking and administration. He began to dress more like an executive. He kept his hair trimmed, his clothes pressed, his shoes shined. He wore a confident, smiling expression. He gave special attention to his customers, and whenever he was in the presence of the vice president or president of the bank, he projected the golden line of magnetism between his mind and their minds. He had learned in our classes that you can project an invisible mental line to another person's forehead and think the thought, I like you and you're going to like me. You'll recognize that I have ability and deserve promotion to a better position. I now ask for recognition of my true worth. The miracle of prosperity magic worked for Philip. Within six months, the manager of his bank was transferred to another branch, and Philip was promoted to the manager's position. All the customers had noticed the way that Philip treated them with courtesy, dignity, and respect, and they remarked to the bank officials what a wonderful personality he had. So when it came time for the officials to choose an employee to fill the bank manager's shoes, they chose Philip. Do this exercise to program prosperity magic statements. Stand before your mirror and look at yourself. What kind of image does the mirror reflect? Do you seem to be confident, poised, and alert? Do you have a smile and a pleasant expression? Do you look like the type of person others would enjoy knowing? As you look at yourself in the mirror, hold your head high and feel a sense of pride and importance. Then repeat aloud the following prosperity magic statement several times. First, say your name over a few times. I am John Smith or Jane Doe. I now program my psychic mind centers with the following positive statements. I believe in myself and my destiny. I believe I am worthy of a great destiny. I now build my new self-image of charm, magnetism, and radiance. I wish to become successful in my work. I desire the best that life has to offer. I wish to have a fortune so I may have all the things that I desire. Every person that I meet will respond to me with friendliness and a desire to help me achieve my goals. I can be anything in life I choose to be. I overcome all my negative emotions and I radiate a cheerful, optimistic, and hopeful quality that attracts others. I shall strive to be worthy of the riches that flow to me in an unending and unlimited supply. You can repeat these positive statements every day when you prepare yourself for your various activities. Then several times a day repeat these statements to yourself. You will soon feel the sense of power that they give you, for as they enter your higher psychic mind centers and your subconscious mind, they will automatically be released in positive action through your sympathetic nervous system. Project the golden line of infinity to other people. There is a flow of magnetism that exists between you and every person you meet. To acquire greater power to influence others and to hold their friendship, you should learn how to project this golden line as Philip did. Each time you meet a person who may help you in your career or personal life, mentally project a golden line between your forehead and theirs. Then mentally pull that line towards yourself, just as though you were pulling in a fish on a line. As you do this, you mentally project the positive thought. I like you, and you are going to like me. I shall help you, and you will help me. You will advance my interests, buy my products and give me your time and attention, for I shall bring you something of great value. You will actually become a super persuasive personality by using the golden line of infinity. Throughout your life, you are selling a valuable commodity you. When you use these subtle mental commands, you are actually using hypnotic suggestion, but the other person is not aware of this. He will find himself unable to resist your persuasive techniques. A salesman became the best in his territory, using this secret. Dirk H. was a salesman with a home appliance firm in Los Angeles when I was conducting classes there. In the first session, Dirk admitted that he had lost faith in himself, and he felt he would never be successful as a salesman. 
Dirk completely reprogrammed his higher mind centers with the positive statements given above. Within two weeks he returned and told me he had outsold every other salesman in his territory. I kept in close touch with him for six months, and in that short time, Dirk won his company's best salesman award, competing with 25 other salespersons. Score yourself to see what degree of prosperity magic you already possess. Give yourself 10 points for each yes answer. If you answer all the questions yes, you will score 100 points. Obviously, you already have a self-image that can carry you to great heights. If your score is 70 points, it is fair and better than the average. If your score is 60 or less, then you need to work harder to implant the prosperity magic statements into your higher mind centers so you will become motivated in the direction of greater success, fame, and fortune. Answer the following questions, yes or number. 1. Do people react to you in a friendly, positive manner? 2. Have you had a raise in salary or a promotion in the past year? 3. Do your friends and relatives treat you with dignity, respect, and? 4. Do people gravitate around you and seek you out at social or business gatherings? 5. Do you function gracefully in the presence of others without feelings of self-consciousness or inferiority? 6. Do you have a positive and confident attitude towards life in general? 7. Do you believe it is possible for you to become rich and famous? 8. Do you feel that you have something of value to give to the world that makes you deserving of fame and fortune? 9. When you first meet people, do you smile more often than frown? 10. Would you describe yourself as being lovable, kind, considerate, and attractive? Work on the weak points you discover in yourself. Accentuate the good points that you already reflect in your personality and use them as a beginning point up the ladder of success. Apply all of the prosperity magic principles given earlier until they are incorporated in your higher mind centers. Then you will begin to radiate the self-confidence, poise, and power that will bring you greater success and recognition. She used prosperity magic to win a dig promotion. Geraldine R. was a very good secretary, and she received the usual salary for working at a woman's fashion magazine. After five years of effort, she still found herself in the same job without having won a promotion. She enrolled in my Prosperity Magic Seminar in New York City, and she began using the above statements and the self-image minor exercises daily. Finally, she was able to answer yes to all of the questions in the self-evaluation test. Geraldine then told me her secret ambition. She wanted to become editor of the fashion magazine. Now she added another dimension to her work instead. Of seeing herself as an ordinary secretary, she began to play the role of editor of the magazine. She mentally projected a brass plate over the editor's door with her name boldly inscribed on it. Geraldine began to make herself invaluable to the editor. She showed greater interest in the magazine's makeup. By giving suggestions at the board meetings and taking notes of each meeting, she became aware of future plans. Soon people began to notice her. One day the managing editor called her into the office and told her that an assistant editor was leaving the company. She offered Geraldine the job at a great increase in salary. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 1 1. You can use the secret power of prosperity magic to bring you great benefits in your personal life, your finances, your romantic and social life, and in fulfillment of your every dream. 2. Gertrude L. used prosperity magic to turn her desert place into one of incredible beauty and richness. 3. Sandra R. used prosperity magic to enter international society and to marry a member of the royal family. 4. Loretti tapped the source of riches when she received a pearl necklace worth $10,000. 5. Create 10 miracles of prosperity by using this success formula. 6. The miracle power of prosperity magic resides within your own higher psychic mind centers. Tap it and change your world. 
7. You can be a hero or villain on the stage of life. Find the million-dollar consciousness and banish poverty forever. 8. Philip T. changed his consciousness and was promoted from a bank teller to a manager in a few short months. 9. Learn the prosperity magic mirror exercise that can instantly change you into a poised, confident, prosperous person. 10. The golden line of infinity can be projected to the minds of others and give you hypnotic control over them. 11. Dirk H. used hypnotic control in his work and outsold every other salesman within two weeks' time. 12. Take the Prosperity Magic Self-Evaluation Test to see how you score in the various departments of your life. 13. Geraldine R. won a big promotion and moved up from a secretarial position in a women's fashion magazine to the job of assistant editor in a short time. 2. Build the million-dollar consciousness and let miracles in. You can begin today to build the million-dollar consciousness that will immediately enrich your life and bring you the miracles of money, fame, and glory. When your higher psychic mind centers are programmed with the million-dollar consciousness, you will see astounding revelations in your personal and business life. This awareness of your great potentials will instantly change your life from one of lack and limitation to one of infinite possibilities for riches. The word consciousness is from the Latin word conscrire, which means to be aware. An awareness of your unlimited possibilities for making a million dollars, as well as the fact that you can begin at this moment to think, live and act as though you were already in possession of a fortune, assures you that this can become an immediate reality. You already possess the universe and all therein. The truth of the matter is that at this moment, you do possess the universe and all therein. This is as true for you as it is for any millionaire. You have access to the same wisdom and knowledge that help them to accumulate millions. You can use this knowledge now to enrich your consciousness so that you will be inspired to build a fortune. Build the Million Dollar Consciousness You have the same breathing space, the same food and shelter available to you as any person who has amassed a fortune. You can enrich your life to the degree that you may utilize all these various elements for your own use, comfort, and enjoyment. You can turn on a radio or TV set and immediately command a symphony orchestra to perform for you, or a ballet company to delight you with its beauty, grace, and motion. An opera star like Joan Sutherland or Luciano Pavarotti can give you a magnificent performance in Tosca or Lucia de la Maymore at your bidding just as the Queen of England can order people to do a command performance for her sole enjoyment. This royal prerogative is also yours. You can turn on the electric switch of your radio or TV and have a 150-piece orchestra conducted by Maestro Toscanini, Leopold Stokowski, or Arthur Fiedler play a concerto for your sole enjoyment. These great men are no longer with us, but the million dollars worth of enjoyment and inspiration they have left behind can bring you benefits for the rest of your life. This awareness of your million-dollar heritage instantly enriches your life. Claim the riches of the universe as your very own. To build the million-dollar consciousness immediately, you can claim the riches of the universe as your very own at this moment. You can begin to think, act, and live like a millionaire, even though you have very little money in the bank or very few material possessions. Here is how to build the million-dollar consciousness. Start a weekly schedule in which you concentrate on a new facet of consciousness enrichment each day. Sit quietly in a meditation session and focus your subconscious mind power on the treasures of the universe, things that you might purchase if you really had a fortune. Each day for the next week, claim the treasures of the universe for your very own. Make positive statements that will program your subconscious and psychic mind centers with the true reality of these treasures that you now claim for your own. Write down each day's treasure claims and read the day's statement several times during the day, particularly when you awaken in the morning and just before you retire at night. Use the following prosperity magic programming statements for each day of the week and quickly you will respond to the miracle power of your higher mind that can bring you a million dollars worth of enjoyment every day. Monday. I now claim all public parks, beaches, and streams as my very own. 
I am aware that these beautiful areas are mine to use and to enjoy, as much as if I owned them. I am aware of the trees, the flowers, the little creatures who live in these parks. They give me great joy and satisfaction. I walk through these beautifully landscaped gardens and parks, knowing that I can share them with others. I now claim that these are my treasures and estates, knowing that they were created for my use and enjoyment. I go on picnics with my family and friends. I take pride in their natural beauty and am enriched by the awareness that I can utilize these treasures as if they were my very own. Why this prosperity magic statement will work for you The reason this prosperity magic statement works for you is simple. It imprints upon your higher consciousness the fact that you already possess an estate that is worth millions. If you had a million dollars, what would you do? You would probably buy a large estate in some exclusive section of town where you would erect a high fence to keep people out. You would employ one or more gardeners to keep the landscape of your estate in perfect condition. The cost of upkeep would be tremendous, and only you and your family could enjoy it. A millionaire built a vast fortune, but could he enjoy it? I once lived near Conrad Hilton in Bel Air, California. Down the road where I often walked with my dog, he had a sumptuous estate of many acres. A huge wall surrounded the many acres, and a high iron fence had a sign at the entrance that said, Keep Out. These gates electrified. Several gardeners worked daily to care for the expensive shrubs and flowers. There were trees that had been imported from Australia, and rare plants that required a great deal of care. In all the many years I passed by that estate, I never once saw any child playing on the vast expanse of lawn before the enormous stone house that cost $2.5 million to build. I never saved people entering or leaving the estate, for Hilton was usually in some distant place attending to his international chain of hotels. Although Hilton came to my home several times to parties that I gave for Hollywood celebrities, only once did he open the doors of his home for a big party to which I was invited. The beautifully furnished home was cold and lifeless, without the sounds of friendly voices or children's happy laughter. That home recently sold for $15 million. The taxes on that home are $45,000 a year. The upkeep in servants and utilizes runs into the thousands. You may have longed to own such an estate, but now realize that you can have all the benefits with none of the headaches that you would have if you had worked and slaved to have your own mansion and estate. Prosperity Miracle Number One A maid and butler built the million-dollar consciousness. Once, when I lectured in Carnegie Hall, a husband and wife sought me for counseling. They worked as a maid and butler for a very wealthy man who had an estate in a wooded section of New Jersey. The man lamented, Each day I drive Mr. Big Shot to Wall Street, where he makes more millions. Then I return to his home, his estate, and work to keep it up for him. My wife and I have been employed by him for the past twenty years, and we have nothing to show for it but years of hard work and enslavement. I then asked this couple, Do you eat your meals in that home? The wife replied, Oh, yes. I am also the cook, so we have filet minions, shrimp cocktail, lamb chops, roasts, and the finest of foods. We eat as well as he does, but because he has indigestion from worrying about his stocks going up and down, he cannot eat much and he doesn't enjoy his food. But my husband and I enjoy it very much. I remarked, Then you're eating like millionaires, even though you don't have all of his money. They looked at me with startled expressions, as though they were beginning to comprehend already what I was going to tell them. Then I said to the man, When you drive the limousine to work each day, do you ever take little side trips for your own enjoyment? He thought for a moment and then replied, Yes, I often go to visit friends in the city, and sometimes I take them for rides to impress them, I said. Then you are actually driving a limousine that you often use for your own enjoyment. Do you have to pay for the gasoline, the tires and the repair work on the car? Oh, no, I couldn't afford that, he exclaimed. But you have the use of a fine car a magnificent home, luxurious gardens, and the finest of foods. So really you're living like millionaires, aren't you? I asked. 
Also, this man had come into my office smoking a fine Havana cigar. So I said, And I'll bet you have access to his fine, expensive cigars. Probably you take an occasional sip of his best wines and whiskies. You enjoy the comfort of his expensive furniture, his leather-bound books, and whatever art treasures he has in his home. By this time, both the husband and wife were aware of what I meant, which I now expressed in words. In other words, you are both enjoying the luxury of this man's private estate, his limousine, his food and liquor, and at the same time you're being paid for these privileges. Now don't you really think that you're living like millionaires? Then they expressed the crux of the reason for their discontent. The man said, Yes, this is true, but we don't own any of these things. They're not ours, they belong to him, and when he dies, where will we be? To make a long story short, a few months later, I picked up the New York Times and read a headline that said, Millionaire dies, leaves huge estate to maid and butler. The couple who had visited me some months before had been named in the rich man's will as his sole heirs. Their employer had no children, and his wife had died some years before. The millionaire had undoubtedly shortened his life by many years in his efforts to grow richer and richer. Now his maid and butler would reap the benefits of all that sacrifice. Tuesday. Today I lay claim to all public transportation systems and make them my own. I can ride on these trains, buses, subways, and streetcars for a few cents. I can have the most expensive limousine in the world to transport me wherever I want to go. No chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce is as expensive or efficient as the transit system that takes me to work or to the beaches or transports me to places of entertainment and enjoyment. Enrich your mind first. Then, enrich your life. When you program your higher mind centers with this million-dollar consciousness, you stop worrying about not having an expensive car and begin instantly to enjoy what you do have. Now this does not mean that you should stop having the desire for a fine car of your own, but simply that you should act as though this were already a reality. In this way, your psychic centers will be stimulated to work harder to create a big enough income for you, so you can afford to buy yourself a fine automobile and be able to maintain it. Also, to help you build the awareness of the fine car that you will own one day, every time you see a beautiful car, mentally claim it by stating, I now magnetize my mind centers with a desire for a beautiful car. I ask for psychic guidance for the money to buy such a car. Prosperity Miracle Number 2 Young actor attracted a Mercedes with this system. When I was advising many of the stars of Hollywood about these prosperity magic secrets, a young actor came to me to learn how he could program a career for himself as a future star. He told me he had a real need for a car so that he could go to studios for interviews, but that he could not afford the type of car he thought he should have to impress people. I told him how to lay claim to the finest car he could imagine. He wanted a Mercedes, but wondered how could he ever obtain enough money to buy it. He began building the million-dollar consciousness by using the prosperity magic statements given above. Each day he wrote down this positive mental energizer. I now magnetize my mind to bring me a Mercedes so that I can be seen in a car of quality by important people. One day he was driving down Sunset Boulevard when he saw a Mercedes on a used car lot. He was impelled to stop and ask the price. It was so low that he was shocked, until he learned that a rock group had recently owned the car and that it was in need of a great deal of motor work. It was being sold as it was for only a few hundred dollars. It just so happened that this young actor had a hobby of repairing cars taking, whole motors apart, and putting them together again. He bought the car and restored it to perfect condition. He was able to so impress the agents and casting directors at the studios that he was summoned within the first week he owned the car to an interview for a substantial part in a picture with a very big star. That started him on the road to a great career that still continues. Claim the world's knowledge in your public library. Wednesday. Today I claim all the wisdom and knowledge in the books and magazines that are in the public libraries. I may instantly build my consciousness by absorbing the great truths of all ages that are in this public depository of knowledge. 
This prosperity magic statement will make you aware that you have the finest books that have ever been written without paying a cent for them. Imagine tapping the wisdom of Shakespeare, Socrates, Darwin, Leonardo da Vinci, Charles Dickens, Voltaire, Lord Byron, and Robert Louis Stevenson, as well as millions of other volumes that are waiting for you in your local library. If you had a million dollars in cash, you probably could not buy the books that are in an average-sized library in most cities and towns. You are already richer than a potentate of the Far East. Not only can you know the history of art, music, literature, science, invention, politics, history, and religion, but you can keep yourself up to date on all the latest knowledge about our modem space age, the latest discoveries in the fields of science, economics, medicine, electronics, and industry. Truly, your million-dollar consciousness will then reveal that you are richer than any potentate of the Far East, who never knew the marvels of modem air travel, TV, radio, motion pictures, telephone, air conditioning, plastics, and electricity. You are already enjoying the luxuries and comforts of these recent scientific discoveries, and therefore you can count yourself as being richer than the richest men and women who lived 100 or more years ago. To further add to this million-dollar consciousness, each day you should study something new, learn a new word, a new fact, and investigate the miracles of the world of today. Begin to show gratitude for the many riches that are already yours, which you are apt to take for granted. Command the great talents of the world to perform for you. Thursday. Today I claim all forms of entertainment that exist in radio, television, theaters, sports arenas, and other media. With a flick of a switch, I can tune in on millions of dollars' worth of entertainment daily. I can be entertained by the world's highest paid artists, comedians, singers, musicians, and dramatic actors all. These perform at my bidding. I claim all of these great forms of entertainment and education for my very own. For the day's subconscious programming, you need only write these words on a card. Today I claim all forms of entertainment that exist. Then on Thursday, Read that statement several times a day, and keep in mind the millions of dollars worth of entertainment that you have on radio and TV, as well as in theaters and sports palaces, and you will suddenly develop an appreciation for all the kinds of entertainment that are yours, mostly for free. Friday. Today I claim all of the art treasures that exist in art galleries, museums, public exhibitions of sculpture and painting, and all other forms of art. I absorb the cultural treasures of all ages through reproductions of fine art in books and magazines. I become inspired and elevated in consciousness by sharing these great treasures from the past and present. They are mine to appreciate and enjoy, and my consciousness is enriched by these magnificent masterpieces. The richest person in the world may not own these treasures. No matter how many millions of dollars you may have, you can never buy the great art treasures that grace our world's famous galleries. Rubens, Tintoretto, Titian, Rembrandt, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Franz Hals, as well as some of our modern artists like Picasso and Dali. All these and more of the great artists of all time have painted their masterpieces for you to enjoy. To build the million-dollar consciousness and to be able to appreciate the beautiful art treasures of the world, you should enrich your consciousness by reading about the lives and works of the greatest artist of history. Each day will be a triumphant procession through the corridors of history, through which you can truly appreciate the masterpieces that have been created by the greatest artists of all time. You will then be able to dwell in a palace of the mind, even though you may not actually live in a mansion. As you build this million-dollar consciousness and long for art treasures, you will magnetize money and be able to buy those artistic treasures that you desire. He gave the world $300 million in treasures. In recent times, oil magnate J. Paul Getty gave $300 million worth of artistic masterpieces and an art gallery to the world. He himself lived in a mansion outside of London, and it is said that he installed pay telephones so that his guests would not make calls on his personal phone. He may have been frugal with his guests, but his consciousness appreciated the true values of life, and he wanted the world to benefit from the art masterpieces that had been created by geniuses. He truly had built a million-dollar consciousness that in turn brought him a fortune. Every day appreciate the bounties of nature 
the gifts that God has showered upon mankind. The forests that supply us with lumber to build our homes and furnish them with beautiful furnishings, the water that nourishes our soil and brings food to sustain humanity, the seas that give abundantly of their treasures all, these forces of nature are working to supply you with every gift you need to enrich you and give you security. When you walk down the streets of your city or town, look in the jewelry store windows and claim the treasures that you see. You can magnetize the things you desire and soon have them. Use prosperity magic to imprint your desires on higher mind. Sit in quiet meditation each day and imprint the desires of the things you want upon your psychic mind centers. Use the following mental suggestion. I now desire the following things. Here state what they are. I know that these valuable treasures were created for me to use and enjoy. I ask my higher psychic mind to show me how I can obtain them. You can make a list of your desires, including the jewelry, the clothing, the car, the house furnishings, the color TV set all. The things that you wish to possess are already in existence now. To magnetize them, use the previously mentioned prosperity magic statements, and then sit back confidently and know that in some miraculous way, these possessions will come to you. Prosperity Miracle Number 3 Ruth M. used prosperity magic to achieve her cosmic blueprint of destiny. Ruth M. was in work that she considered boring, as a filing clerk in a law firm. There seemed to be no future for her, and when she took our course in prosperity magic, she listed the things she wanted in her cosmic blueprint of destiny. One of these was to become a fashion designer. She read over this blueprint each morning when she awakened and each night when she retired. She had no idea how she would ever become a designer, as she had only a high school education and no special talent. Her higher psychic mind, however, believed that she could be anything she wished, and in a few weeks' time, Ruth's uncle sent her a Christmas check of $2,000 to spend as she wished. The next week, when Ruth was looking through the paper, she saw an ad of a fashion designing school in New York. Something clicked in her mind and made her seek further information at the school. She enrolled in an evening course at the school and embarked on a thrilling two year study of designing. Ruth discovered she had hidden potentials, and after graduation, she became a fashion artist. Her sketches for some of New York's biggest department stores appeared in leading newspapers. She was now on her way to achieving her lifetime dream, earning a big salary and enjoying her work immensely. If you have true love, you are richer than any millionaire. Saturday Today I claim the emotional treasures that bring joy and beauty into my life. I accept the true friendship of all those people I meet socially. I claim the hearts and love of my family and my mate, and I now appreciate the sacrifices that others have made for me that have enriched my life in every way. I am blessed with a million dollars worth of friends and loved ones. You may not think of the million dollar consciousness in terms of emotional treasures, but stop and think of the things that have brought you the greatest pleasure in life the love of your children, your soulmate, your friends, and co workers. These are treasures that money cannot buy that you can have without giving anything more than sincerity and love. Sunday Today I claim the spiritual heritage that I have been promised by my Creator God. I am created in His image and likeness, and I now enrich my consciousness with the divine emotions of faith and love. Prayer and meditation are the channels through which I receive the golden treasures of peace of mind and peace of soul. My soul communicates with the soul of the universe, and I am guided through divine intuition to the fulfillment of my life's goals. Peace of mind and happiness, the spiritual gold of life. Many millionaires cannot have peace of mind and true happiness, and yet it is one of life's most precious treasures. To assure yourself of keeping these two most important elements in your own life, start each Sunday with the prosperity magic statement given above. All day keep foremost in your mind the fact that health and peace of mind love of family and friends and above all else, love of God, makes you already richer than any millionaire who ever lived. This formula is given in the Bible in these words, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 2 1. 
You can build the million-dollar consciousness that will begin to enrich your life immediately by programming your higher psychic mind centers. 2. Learn how you can possess the riches of the universe without great effort and how to benefit from them as much as millionaires do. Build the million-dollar consciousness. 3. Learn the prosperity magic programming statements that give you the power to enjoy a million dollars worth of benefits right now. 4. A multimillionaire built a vast fortune and lived in a fabulous mansion, but his life was not as rich as yours can be. 5. A butler and maid came into a fortune after they built the million dollar consciousness. 6. You can magnetize your brain centers to possess a fine home, a new car, or anything you desire. 7. A young actor used this prosperity magic secret and was able to obtain an expensive Mercedes car. 8. You can become richer than a potentate of the Far East and command all of life's art, music, literature, and other assets without a large balance of money in the bank. 9. You can use prosperity magic to imprint all your dreams and desires on a higher mind. 10. All the great values of life can be brought into your existence through prosperity magic, including romantic fulfillment, peace of mind, and soul serenity. 3. The Prosperity Formula That Never Fails You are now ready to use a magical prosperity formula that has brought health, happiness, riches, and abundance to millions of people. This formula is so simple to understand that anyone can immediately utilize it for great benefits. Since the dynamic law of action is the first creative principle back of the universe, this prosperity formula enlists the concentrated power of the three dynamic verbs of action, dream, dare, and do. This prosperity formula will set into motion the forces of your higher mind centers. This is where all the creative ideas you will ever need to build a great career are stored. The purpose of using these dynamic action verbs, dream, dare, and do, is to stir these higher mind centers into action. These powerful verbs release psychokinetic energy from your higher mind centers much like an atomic chain reaction. This energy literally explodes in the outer world in positive actions that can create miracles in your life. Your dreams and aspirations can release prosperity magic. You can begin at this moment to release prosperity magic in every department of your life through the dreams and aspirations you have for your own great destiny. Your life can be made into anything you can conceive of in your daydreams. There is a saying in philosophy, that which man can conceive, he may achieve. Can you conceive of a better life for yourself and family? Can you conceive of having your own successful business? Can you conceive of happiness, peace of mind, love fulfillment, and money to buy all the things that you consider essential for a full life. Dreams about your present and future life become the blueprints by which the cosmic mind that we call God is able to shape your destiny in the image and likeness of your dream. What dream shapes the actions of your life? Writing down your own cosmic dream will help in formulating your prosperity magic plan for the future by giving it immediate form. Use the following general cosmic dreams as a guide for your personal dream of your future destiny. 1. I dream of a perfect body, expressing health, energy, and vitality that enables me to live as long as God has a purpose for me. 2. I dream of peace of mind so that I may enjoy the fruits of my labor and the miracles that exist in life. 3. I dream of finding my own creative gifts and talents that can be expressed in my work. I wish to create something of goodness and beauty for the entire world, as well as for my own family. 4. I dream of having riches and abundance, so that I may have financial security for the future. This means rewards for my work and sufficient money to buy the things that give my family and myself comfort and security. Five. I dream of having a true soul mate who can share in the splendor and beauty of divine love. I shall strive to be worthy of such a soul mate by developing qualities of kindness, consideration, understanding, patience, tolerance, and forgiveness. 
6. I dream of having a family of my own, children that shall bless my life with love and goodness. I shall be a loving and patient parent. 7. I dream of having my own home in which to raise my family, entertain my friends and serve my community for the good of all. 8. I dream of having a social life and friends to share my happiness and to bring me enjoyment and fulfillment. 9. I dream of having a dynamic and magnetic personality that will truly express the qualities of God. These qualities are truth, joy, patience, courage, charity, forgiveness, love, beauty, peace, faith, and hope. 10. I dream of possessing psychic vision and divine intuition so that I may accurately foresee the tapestry of dreams that God has woven for my future destiny. Review your cosmic dreams several times each day to make them stronger. After writing down the cosmic dreams that you wish to express in your life, spend few moments each day reading them over and imprinting them upon your psychic mind centers. Choose the things that you want to materialize in your life first and spend at least five minutes in the morning reviewing these in your mind. Then give your higher mind these instructions for that day's action. Today I wish to have new, creative ideas for improving my finances and my work. I desire friends and loved ones with whom I can share my joyous. I wish to demonstrate money from unexpected sources' experiences. I ask for the perfect functioning of my body, thereby giving him energy and vitality to meet life's challenges. Project these psychic commands from your higher psychic mind centers to reach people who can help you achieve your dreams. Prosperity Miracle Number 4 This man projected psychic commands for a salary raise. Ronald F. studied the principles of prosperity magic at New York City lectures for several weeks. He was employed by a firm that had not given him a raise in three years. He planned on quitting and looking for another job until he learned about projecting his daydreams and making them a reality. He sat quietly for five minutes a day at his desk during lunch hour and projected the following psychic command to his boss. I wish to have a raise in salary or a promotion to a better job. You know that I am capable and deserving. I shall continue to do my work well and to be worthy of such a promotion. Ronald also projected this psychic command at night, just before going to sleep. He visualized his boss and also the steps that he would take to give Ronald the promotion and raise he wanted. Within a week and three days, the manager of a branch office in the city moved to Florida because of his health. Ronald's boss called him into his office and said, I've been watching your work for some time now, and I think you're ready to take on more responsibility. How would you like to become the manager of our Queen's branch office at a much higher salary? Ronald later said, it was like watching a dream unfold before me. I knew everything my boss was going to say and do, for I had imagined it so often that it became like a motion picture playing over and over in my mind. Ronald got the job and the raise in salary, and then his other dream for his family came true. He bought his own home near his job and began to enjoy the life projected in his cosmic dream plan. The thoughts you imprint upon the fertile areas of your subconscious and superconscious minds will reap the crop that is there within your thoughts. Prosperity Miracle Number 5 This woman planted seedlings of poverty and sickness. Doris T. turned toward mystic philosophy, wondering why she had lived such a miserable life. She had an allergic reaction to most foods and could not enjoy a good meal. To her husband she was cross and imitable. He left her after one year of marriage. She couldn't hold a job yet she had to support herself since her husband didn't make enough money to give her suitable alimony. In this distressed state of mind, she often thought of suicide as a way out of her problems. After Doris learned that she had been projecting a nightmare instead of a dream for her life, she realized she had the power to change her mental programming from negative to positive. She made out her cosmic dream and listed all of the things that she desired in her life. There were three things that topped her cosmic dream plan. 1. Fulfillment in love and marriage. 2. 
financial security for the future. 3. Children so she could bring up a happy family. It took Doris a few weeks to really release the prosperity Mag had learned in our classes, for she had long been mired down in a nut of frustration and misery. The first thing that happened was the disappearance of her strange allergies. Having a positive emotional attitude towards her life affected the chemistry of her body. Doctors said something miraculous must have happened to rid her of the many symptoms she had in the past. With more energy and vitality from her good health, Doris accepted invitations for social events. At a square dance she met a tall, blonde man who became interested in her. He was also married and divorced, and his wife left him with a five-year-old daughter to raise. Up until then, he had not been able to find a woman who would take on the burden of someone else's child. Doris fell in love with the child, as well as with the father, and soon they were married. The second and third aspects of her cosmic plan were fulfilled. Her husband owned a used car exchange and made more than $50,000 a year. She was soon living in her dream home in San Fernando Valley, California with her new family. Truly, prosperity magic worked for Doris in a few months' time to bring her everything that she dreamed of. Five things you can dare to do with prosperity magic. After you release the motivating power of your innermost dreams, you are ready for the second important step in the prosperity magic formula for achieving success. For the next 10 days, sit in quiet meditation and imprint upon your psychic mind centers each of the following prosperity magic statements. 1. I dare to be different. The great things that others have done, I can do also. In using this prosperity magic statement, realize that throughout history, the men and women who dared be different were the ones who accomplished great things. Newton dared to believe the world was held in place in space and spun around the sun by the law of gravity. Galileo dared to believe that the earth was round, not flat, as was believed in his time. Columbus dared to start on his voyage of exploration with the conviction that beyond the limited horizons were lands that he could discover. Franklin dared to believe that the atmosphere was filled with electricity and could be harnessed and used for the good of mankind. Pasteur dared to believe that sickness was caused by invisible microbes that could be controlled through the process of vaccination. Thus he paved the way toward the eradication of many forms of illnesses. Lincoln dared to believe that all men should be free, and that the country could be united after a civil war. Start the flow of prosperity magic from your own higher psychic mind center by daring to believe that you can achieve anything in your dreams. Start each day with this positive thought and strive to progress a step further in the achievement of your dream. 2. I dare to meet the daily challenges of life knowing that I can overcome them. Prosperity magic begins to flow from your higher mind centers at the moment in which you decide that you can conquer the many challenges of life. There are always obstacles in the journey towards your goal. Many people become discouraged and defeated by these daily challenges and finally give up and settle for a mediocre destiny. By affirming your ability to rise above negative circumstances each day, you will release hidden reserves of energy that will help you achieve your goal. Prosperity Miracle Number 6 Helen M. Dared Meet Challenges of Life and One Love Happiness When Helen M. first came to my lectures, she admitted that she felt defeated by life and was ready to give up. Her problems were so numerous that she could not tell me all of them in our one-hour session, but in summary, they were a husband who drank excessively, a mother-in-law who lived in their home who made life miserable, two unmanageable children, and a lack of money owing to her husband's drinking problem. I told Helen that her present attitude of giving up and running away would only add to her problems, so I advised her to use the dare part of our formula to solve these problems in brief form. Here were the steps I advised her to take. Give your husband an ultimatum. Give up drinking or I shall leave you. Demand that the mother-in-law find her own place to live. Since the two children were old enough to care for themselves, I advised Helen to get a part-time job to make more money. The outcome of this plan was that Helen soon found a solution to her problems. Her husband went for treatment for his alcoholic problem 
and Helen obtained a job working in a medical clinic from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day at a very good salary. Her mother-in-law moved to Florida to be with her other son and his wife, thus removing the contention from Helen's home. Helen's life flows more smoothly now, for she is no longer under the mental and physical stresses that were breaking her down. Now she can begin to look forward to greater happiness in her marriage and with her family. 3. I dare to develop my hidden potentials for greatness. You possess hidden potentials for greatness, which you may develop and use for goal achievement. Without developing these potentials, you may remain in work you dislike for years because you never dare to search within yourself to find out what talents you really do have. An artist found his hidden potentials and made a fortune. In Hollywood some years ago, a very poor artist was evicted from his room because he did not have the money to pay for his rent. He moved into a garage and spent his time decorating the walls with drawings of mice and other little animals. He found that he was happiest when he was drawing and painting. A few years later, Walt Disney won fame and fortune because of the skills he developed during those poverty-stricken years. 4. I dare to overcome the discouraging remarks of my family and my friends. Your inspiration for goal achievement can easily be dampened through the discouraging remarks of your family and friends. You must decide early in your career that nothing others say or do can dim your enthusiasm and desire for achieving greatness. Dream killers are all around you. Make it a point not to listen to their discouraging remarks. Prosperity Miracle Number 7 He overcame discouraging remarks of family to succeed. Richard L. had played the piano since childhood, and as an adult, he had dreams of one day forming his own orchestra. His family and his friends all discouraged him by saying, There are thousands of good musicians. You haven't a chance. After Richard learned about our prosperity formula, dream, dare, and do, he meditated to allow his psychic mind to guide him to the fulfillment of his dream. One day the answer came through. He found four friends who were all good musicians. They formed a group and put ads in the local papers offering their services for weddings, parties, and other special events. Since they played popular dance music, the phone soon hummed with activity. They were booked at social events that paid a good salary. Their reputation grew, and soon they had more events scheduled than they could take care of. Then Richard formed a second group, which was also successful. They engaged a good female vocalist, and after publicity on local TV, they were offered a chance to cut their first record. Now Richard and his group are on their way to great success in the work that he loves. 5. I dare to dream and think big, knowing that nothing is impossible for me to achieve. Prosperity Miracle Number 8 She dared to think and dream big, and won success as a writer. Wendy F. had three small children, and it seemed that the salary her husband made at his job in the factory never stretched far enough to pay all their debts and keep food on the table. Wendy told me of her dreams the first time I interviewed her. She wanted to become a writer, but could never find time to do anything about it. She did admit that she loved telling her children bedtime stories that she made up, and this gave me a clue as to what her true potentials might be. I told her, get a small tape recorder, which costs about $19. When you tell your children their bedtime stories, turn the recorder on. Soon you will have a complete record of all your children's stories. They can be taken off the tape later and sent as a manuscript to a children's book publisher. Wendy loved this idea because she could not type and knew nothing about technical writing. Although her stories were so different, so vivid and imaginative, she had no difficulty in getting a publisher to read them after her friend typed them for her. She gave her friend credit in her child's book of stories and also paid her for her work. Now Wendy is on her way to a fine career in work that she loves. Take these 10 steps to activate your dream for prosperity. To activate your various dreams, there must be the power of concentrated action in back of them. It is not enough to sit and dream about something happening. Many times this form of passive daydreaming will not produce visible results. 
It is important that you take steps to make your dreams come true. Sit in quiet periods of meditation and run these ten forms of action through your consciousness until you are so inspired by the concepts they form that your subconscious mind will begin to put them into motion. Repeat these ten positive action statements aloud or to yourself at least once a day. 1. I do believe in myself and my talents, and today I shall do something to learn more about my work and prepare myself for the greater prosperity that I desire. 2. I shall take the first steps towards reaching my goal. I shall write a letter, seek an interview, or look for an ad in the paper that will start the unfolding of my dream. I shall strive to make more money through my talents so I can have the things I dream of in my life. 3. I shall seek out at least one person today who can help me achieve my goal. I shall give something in return for any such aid that I may receive. 4. I now begin a process of study and involvement through enrollment in a special course in evening or correspondence school in order to improve my mind and acquire greater proficiency in my work. I shall then be worthy of the prosperity and riches that I desire. 5. I now take steps to transmute life's negative experiences into positive ones so that I will not repeat the mistakes of the past. I shall strive each day to tum one idea into something of value. I now tap the power of my subconscious mind and ask for that one golden nugget that can enrich my life and bring me fulfillment of my dreams. 6. I now take steps to cultivate my mind and build a more magnetic personality so I can charm the people I meet and make them want to be my friends. I refine my personality, acquire good manners, overcome grammatical errors, and develop a cultivated voice so that when I speak, others will listen. I smile more often than I frown, knowing that a smiling face is pleasant to look at and helps win friends. 7. I build positive habits of study and of work and play. I organize my life so that it reflects harmony, order and peace in my environment. I strive to have the cross of balance each day that will give me equal amounts of work and play, love and worship. 8. I choose life experiences that add to my prosperity and success. I avoid wasting my time and money on useless pursuits that do not advance my best interests. 9. I overcome my negative emotions of fear, worry, greed, selfishness and hatred and substitute in their place the positive emotions of courage, faith, confidence, joy, optimism and love. 10. I spend at least half an hour each day on meditation and introspection, seeking guidance from my higher psychic mind as to what course I should take in life to make my dreams come true. The dream, dare and do formula for prosperity does work. Follow each of the prosperity magic steps in our dream, dare and do formula for success, and you will see immediate results. This should be a formula that you practice the remainder of your life. For there will always be challenges and daily changes that require constant action if you wish to have success and prosperity in every department of your life. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 3 1. The prosperity formula never fails. Using the dynamic law of action, you can bring about miracles in your life. 2. Dream, dare and do three dynamic verbs of action you can use to trigger instant miracles in your life. 3. Your dreams and aspirations help release prosperity magic in every department of your life. 4. That which man can conceive, he may achieve. Unlock tremendous creative power through your own imagination. 5. Model all your own personal desires after the cosmic dream of the universe. 6. The ten facets of God's rainbow of golden dreams affect your life's health, happiness, riches, love fulfillment, and spiritual growth. 7. Ronald F. was able to win a promotion to manager of his business by using psychic command projection for two weeks. 8. Use the cosmic seed principle to produce riches and a harvest of abundance from your mystical tree of life. Nine. Doris T. won happiness in marriage 
financial security, and a family of her own by releasing this formula in her life. She attracted a husband who made more than $50,000 a year. 10. Dare to do five amazing things by using prosperity magic. They will assure you of winning fame and fortune. 11. Use prosperity magic to meet the daily challenges of life and gain victory and success. 12. Helen M. dared to meet the challenges in her marriage to a drunken husband and interfering mother-in-law and little money. She overcame all obstacles, saved her home, and gained success. 13. You can develop your own hidden potentials for greatness by using prosperity magic. 14. A Hollywood artist found his hidden potentials when he was forced to move into a garage because of lack of rent money. He became the famous Walt Disney of motion pictures. 15. Richard L. overcame the discouraging attitudes of his friends and family towards his musical ambitions. He formed his own orchestra and is now making large amounts of money. 16. Dare to take the first step that leads to fame and fortune, and everything else will fall into its right place. Begin in action, and it will fulfill itself without fail. 17. Wendy F. had three small children and could not find time to try writing. She dared to begin and became a successful author of children's stories. 18. Learn 10 dynamic steps you can take to make your dreams come true by activating your dream for prosperity and riches. 19. Utilize the dream, dare and do prosperity formula for success, fame and riches throughout your life. 4. Pave your royal road to riches with mental gold money miracles. There is a royal road to riches, and every step of the way is paved with glittering mental gold. You can work money miracles on your way to fame and fortune by using prosperity magic. It can turn your thoughts into the source for the gold of happiness, peace of mind, vibrant good health, and riches of every kind. In this chapter, you will learn how to sprinkle this pathway to the stars with the transforming magic of your own creative mind to bring you the true gold of life. Release the power of your creative imagination for riches. The power of your creative imagination releases the golden ideas that can make you rich. A person is worth only a few dollars from the neck down for the physical labor he or she can perform. But from the neck up, in the realm of ideas and creative thinking, one can be worth millions. Spencer said, It is the mind that maketh good or ill, that maketh wretch or happy, rich or poor. Here is how the creative power of your higher mind releases the mental gold that brings you fame and fortune. 1. Follow in the footsteps of the great men and women of history who have given the world priceless treasures. Pave your royal road with money miracles. History reveals the graphic story of man's upward climb to the pinnacles of great achievement. Each person who brought fresh, creative ideas to the forefront of civilization added another glittering paving block to the royal road to riches. The discoveries of these great people, their thoughts and their struggles make it easier for us to follow the pathway to greatness. Go to the public library and obtain books on the lives of great people who fulfilled their dreams. Keep a prosperity diary in which you list the various branches of endeavor that interest you the most. The following categories of man's accumulated knowledge will help you formulate your own study plan. Obtain from the great minds the mental paving blocks which will make your pathway of destiny glow with reflected glory. Their glittering mental gold cannot help but reflect in your personality in your thoughts and inspirations and give you the power to rise to your individual realm of glorious achievement. Study the areas in which you are most interested. Science Education Industry and Finance Politics Philosophy Religion Art Music Literature Geography Psychology Travel, Invention, History, 
2. Select the lives of those persons you believe will aid you in your march down the royal road to riches. Here are a few names of men and women who have added to history's pageant of achievement. Study their biographies and autobiographies and learn of their dreams, struggles, defeats, and conquests, and select from each person you admire a mental block of solid gold that can help you pave your royal road to riches. They have traveled the same pathway of life that you have. They have left signposts on this mystical path that you can read for guidance to the city of joy and fulfillment. The following names of people who have achieved greatness are not given in the order of those who are most important. Each has contributed something to civilization's forward march, and there are still countless thousands of others who can also add to the storehouse of wisdom and knowledge that you seek. Columbus and Marco Polo Except from these two explorers, the desire for the conquest of new horizons, the curiosity and adventure, some spirit that caused them to blaze new pathways to unknown lands. Galileo, Newton, Pasteur, Harvey, Burbank, and Franklin gave us the inspiration to dare to explore new frontiers of the mind and to discover hidden secrets of nature that can be utilized for our own conquests. Washington, Lincoln, and Jefferson gave us the mental paving blocks of freedom, unity, and democracy. Use their great thoughts to shape your future destiny with cohesiveness, idealism, and courage. George Washington Carver, Booker T. Washington, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and Martin Luther King Jr. strove for equality, the overcoming of racial barriers and freedom of thought through higher education, in which all people are equal in the kingdom of the mind and spirit. Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle ushered in the golden age of Greece, with brilliant philosophies and the establishment of an era of splendor in the areas of drama, poetry, and architecture, as evidenced in what is considered to be the most beautiful architectural masterpiece in the world, the Parthenon. No other age in history has equaled this one. In the Louvre Museum in Paris, most of the art treasures in its magnificent collection are from ancient Greece. Beethoven, Chopin, Mozart, Bach, and Handel have given the world majestic compositions that inspire and delight millions. They have paved the royal road to riches with the true gold of spiritual beauty and ecstasy that we can all emulate. Byron, Keats, Shelley, Shakespeare, Balzac, Dickens, and Hawthorne have created poetry and literature of the highest ideals that add to this historical procession of illumined souls. Their works give added dimensions of the mind and spirit to humanity's struggles for enlightenment. Emulate their great thoughts and inspired ideas. Learn the secrets of the giants in finance and industry. In the fields of finance and industry, do not forget the past and present geniuses who have brought us great benefits and freedom from the backbreaking drudgery and labor of the past. Among the people who gave us newer and higher standards of living are Andrew Carnegie, J.P. Morgan, Vanderbilt, J. Paul Getty, Henry Ford, and Guggenheim. Even the first Rockefeller, who had a reputation for being monopolistic in the early days of oil exploration, gave the world the Rockefeller Foundation that researches new scientific aids in the fields of medicine and health, as well as education. Study the lives of these people and learn of their exploits profit from their mistakes and be inspired to achieve your own golden dream of fame and riches. Women who have contributed their talents throughout history. Do not think that the royal road to riches in history has been paved by the ideas or deeds of men only. Women have contributed their greatness to this pageant of history. In back of every Lincoln or Washington, there is a wife or mother or sweetheart who often was the power back of the throne and who contributed the inspiration love and beauty that influence the character and destiny of every great man. Study a few of these women's lives and learn of their sacrifices, their suffering, their courage and their stamina that enabled them to write their names in the annals of history. Some of the great women of history who inspired changes. Joan of Arc, Elizabeth I of England, Queen Christina of Sweden, Catherine the Great of Russia, Madame du Barry, and Marie Antoinette of France, and Wally Simpson, who later became the Duchess of Windsor, exemplify the influence of women over certain historical events. Betsy Ross, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and Susan B. Anthony are credited with influencing such ideas as American independence, freedom for the slaves of the South, and recognition of women's rights. The lives of Elizabeth Barrett Browning, 
Amelia Earhart, Anne Morrow Lindbergh, Madame Curie, Florence Nightingale, Helen Keller, and her teacher Anne Sullivan, stand as evidence of women's contributions to the areas of literature, aviation, science, medicine, and education of the handicapped. 3. Use the secret force of mental alchemy to turn your ideas into money miracles. Alchemists in ancient days tried to turn base metal into gold, but they lacked the necessary technical ability to do this. However, there is a form of mental alchemy that can turn your creative ideas into money or valuable possessions. Sit quietly in meditation each day and enter the workshop of your imagination. Try and visualize the things you want in life, such as houses, land, cars, stocks and bonds, jewels, furs, household furnishings, anything that you really desire. Psychofocus the power of your mind by concentrating intently on each of these desires. You've no doubt seen how the sun's rays focus through a magnifying glass will soon burn a hole in a piece of paper. In the same way, the psychofocusing of your mind through concentration will release tremendous atomic energy that will burn away all obstacles in your royal road to riches and fame. Each day pass positive thoughts through your mind centers in which you see yourself going into your own business. Visualize yourself living in your dream home. Mentally drive your new car to work or for pleasure. See yourself writing books, painting pictures, inventing useful objects, composing a song that will sell a million records, performing on TV, movies, or stage. Visualize being a lawyer, doctor, nurse, teacher, engineer, electronic specialist, whatever you desire most strongly. The art of psychofocusing drives you through all obstructions and leads you to your prosperity goals with very little effort. Prosperity Miracle Number 9 Arlene S. used art of psychofocusing to achieve her goals. When Arlene S. wanted to raise her money consciousness, she discovered the art of psychofocusing and began using it in the first two weeks of her study. She chose four goals that she wanted to manifest immediately. She set aside time each day to psychofocus on each goal, spending about half an hour a day on her exercises. Arlene first wanted a promotion and a higher salary at her present job, which she liked. She focused on becoming the manager of her department since she had been there three years and was proficient in the business. Second, she focused on meeting the man she would love and marry. Third, she focused on having an extra $500 to spend for Christmas, which was three weeks away. Fourth, she wanted a new color TV set with a 25-inch screen. Her first demonstration came one week later at a church bazaar. The door prize was a color TV set that Arlene mentally claimed as her own when she bought the dollar ticket. Her number was called out, but she felt no surprise because it was the exact duplicate of the 25-inch TV she had visualized. With renewed confidence, Arlene now psycho-focused more intently on her other three immediate goals. At the church social and dance that followed the drawing, a man came over to ask her for a dance and to congratulate her on winning the TV set. Something in his personality pleased Arlene. A bachelor, he asked to see her again on a date, and she hoped that this was the man she had projected as her second goal. She continued seeing him every night for the next week, and soon realized that this was more than a casual affair she knew she was in love with him, and he seemed to respond in the same way. Then on the third week she received a letter from an uncle in the Midwest who sent her a $500 check for Christmas. When Arlene's boyfriend asked her to come to his home on Christmas Eve to meet his family, she knew he was going to propose to her. She had already made up her mind to accept him. Sure enough, on the way to his home, he told her of his love and asked her to be his wife. He even had the engagement ring in his pocket. When he introduced her to his mother and father, it was as his fiancée. She instantly loved the mother and father and knew that this was to be her family. At exactly the end of the old year, during a party for the office workers, Arlene's first goal became a solid reality. The owner of the business had just finished dancing with her. He drew her to one side and said in a very confidential tone of voice, I have a very nice New Year's present for you. Starting next week, 
you are going to be the new manager of your department at a very substantial raise in salary. You've been a good worker and deserve a promotion. Now, such an amazing series of demonstrations may not always come as close together as they did in Arlene's case. But if you persist in psychofocusing the powers of your mind on the goals you wish to achieve, one by one, they will all fall into place and you will see the fulfillment of your dreams. 4. Create a new self-image of yourself as being the type of person who is worthy of a million-dollar fortune. You will never be worth any more in life than you think you are. The self-image of success must be so strong within your mind that you will act as if you already are worth a million dollars. If you do not have your value already imprinted on your higher mind, then you must work to build that self-image of success. Stand before your mirror and repeat the following prosperity magic statements aloud or to yourself. Say each one at least five times. I know that I can be anything in life that I desire. I now build the self-image of a poised, confident, and capable person that does his job well and is worth the money I now ask of life. I imagine in my mind that I am in a successful business venture that can bring me a vast fortune. I now recognize that I have hidden money potentials that can make me rich. I now program my subconscious mind with the million-dollar concept. I begin to think, look, talk, and act like a millionaire. I radiate a loving, joyous, beautiful personality that will instantly win the attention of those I wish for friends. 5. Review your inner dream of riches and success daily, and never lose sight of your ultimate goals in life. The Bible says, where there is no vision, the people perish. So too, without your inner dream or vision to sustain you, life becomes purposeless. As stated in chapter 3, the dream back of your life releases the mental and physical energy that motivates you to the fulfillment of your innermost desires. Be sure your dream is one that is practical. If your dream is to acquire a vast fortune, make up your mind that you will do only good with your money. Have a desire to share the dream with your family and friends. Do not become discouraged if your dream is not fulfilled immediately. Remember, it takes God many years to shape a giant oak tree, but only a couple of months to make a pumpkin. Decide if you want an oak tree destiny or a pumpkin destiny. 6. Cultivate the quality of resourcefulness, which simply means creating opportunities for success when none seem to exist. Even during times of recession or depression, many people are able to make a fortune. During the Big Depression of the 1930s, a man and his wife passed their idle time by playing a game that involved the buying and selling of property in Atlantic City. They cut out pieces of paper for money and designated the properties they would buy and sell. Soon their friends showed an interest in the game and urged the couple to put it on the market. From this humble beginning 50 years ago, the creators of the game of Monopoly began building a fortune that ran into the millions. Prosperity Miracle Number 10 she turned the desert into a gold mine. Louise J. lived in a barren desert near Los Angeles. She had a small gas station that made her a comfortable living. Soon, however, the road that passed her gas station was abandoned when a superhighway was built nearby. Some cars still drifted down her road, but not enough to sustain her. Earlier, Louise had planted a cactus garden around her gas station that required little care and water. She had dozens of varieties of cacti, many of them with exotic blooms that often attracted the attention of patrons. One day a husband and wife stopped to admire the cactus garden and to get a tank full of gas. While talking with Louise, the man told her he had a large horticulture establishment in Los Angeles and that he would like to sell some of her cactus plants. She agreed and promised to deliver some of them the next time she went to the city. From that humble beginning, Louise soon had a thriving business. She raised and sold her cacti to various florists in the city and made more money than she did from her gas pumps. Look around you, wherever you are, for, as the saying goes, if you can build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. See different ways of improving your products. Find out about sales techniques and persuasive methods 
if you are a salesperson. Make a list of things you can do to increase your income and improve your life, so it will bring you greater prosperity. Write letters to heads of companies offering your services or goods and carefully explain their true value. Seek interviews with executives who might engage you because of your original and creative ideas on improving their businesses. 7. Have faith in yourself and your ability to reach high levels of success. Faith is one of the essential paving blocks of your glittering royal road to riches. Most people who achieve fame and fortune have faith in themselves or their product. A novelist must believe that he or she is capable of achieving success, even though all the odds against them seem staggering. An artist must really believe that it is possible to become another Picasso, even though many artists never achieve big sales. The joy of following the artistic path is so great that it should be satisfying enough to repay the artist for his or her efforts. A composer of music must believe that the spirit of Mozart or Beethoven can guide him or her to the same levels of success the masters achieved, and not give up after a few failures. Faith in yourself will give you the necessary motivation to keep trying until success is achieved. Use the following subconscious motivating statement whenever you feel your faith in yourself or your product is lagging. I have faith in myself and my ability to achieve a great destiny. I believe that I can make a fortune. I shall strive to work hard to implement my faith and to acquire the necessary knowledge and skills that can carry me a long way on the royal road to riches. 8. Use the power of your creative imagination. This is one of the most powerful building blocks in paving the royal road to riches with mental gold money miracles, for it is in the imagination that the links are forged that have a chain effect in building your great destiny. Most of the world's great fortunes were created first in the imagination. All art, music, poetry, literature, architecture, science, invention, technology, and industry were first conceived as mental pictures in someone's imagination before they were released as actions that led to great accomplishment. To increase your own powers of imagination, sit down and write out the ten most important things that you want to happen in your life. Then each day select three or four and sit quietly and imagine these things happening. Imagine large sums of money coming to you from a business you will start. See yourself in your dream home, entertaining friends, raising your children, and enjoying the comforts and luxuries of home. Project the images of the things you will buy with the money you will make. Wear the jewelry, clothes, and other expensive items you desire. See yourself being admired by others as you drive up in your beautiful new car. Choose an expensive make or a reasonable model, whichever you wish. But drive that car and have the pride of possession that comes with ownership. Mentally, take that second honeymoon trip with your mate and visit Hawaii, the capitals of Europe, the Mideast, the Orient. To make these mental trips easier, obtain brochures from travel agents and actually see the places you plan to visit as soon as you have the money to take such trips. Imagine yourself doing the creative work you enjoy, such as painting, writing, acting, singing, dancing, conducting an orchestra, or directing a stage play or movie. These creative images will lodge firmly in your subconscious mind and activate the power to make these imaginative pictures real. Without knowing how, you will soon be actually living out the mental pictures that you have imagined and doing the things that make success a reality. Prosperity Miracle Number 11 Juliet T. built a 175000 a year artificial flower business. When Juliet T. was left a widow with two children to support, she was in desperate need of money. She had never been able to go to work because of the children, and her husband's insurance was barely enough to take care of the family's needs. She came to my class with a highly skeptical attitude toward prosperity magic classes. The first thing that Juliet learned was to project the mental images of the things she desired. Her higher psychic mind directed her to an article in a magazine that said that many women were spending more than $3 million a year on artificial flowers for decorations for their homes and jobs. Something prodded her to investigate the field further, so she went to the public library and found books on the subject. She learned that the main substance that artificial flowers were made from 
was a fiber imported from Formosa. With only about $50 capital, she bought enough fibers to make about 2,000 flowers. Guided by the instructions in the library books, she created beautiful flowers. She sold them to various stores, but her biggest income was still to come. One night as she sat in meditation and asked her psychic mind how she could further expand her work commercially, she received the hunch to teach other women her work for a fee. She put an ad in the local papers that said, Women make extra money at home creating artificial flowers. 140 women a week soon enrolled, and her output of artificial flowers supplied 80 outlets that rented her beautiful bouquets to restaurants, beauty salons, dress shops, and other business places. Within two years' time, Juliet built her business up to a point where she grossed $175,000 a year. 9. Release concentrated mind power each day when you approach difficult tasks. Concentrated mind power simply means focusing all the mental energy you possess on any task that you wish to perform. The concentrated power of lightning will split a giant tree in a second. The concentrated rays of the sun through a magnifying glass will set fire to a piece of wood. The power of electricity when concentrated through copper wires to a motor will turn that engine. So too, concentrated mind power, when it is used creatively, will cause your life to blossom with good things. Each day concentrate for half an hour on the success you wish to attain. Concentrate your mind power on the objective of making large sums of money. Ask your higher mind for ideas that will bring you a fortune. A miser, even without knowing it, uses the power of concentration. He thinks of nothing but money, day and night. He counts it over and over until he makes his mind a money magnet. You need not become a miser, but you do need to use more concentration on money if you wish to find the royal road to riches. Concentrate daily on the reasons you need money, what you will do with it, how it will change your life, the gifts you will be able to give to people. As this flow of concentration is released from your higher mind, you will automatically do things that bring you the sums of money you concentrate on. 10. Have a high master motive back of your life, something worthwhile that you wish to do when you build a fortune. In the back of every great fortune ever built, there has been this important mental paving block, a high master motive. Here are the greatest master motives in the world. Use one or more of these as paving blocks on your royal road to riches and see money miracles occur immediately in your life. The urge to give your family security for the future. A desire to educate your children so they will have more opportunities than you had when you were young. The urge to better the world through banishment of war. Healing of the sick reforming the prisons and good use of political power, a desire to improve working conditions for millions, and to bring everyone equal opportunities for security and a better life, a desire to cultivate your mind intellectually so that you can better your own life as well as the lives of others, the urge to marry to, establish a home and raise a fine family, the social urge, a desire to have friends and be popular, a desire to create something of beauty to give to the world, this leads to the establishment of industries dealing with beauty products, cosmetology, decorating and art and designing, as well as millions of other products that help make the world more beautiful. The desire for the spiritual awakening that causes a person to believe in God and to have a plan and purpose for life that extends beyond money and physical possessions. This urge in mankind is the source of the world's greatest achievements in every field of endeavor. 11. Use the power of your own psychic mind to guide you to riches and success. Do not neglect this important mental paving block on your royal road to riches. Your psychic mind can guide you to the right channels for your talents that can gain success and riches for you. Sit and meditate daily and ask the higher psychic mind such questions as these. What work should I do? How can I make a fortune? Where should I move to? Should I buy or sell this property at this time? How can I get the $1,000 I need for immediate use? How can I solve a problem that worries me? Should I marry the person I have selected for my soul mate? How can I be healed of any physical impairments? Besides asking specific questions of your higher psychic mind, you can also ask it to reveal your true potentials for riches and fame and to give you inspirational ideas for inventions, songs, stories, success in business, or anything else you desire to know. This higher psychic mind knows your path of destiny and will help you achieve greatness. 
sit quietly for at least a half an hour a day, and court this higher intuitive power. Ask your questions or write them down. Take them into your psychic development sessions. Then, after you have asked the questions, sit quietly and wait for the answers. If nothing comes through in that session, go about your regular work, and in a flash the answers will come. Or else you will be guided towards a course of action that will gradually lead you to the fulfillment of the things you asked for from your psychic mind. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 4 1. Use your creative imagination to pave your royal road to riches with mental gold money miracles. 2. Follow in the footsteps of the great people of history. They will show you a pattern for achieving fame and fortune. 3. Emulate some of the greatest men and women of history in your climb up the ladder of success. 4. You can use the secret force of mental alchemy to turn your ideas into money miracles. 5. Achieve each and every desire you have through the art of psychofocusing, the power of your mind through concentration. 6. Arlene S. used psychofocusing to raise her money consciousness to become manager of her department and also to find the right man to marry. She also received $500 and a color TV set. 7. A new self-image can make you the type of person who is worthy of a million-dollar fortune. 8. You can create opportunities for success where none seem to exist. Louise J. lived in a desert place and found a way to make a fortune. 9. Use the power of your imagination to forge new contacts and create new opportunities for making a fortune. Learn the exercises that develop the power of your creative imagination. 10. Juliet T. built a business that made $175,000 a year by using the power of creative imagination. She started with a $50 capital investment. 11. Concentrated mind power helps you focus all your mental energy on goal achievement. Learn how to develop these powers of concentration. 12. What is the master motive back of your life? This determines the degree of success you will achieve. Read the six major master motives that are back of all successful lives. 13. You can use the power of your psychic mind to guide you to riches and success. Ask questions of this higher mind and receive intelligent guidance. 5. Magnetize a money miracle mind and become rich, rich, rich. You have the power to magnetize your higher mind centers to attract anything that you strongly desire. Your mind is a money magnet charged with dynamic money power. Soon you will see a steady flow of money and other valuables into your life. If you magnetize your mind centers with the desire for a home of your own, you will soon find yourself receiving the money for the down payment very. Quickly you will be moving into that dream home. You can program various sums of money into this magnet, $1,000, $5,000, $100,000, even as much as $1 million. Your higher psychic mind centers will soon devise ways for you to attract that money. You need never fear that prosperity magic will not work for you, because up to the present moment you have been using this power of your mental magnet for everything you have ever needed or wanted. Now you will consciously magnetize your brain centers with prosperity magic and see truly miraculous results in your life. From the moment of birth, your mental magnet has worked for you. At the very moment of your birth, a natural mental magnet began to provide you with everything you needed to sustain life. A newborn child instinctually turns to its mother's breast for the fountain of life without knowing that God has provided all the elements that it needs in the mother's milk. What instinct prompts this action in a child who as yet knows nothing about life? It is the power of the higher, intuitive mind that God has given to every living human being. Likewise, your mental magnet has been responsible for your accumulation of knowledge through education, which prepares you for your life work. The level of your income depends on this mental magnet. If you know how to magnetize your brain centers towards a salary of $50,000 a year, you can achieve this goal as easily as if you set it for $15,000 or $20,000 a year. This chapter shows how you can make your mind a money magnet, enabling you to become as rich as you wish to be. However, in learning how to magnetize your brain centers for money, you will also learn the secrets of magnetic attraction for other desires. Magnetism is a natural life force in your body cells. 
When you magnetize your brain centers to sustain life, you can keep your body healthy and enjoy a long, useful life. Personality can be magnetized to attract friends and love. Happiness. A magnetic aura will not only help you make the amount of money you desire, also its side effects are charisma and charm to attract others. Money magnetism can also attract valuable things even before you have the money to purchase them. Magnetic wavelengths reach the minds of others and cause them to offer you valuable gifts. Prosperity Miracle Number 12 Lana D. used her money magnet to bring her family security. A student of mine, Lana D. of Anaheim, California, drove long distances to attend our Prosperity Magic demonstration series in Los Angeles. She had a dilapidated car that often broke down and lived in a shabby small house that needed constant repairs. She had two small children to care for alone after her husband deserted her the year before. Her mother, who lived with her, was sick most of the time and could not help out much. In this desperate condition, Lana began her studies with me. She had one overwhelming need, more money so that she could improve the conditions of her life and assure her small children a secure future. Lana had taken a course in cosmetology during the early years of her marriage, but she was unable to continue her profession because her mother's condition made her unable to care for the children. Lana made her cosmic plan for prosperity and put the following necessities on her list. 1. To be able to work at her profession. 2. $50,000 with which to buy a new home. 3. A business of her own, financed by a wealthy person. 4. Marriage with a true soulmate who would accept and love her two children. 5. A new car. She even decided the make and color she wanted. 6. The ability to make at least $25,000 a year in her profession. Each day Lana did the prosperity magic exercises in this chapter and then confidently awaited the results. Within two weeks the magic began to work. Lana's mother went to a clinic and had numerous tests taken to determine what her health problem was. It was a condition for which she could be treated easily, thus enabling her to care for the children and do the housework. In the local paper, Lana read an advertisement for a trained cosmetologist for one of the city's leading beauty shops. Lana got the job and was soon working for a very good salary with commissions. With her mental money magnet now set on higher goals, Lana began to project an aura of confidence, poise, and power to her customers. She soon had a clientele of prosperous women who wanted only Lana to take care of them. This so impressed the owner of the beauty salon that she approached Lana and asked her to manage a new branch salon she was opening in the same city. Lana suggested that they form a partnership in the new business, and she would give her time and expertise for a share of the profits. The offer was accepted, and soon Lana had built such a great business in the new branch office that she had to hire more operators. To summarize Lana's prosperity magic success, within a period of six months, she had earned enough money to buy a new car and to pay a sizable down payment on a new home that she purchased for $50,000 the exact amount she had decided upon in her cosmic prosperity plan. Lana kept in touch with our study group, and a year later, during a series of lectures in Anaheim, she came and told me the miraculous ending to her cosmic plan. She had been going out with a young attorney for six months, and they planned to be married within the next few weeks. The man who had been married before had no children, and had fallen in love with her two little girls. Take these easy steps to make your mind a money magnet. 1. Magnetize your higher mind centers with these psychic motivators. Repeat these psychic motivators each day, as often as you can. Repeat them to yourself and use the ones that fit your particular needs. I now magnetize my mind with these psychic motivators. I desire the sum of $10,000 to bring me a solution to my pressing money problems. I magnetize my brain centers with creative ideas that can bring me financial security. I desire a home of my own and ask to be guided toward the means for achieving it. I have faith in my ability to become as rich as I wish to be. 
I wish to have my own business and make $50,000 or more a year. I ask my higher psychic mind to show me how to attract $100,000 as an overall goal for financial security. 2. Imprint your psychic mind centers with large sums of money. Build a big money consciousness by writing down various sums of money and imprinting them on your mind, as in the following method. Cut out 10 pieces of white paper, the size and shape of a dollar bill. Now write in the four corners of these blank pieces of paper, $10,000. You now have the equivalent of $100,000 in your prosperity bank. Start with this amount, and each night just before you retire, count out the amount of money that you wish to attract. You can count all 10 slips to give you a grand total of $100,000 for an overall goal. Or you may choose to imprint the amount of $20,000 on your subconscious mind for some specific purpose. This mental exercise will help to imprint your psychic mind centers with a new money awareness and get you used to thinking in terms of big money. Prosperity Miracle Number 13 This secret brought Amy L. $35,000 the first year. Amy L. had long been in need of a bigger income when she first came to a prosperity seminar in San Diego, California. She had a knack for decoration and gave her wonderful ideas to her friends for free. She had accumulated a large clip file of pictures from all the home magazines and subscribed to the two leading magazines on interior decorating. She had never thought of commercializing her talent until after my classes. Then one day, as she sat in quiet meditation and asked her higher psychic mind to reveal a method for making a fortune, the idea came through. She cut out pieces of paper and wrote in each corner $10,000. She modestly asked her higher mind for this amount of money to come to her in three months' time. The next day, she read the Sunday paper and saw an ad looking for a decorator to work with a man who renovated houses. Something in Amy's higher mind clicked, and the very next day she applied for the job. The man was so impressed by her presentation of scrapbooks of her ideas that he offered her a partnership arrangement. He would renovate the homes and she would decorate them. The houses they bought were generally rundown, with kitchens and baths needing complete redecoration. Amy thought of carpeting each room wall to wall with white carpeting, bought wholesale in large lots. She used convenient tile squares in the bathrooms and kitchen, and the man furnished cabinets for kitchen equipment. When the little homes were furnished, they sold easily for a high profit. This was before high inflation and interest rates. So in that first month, Amy's share on the first house was $5,000. The next month, two houses were finished and sold, and she had $15,000 profit. Before the end of their first year of working together, Amy and her partner had each cleared $35,000 and were on their way to making a fortune. 3. Create a treasure chest in which you store money equivalents to magnetize higher psychic mind centers. You can make your treasure chest from any small box, such as a costume jewelry or cufflink box. Label it my treasure chest. In this box put simulated treasures, such as a diamond, ruby, sapphire, emerald, or pearl. If you do not have any of these imitation stones, you can get a supply at your local five and 10 cent store. Also add the 10 pieces of paper on which you have written $10,000 in the four corners. Add to this treasure chest something that glitters like a piece of gold. Then write on several pieces of paper. The deed to my dream home. Stock and bond holdings. Other investments, such as income property. After filling your treasure chest with simulated riches, go through the box every night just before you retire and give your subconscious mind this prosperity magic auto-suggestion. I now claim all the treasures that are in this depository of wealth. I have planted seed money here, which will multiply and grow under the law of the harvest. I visualize a shower of gold descending on me from all sources, and I am now enriched in consciousness. My money magnet attracts me to all of these treasures. Prosperity Miracle Number 14 How This Treasure Chest Exercise Made One Man Rich Bill P., a student of mine in New York City, came to the Prosperity Magic Seminar several years ago. He worked in a sports goods store and made quite an ordinary salary. 
but he had dreams of one day becoming rich and going into his own business. He began his treasure chest and followed the instructions given previously. He wrote down the names of big companies like General Motors, General Electric, IBM, and other stock he visualized owning. He placed the ten pieces of paper labeled $10,000 in the box, and also the deed to his own home, the owner's certificate for a new car, and other valuables. For gold, he put a gold-plated cuff link into the box. The treasure chest was started in June of that year, and on his birth date, which was in the early part of July, he had his first demonstration. A relative gave him a gold piece that he had kept for some years. Gold at that time was worth about $35 an ounce. As he magnetized his psychic mind centers each night before retiring, he visualized his treasure chest as being stuffed with objects of great value. The next week, when he received his paycheck, something compelled him to look into a jewelry store window, and there he saw a gold piece called a Krugerrand. A strong intuitive urge made him buy it, and when he got home, he added it to his treasure chest. Over a period of several years, he kept adding Krugerrands to his treasure chest. Soon he had built a sizable sum, although the price of gold did not begin to rise until several years later. When gold soared to $800 per ounce, Bill told me later that he cashed in 200 gold coins, for which he had paid a very low price, for the sum of $160,000. Now he is on the way to even greater riches using these principles to make his mind a money magnet. 4. For one month right on the white margin of each $10 and $20 bill you spend, I bless you. Your higher psychic mind centers become programmed to money when you build money awareness. Writing down I bless you on every big bill you spend helps imprint your mind with money value. How does a miser accumulate a fortune? A miser loves money and spends his time counting his money. This is not a wise idea for general purposes, however, for a miser often denies himself the necessities of life. But it shows that there is a magnetic principle involved which helps attract more money. You can build money awareness in ways that are positive without being a miser. Use genetic programming to reap the harvest of riches and abundance. Just as there is a genetic programming of every species of life on this earth, so too there must be a genetic programming of your higher psychic mind centers with the seed or germ of that which you wish to reap from the harvest of your life in the field of destiny. Sit in quiet meditation each day for at least one hour and plant these seedlings of reality within your higher mind centers. Repeat these instructions to your higher mind in a firm, commanding type of voice. Say each one at least five times. I now command my higher psychic mind to produce in my life all the gifts and treasures that I desire. I now plant these seedlings of reality in my garden of destiny, knowing that they will bear fruit that is in keeping with the seeds I have planted. I now command my cosmic mind to bring me riches and abundance. I desire large sums of money so I may live the type of life I shall enjoy. I wish to help others achieve their objectives in life. I ask for money to help my family, to educate my children, to bring me the comfort and security that I desire for my retirement years. I command my subconscious mind to be infused with the inspiration and desire to manifest my own creative gifts and talents. I wish to rise to the highest goals possible. I wish to have my own business. I ask for more than $50,000 a year. I desire my own home, beautiful furnishings, a car, beautiful clothes, jewels and other necessities and luxuries of life that make me happy. How to plant the seed within your mind for riches and abundance. You are now ready to plant the seed for riches and abundance within your higher mind centers. This process of ingestion requires at least one hour a day while you are forming the success habits that you wish to become permanent in your life. It may take from two weeks to one month until this daily practice becomes so firmly fixed in your subconscious mind that it is as much a part of your daily regimen as ingesting food for the nourishment of your body. Concentrate now for a few moments on money and money equivalents and the things that you can do with money. Mentally visualize yourself having stacks of money to count piled up in a room. 
Count out $1,000 bills until you have a stack of $50,000 or $100,000 or as much money as you need for some specific purpose. The principle within this money magnetism exercise is that you are developing in your higher mind the tremendous power of the law of attraction. This law decrees that you shall attract into your life that which you are most frequently conscious of. Prosperity Miracle Number 15 Prosperity magic worked for Mrs. America 1980. Carol Ann McEwen won the title of Mrs. America for 1980 because of her powers of visualization and mental projection. When she was very young, she thought of herself as an ugly duckling who was overweight and unattractive. She began to mentally visualize herself as being attractive, and in her mind's eye saw herself as the girl she wanted to become. In the next few years, she lost 20 pounds and developed her mind by reading self-help books. She cut out pictures of all the wonderful things she wanted in life, a diamond necklace, a car, beautiful clothes, and a home of her own. She put these things into a treasure box that she looked at each day. When Carol and was 34 years of age, married and had two sons aged 13 and 9, her husband suggested she enter the Mrs. America Beauty Contest. She won the contest, and the ugly duckling turned into the proverbial graceful swan. She won a fur coat, a car, an entire wardrobe, and a glittering diamond on a chain that she wears around her neck. Everything she put into her treasure box came to Carol Ann. Because of that fame and publicity, doors were opened that enabled her to build a fortune and to have all the things she dreamed of. Go on a cosmic shopping spree and buy all the things you want. Imagine yourself taking a big stack of money and going out on a cosmic shopping spree. Go into all the big department stores that you are familiar with and see the vast array of desirable objects. Wander up and down the aisles of the store and examine the house furnishings, the TV sets, the hi-fi equipment, the kitchen appliances, refrigerators, washing machines, food processors, beautiful china, silverware and cooking utensils, and mentally claim each object you desire as your own. Pay with the money from your stack of bills and take immediate possession of the furniture, rugs, beautiful clothes, jewelry, and other personal treasures you wish to own. Then visualize yourself in your new home, purchased with your stack of bills, enjoying and sharing your new possessions with your family and friends. Your golden ideas may be worth millions of dollars. After you have given your higher mind centers the previously mentioned seed money principles, the process of ingestion for increasing your knowledge and wisdom begins. Realize that your golden ideas can be worth millions of dollars. Someone said that a person is worth only a few dollars from the neck down, but from the neck up, he or she can be worth millions. Programming your higher mind centers with creative ideas can make you a millionaire. To magnetize your brain centers with million-dollar ideas, obtain books from the library that deal with the lives of great people who have achieved fame and fortune. To make your fortune through industry and business procedures, study the lives of people like J.C. Penney, Sears and Roebuck, Henry Ford, Tom Watson of IBM, Gimbel, Macy, Wanamaker Vanderbilt, J.P. Morgan, J. Paul Getty, W. Clement Stone, the Hunt Brothers of Texas, Onassis, Howard Hughes, Charles Revlon, Helena Rubinstein, and Conrad Hilton. Conrad Hilton built a hotel empire using this secret. From the lives of these people you study, use the one central idea that made them rich. Write this down in your money diary. For example, the central theme back of Hilton and his worldwide hotel chain would be, I shall give the best possible service to every one of my guests. The late Conrad Hilton came to my home in Bel Air, California, and told me the astounding story of his success. When he was a young man in Texas, he bought his first rooming house and made up his mind that he would one day own the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. He said, I made up my mind that I would have a chain of hotels around the world that would give the best possible service to my guests. From that humble beginning, Hilton imprinted his higher psychic mind centers with the magnetic thought of owning a chain of hotels and giving the best service, comfort, and luxury to each and every one of his guests. This formula worked to make him rich and famous. The inspiration he received from his work kept him alive and healthy to the ripe old age of 90. 
you can become a great artist through using this secret. If you wish to build a fortune as an artist, obtain all the books you can about the world's greatest artists. The stories behind their lives will inspire you. A painting by Picasso recently sold at an auction for $3 million. A Van Gogh brought $5 million. Study the lives of the classical artists, but do not neglect painters of more recent times. If you wish to become a famous composer, follow this plan. If your fortune is to be made through musical compositions or the performing arts, learn all you can about music, recording, marketing, and the promotion of your works. Study the lives of such great masters as Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, Tchaikovsky, and Bach, but also learn about the works of Irving Berlin, George Gershwin, Cole Porter, Richard Hammerstein, and Burt Bacharach. Study the careers of great singers, actors, and dancers. Learn all you can about the theater and the performing arts, so that your subconscious mind is deeply imprinted with the success formula used by every famous artist of the present and the past. Use this formula if you wish to become a great writer. If your desire is to build a fortune through writing novels, articles, drama, or poetry, make it a point to ingest all the information you can from the lives of great writers. From Shakespeare through modern times, including writers like Tennessee Williams, Harold Robbins, Norman Mailer, and Patrick White, as well as any other you may admire or wish to emulate. Create a psychic money portfolio to imprint ideas of riches. Create a psychic money portfolio for pieces of paper signifying important documents, such as the deed to your dream home, large pieces of land and industrial property, the names of stocks you would buy if you had a fortune, such as General Motors, American Telephone and Telegraph, General Electric, United States Steel, IBM, Xerox, Sears, Kodak, or other stocks that you see listed in the financial pages. Watch the rise and fall of these stocks for a period of a month or two and keep a record of all your imaginary transactions, noting the profits and losses. This mental exercise helps you magnetize your brain centers with the idea of the riches that might be obtained through playing the stock market. To further magnetize your higher mind centers with money-making ideas, study the pages of the daily newspapers and learn about the stock market, the investment field, insurance, real estate, banking, and finances in general. Read magazines like Forbes, Fortune, and the Wall Street Journal. As you get into the habit of thinking in terms of large sums of money, you will grow accustomed to handling larger sums, which will help you make a fortune. Make a million through real estate deals using this method. Read the information in your daily papers about the real estate market. Buy pieces of property in your mind and make it a point to know the values of real estate in the current market. As you accustom your higher mind centers to these large figures, you will gradually magnetize yourself to a point where you will receive ideas from your subconscious mind about ways to get the money you need to buy real estate. Think in terms of large sums of money, and you will soon have them. Exercise your higher psychic mind centers by writing down large figures that make you think in terms of quantity. Start with the figure 20. Double this, and you have 40. By doubling each sum up to $1 million, you will gradually become accustomed to thinking in large sums of money. If you double only one cent a day for 30 days, you will have a figure in the billions. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 5 1. You can create money miracles by magnetizing your mind centers with various sums of money ranging from $1,000 to $100,000. 2. Your mental magnet attracts anything in life that you desire intensely. Attract friends, love happiness, new business prospects, and large amounts of money through this magnet. 3. Lana D. used her money magnet to obtain a home worth $50,000 as well as a business of her own financed by a wealthy person. 4. Learn the psychic motivators that can help you make your mind a money magnet. 5. Build a big money consciousness by imprinting upon your psychic mind centers. Learn how to make a money magnet for up to $1 million. 6. Amy L. used the money magnet exercise to bring her $35,000 in one year. She is now on her way to making a fortune. 7. 
Create a treasure chest that magnetizes your higher mind centers with money, jewelry, houses, land, a car, a color TV set, or anything else you desire. 8. Bill P. used this secret to buy gold Krugerrands while they were cheap and make $160,000 upon cashing them in. 9. Plant the seedlings of reality in your garden of destiny for money and money equivalents. 10. Mrs. America tells how she projected the title and the fortune that came to her with the treasure box secret. 11. Go on a cosmic shopping spree and buy all the things you want by programming them into your higher psychic mind centers. 12. Pick the brains of people who became multimillionaires and learn how to make the same fortune they did. 13. Find out Conrad Hilton's secret for the success of his worldwide hotel empire. 14. Create a psychic money portfolio and keep in it the names of stocks you wish to own, the deed to a dream home, real estate, and other things of value that you desire. 6. The money miracle ritual that lies in your subconscious. There is an amazing money miracle ritual that you can use to program your subconscious mind to attract all the wealth you will ever need. A higher power within your consciousness actually knows the secrets for making you rich beyond your wildest dreams. This power is locked up within your subconscious mind and you can release its steady flow of dynamic energy to bring you untold riches and abundance. This higher mind operates within your own psychic centers and keeps the body and its organs functioning perfectly. This same power, working through your mother's subconscious mind, created you in nine months' time. Turn to this higher psychic mind whenever you wish guidance. Turn to this higher psychic mind whenever you need guidance in your life. Locked up within your own psychic centers is the cosmic intelligence that knows all, sees all, and is all. You will now be shown how to release prosperity magic through your psychic mind centers for all your present and future needs. These five subconscious stimulators release prosperity motivation. There are five subconscious stimulators that release prosperity motivation in your own life. Expand your own higher psychic mind centers by using these subconscious stimulators to motivate you in the direction of your goal. Subconscious stimulator number one. I believe in the miracle power that lies within my own psychic mind centers. Faith in itself is a miraculous power that can transform your life into one of radiant fulfillment. Each day use this psychic stimulator to stir the lambent forces within your subconscious and superconscious minds into dynamic action. Sit in quiet meditation and assemble all your psychic reserves that lie dormant within your higher mind centers. Use the following dynamic statements to release this psychic power and guide you to the fulfillment of all your dreams. I believe in the miracle power of my own prosperity magic. I believe that my higher psychic mind centers know the great destiny I can achieve, and that I am now being guided to the fulfillment of that glorious destiny. I believe in myself, and that my God-given talents will carve out a great career in my chosen field. Your own higher psychic mind will guide you through the voice of divine intuition. You will automatically take the right steps, do the right things, and find the right pathway to achieve your goals, for you are putting yourself under the automatic control of your higher mind that knows your destiny. Prosperity Miracle Number 16 Psychic Mind guided this couple to building a vast fortune. When Flo and Ted K came into our prosperity seminar in Los Angeles, they were faced with enormous financial problems. The mortgage on their home was in arrears, their two children had to be educated and provided for, and a sick mother required money for medical bills. Obviously, this couple needed prosperity magic quickly if they were to be saved from disaster. I mentioned in one of the class lessons how a person's psychic mind knows intuitively the solution to every problem, and also to turn within and ask the question, What hast thou in thine house? After the lesson, Flo and Ted came to me and said, We've asked ourselves that question, but we have nothing except a useless piece of desert land between the border of California and Mexico. Nothing grows there. The land is ruined by a bubbling sulfur spring that flows continuously and is absolutely useless. The land was left to us by an elderly and who died recently. 
I told them. Go into meditation and affirm the reality back of your psychic mind. It knows what you should do. Think about that worthless piece of land. Question your higher mind as to what you can do to turn it into something profitable. They looked skeptical, and at the end of the series, I lost sight of them. A few months later, they came to my office, both smiling happily. Guess what? Ted said. You know the worthless desert land we told you about. Well, my wife and I sat in meditation for an hour a day asking for psychic guidance. We received the message that we should try to commercialize that land. We went down there and camped in a trailer for two weeks, waiting for the right answer. It came to us one day when Flo and I were waiting in the pool of hot water that came bubbling up from the ground. Why not open a health spa here that would attract people who suffered from ailments that could be helped by mineral baths? The upshot of this was that Ted and Flo returned to their home in Los Angeles. They asked their family doctor how to go about turning their land into a health spa. It just so happened that the doctor was a specialist in arthritis and rheumatism and believed in hydrotherapy, a form of treatment through the use of hot and cold water. The doctor explained that they would have to form a partnership with a medical expert before they could operate such a health spa. He suggested that he might be the perfect partner. He had a large sum of money to invest, and with his capital this couple moved to the desert. They built several bungalows around the bubbling hot springs, placed ads in the Los Angles papers, and got to work on making a success of their health retreat. Prosperity magic worked for Flo and Ted people, flocked to their desert retreat. There they received special diets that helped overweight persons and daily hot mineral water baths, massages and other kinds of therapy under a doctor's supervision. The treatment seemed to work miracles for the sick and crippled. Soon Flo and Ted were able to meet their overdue mortgage payments. Finally, they sold their home, built a new one in the desert, and settled into a happy, prosperous new life. Subconscious stimulator number to I desire prosperity, riches and abundance, so I may fulfill my every dream. This psychic stimulator stirs your higher creative mind centers into dynamic action patterns that give you ideas for building a fortune. The emotion of desire has been given to you by God to motivate you in the direction of life-preserving actions. A successful person finds the means to achieve this goal through constructive actions that lead to prosperity on every plane. Desire the mental power with which to build a great destiny. Desire wisdom and knowledge so you will be more capable of competing with others in winning high goals. Desire money and the things money can buy, so that life will be more secure and comfortable for you and your family. Desire happiness and fulfillment in the dream of love that every person is born with. Desire a home of your own, a beautiful car, modern appliances in your home, and fine clothing. These things proclaim your prosperity to the world. Desire better health, a long life and the youthful energy to enjoy life to a ripe old age. All these desires are natural and good for you. They help stimulate your higher psychic mind, centers toward the fulfillment of each specific desire you have. Use these psychic stimulators to bring you everything you desire. On the second day of developing your higher psychic mind, sit in quiet meditation and repeat these psychic stimulators to stir your creative mind centers into dynamic action. I now release the miracle power of prosperity magic through the emotion of desire. I project this emotion daily in the affairs of my life. I desire a sound, healthy body to act as a channel through which my creative energy is expressed in constructive actions for the good of my family and for the good of the world. I desire a beautiful home in which I may raise my family in love and security. I desire peace of mind and peace of soul so that I may better my ability to meet the challenges of life and perform gracefully in the presence of others. I desire the sum of $100,000 or more, so that I may have security for my family and myself. Prosperity Miracle Number 17 Her psychic mind guided her to demonstrate $100,000. Anna R. was born in Austria and fled the country when the Nazis took over. Her husband of Jewish descent was put into a concentration camp and threatened with extermination in the gas chamber. Through the help of influential friends, 
Anna helped secure his release after which they emigrated to South America, where they found a haven. As she packed her few belongings before their flight, Anna grabbed a handful of mementos, including some letters her parents had received during the First World War. Eventually, Anna and her husband were permitted to live in the United States, and it was in New York City's famous Carnegie Hall that they attended my lectures. The couple learned in one of our prosperity seminars about the higher psychic mind that had saved their lives and still worked for their future welfare. They had a real need for better jobs and more money to pay for the education of three children born to them in America. Since their need was money, I urged them to use the psychic stimulator I desire for this purpose. They followed all of the instructions faithfully and meditated for guidance in building financial security. They asked for $100,000 to assure their family of a future free of financial worries. In one of the lectures I said, Clear your minds of the clutter of the negative things that have happened to you. These negative experiences of the past stand like cloud banks between your psychic mind centers and your conscious mind. You cannot receive divine guidance when you labor under the emotions of fear, hatred, and anxiety. This so impressed Anna and her husband that they began immediately to mentally overcome their past anxieties, such as their hatred of Hitler and their regrets over the tragedies that had befallen them in the past. A few weeks later, Anna told me of a miracle that had occurred. As she began to clear her mind, she also felt impelled to clear up her life, so she packed her old clothes and sent them to friends in Austria. In doing this, she went through old boxes and found letters she had been holding for years. As she threw them into the wastebasket, one letter stood out from all the others. It had a strange black Kaiser stamp on it that dated back to World War I. A psychic impulse made her save that letter. One day she read a story in the papers about a woman who had found a valuable stamp that sold at an auction for thousands of dollars. Anna took her black Kaiser stamp to an expert and found that her stamp was indeed a rare one. To summarize this story, Anna later sold the stamp for $50,000. Truly her psychic mind had guided her to part of her $100,000 dream for financial security. But this was not the end of the amazing miracles in Anna's life. One day, she read in the papers that Austria was paying reparations to citizens whose property was seized at the time of the Nazi invasion. Since Anna and her husband had owned a business at that time, she put in an application through the Austrian embassy. A few months later, they settled her claim for exactly $50,000. Subconscious Stimulator Number 3 I become one with the cosmic mind that governs and controls my every action in life. There is a unifying principle in the universe that decrees all atoms, the building blocks of creation, must revolve around a common center known as a nucleus. Einstein's theory of relativity proved that even the invisible atom is structured in the same way as our physical universe, with all the planets revolving around the sun in our solar system. As the same cosmic laws apply to the macrocosm, which is the visible and invisible universe, so too these same laws apply to the microcosm, man. Your mind and the cosmic mind that controls the universe must be united in a powerful combination that gives you the ability to duplicate on a small scale all of the creative principles found in the universe. Use these dynamic statements to unify your mind with cosmic mind. To achieve this unification between your own psychic mind centers and the cosmic mind which created all things, use the following dynamic statements. I now become one with the creative mind that rules the universe. I accept my divinity as a reality. I tap the cosmic mind power that flows throughout the universe like a tidal wave of energy. I am more than human. I am divine, created in the image and likeness of God. I wear the mantle of my soul's immortality with dignity and the assurance that I shall live forever in glory. Affirm the reality of your new consciousness in this way. Affirm the reality of your new consciousness each day, as often as you can, by thinking or saying such statements as, I am healthy, I am happy, I am prosperous. I am surrounded by the magic circle of God's divine love, and my personality reflects this perfection. I now release prosperity magic to make my environment unified, peaceful and serene, and reflect the harmony, order and success 
desire. I am now united with the cosmic mind that governs and controls the universe. This power works for my ultimate good, and I can only benefit from it. Prosperity Miracle Number 18 This man used this psychic stimulator to open new source of income. Dennis F. was struggling to make a meager living at a factory. He was a high school dropout and believed that he would always have to struggle along on a small salary and never have anything. Dennis learned in our classes that there was a superior power, an all-pervasive intelligence that worked through his psychic mind centers. He instantly believed in this miraculous power and began to use it. Dennis overcame feelings of inferiority that had dogged him since childhood. He used special psychic meditations to give his higher mind suggestions for things he wanted in life. When his cosmic plan was completed, he awaited psychic guidance for his next step. A psychic hunch came to him to go into real estate. Living in Los Angeles, he was aware of the real estate boom that was transforming San Fernando Valley and Wilshire Boulevard, as well as other outlying sections around the sprawling metropolis. One day, he got a definite hunch to go into real estate. He went into a psychic revere in which he daydreamed that he sold land and houses to wealthy clients and rode in a beautiful car. One day, in this psychically sensitized state, he was driving down Western Avenue when a sign caught his eye that said, Real Estate School. This was the nudge he needed from his higher psychic mind centers. He found that the course was given in the evening at a reasonable price. He enrolled and was soon on his way to a career that brought him everything he had ever dreamed of having. His enthusiasm, sparked by his new self-image of success, inspired each client with the desire to buy the property he showed them. Soon his number of sales was higher than any other salespersons in the office. In two years' time, Dennis had a broker's real estate license, his own office, and gross sales for that first year, totaling more than $5 million. His commissions were so great that he was able to build a home for his family in San Fernando Valley and buy a new Cadillac to use in his work. Now, still young, Dennis faces a future that promises greater prosperity than ever. You can release the miracle working power of prosperity magic in your life through the next psychic stimulator. Subconscious Stimulator Number 4 I create in the image and likeness of my own secret dreams and aspirations. You are a creator also, for as your psychic mind becomes more attuned to the creative intelligence we call God, you take on similar attributes of creativity. Your subconscious mind is the channel through which great ideas for fortune building are received. Use these money miracle rituals with the creative pattern of your subconscious to demonstrate money and money equivalents. Each day for at least half an hour, Add the following money miracle rituals to your meditations for prosperity magic. I am aware of the fact that I am created in the image and likeness of God, and that I possess creative miracle power within my own subconscious mind. I now create the mental images that I wish to project to the world of objective reality. I create a perfect body that expresses health, youthful energy, and vitality. I create a dynamic and magnetic personality that will win friends and influence them to help me achieve my goals. I create a million-dollar consciousness that will cause me to tap the universal storehouse of riches and ask for any amount of money that I wish. I create positive emotions that shape my destiny in the direction of fame, fortune, and personal success. Prosperity Miracle Number 19 He won success as a set decorator. Martin B. came back from Vietnam embittered and unhappy because of his war experiences. He faced a future that seemed already blighted, even though he was only 24 years of age. He had seen so much death and destruction in Vietnam that he could not visualize a happy, prosperous life. A friend brought him to one of our prosperity magic seminars, and Martin obtained a totally new perspective about his future. Martin told me later that he had always wanted to become an artist but never had the opportunity to train himself. Now he mentally resolved that he would become an artist. He used the money miracle rituals given above, and each day he faithfully repeated these statements. When Martin finally took advantage of the veteran's training bill, 
he chose a well-established art school for his studies. With the time and training he was entitled to by virtue of his military duty, he began to enjoy his chosen profession and worked hard to become a good artist. Martin kept in touch with our study group and reported his progress from time to time. His talents seemed to grow stronger under disciplined instruction, and soon he was doing artwork that brought him attention. In Los Angeles, Martin soon found employment with a large studio, where he became a set designer for major productions. During his first year, Martin won a nomination for the Academy Awards for his artwork on sets. He had won recognition of his talents and fulfilled the creative dream he had desired since he was a child. How to ask for guidance from your higher psychic centers. You can ask this higher psychic mind within your subconscious the following questions and receive answers. 1. How can I make more money to meet my needs? 2. What career am I best suited for, and how can I get into it? 3. How can I get an idea that will make me a million dollars? 4. Can I become a creative artist, singer, writer, actor, inventor, composer? How should I go about it? 5. Am I on the right path to achieve my ultimate destiny? Subconscious Stimulator Number 5 I achieve every goal that I have projected through my creative imagination. Since 90% of all life's experiences are in the mind, you can make a reality of this psychic stimulator by telling yourself that you have already achieved the goals that you have conceived of. In your imagination, visualize yourself as being the person you dreamed of being. Use creative imagination to project the image of success, and soon your prosperity magic will spread into every department of your life and bring you success. Mentally see yourself coming into a fortune and spending and investing large amounts of money. Prosperity Miracle Number 20 A New Jersey Man Dreamed Himself Into a Million Dollars A New Jersey man wanted a large amount of money with which he could do anything he wanted. He daydreamed about winning the million-dollar lottery. One night he had a strange dream in which he saw a certain combination of numbers. He bought a lottery ticket containing those numbers and won the million dollars. Later he told the press that he had dreamed the winning combination. These dynamic statements help release prosperity magic instantly. Use the following statements to release prosperity magic through your higher psychic mind centers. I now achieve the fulfillment of my life dream. I achieve perfect health, peace of mind, and happiness. My dream of love now becomes a luring reality, and I attract my true soulmate in a perfect union. I refine my personality. I accumulate knowledge and wisdom. I share my gifts and talents to help the world. I am in turn enriched, inspired, and blessed. Whenever you need new inspiration for greater creative energy, meditate and use the power of your creative imagination to make a reality of your dreams. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 6 1. Top an amazing money miracle ritual through your own subconscious mind that can make you attract untold riches. 2. The cosmic intelligence within your subconscious knows all, sees all, and is all. It releases the prosperity magic from your psychic mind centers for your every need. 3. This intuitive power works in the realm of nature, causing all creatures to be guided to the fulfillment of their destiny. It also guides you unerringly to great money success. 4. Subconscious Stimulator Number 1 I believe in the miracle power that lies within my own psychic mind centers. Use faith to release this money-making miracle. 5. Flo and Ted Kay used this power to create a health spa in the desert that made them rich. 6. Subconscious Stimulator Number 2 I desire prosperity and riches in abundance, so that I may fulfill my every dream. Use this to stir the creative power of your higher mind. 7. Subconscious Stimulator Number 3 I become one with the cosmic mind that governs and controls my every action in life. 
Your mind can work with the cosmic mind to reveal patterns of action that lead to riches. 8. Anna R. used her psychic mind to top $100,000 in the most unexpected way. 9. Enthrone the I am consciousness that can build a healthy, happy, and prosperous destiny. Dennis F. was a high school dropout, but he used this power to become a successful real estate salesman. 10. Subconscious Stimulator Number 4. I Create in the Likeness of My Own. Secret Dreams and Aspirations. You are a creator too, and can receive great ideas for building a fortune. 11. Martin B. became a successful motion picture set designer by using this motivator and won a nomination for his fine work. 12. Subconscious Stimulator Number 5. I achieve every goal that I project through my creative imagination. Use this power to project a fortune. A New Jersey man projected $1 million through this method and won the New Jersey lottery. 13. Go into meditation sessions and project your dreams and aspirations through your creative imagination. 7. The mysterious touch that catapults ideas into riches and abundance. There is a mysterious power in the universe that, when released, will catapult your golden ideas into riches and abundance. I have named this power the Golden Midas Touch, after the fable of an ancient king named Midas, who loved gold and whose only desire was in gaining more gold. In the fable, King Midas pleased one of the ancient Greek gods, and in return for this, Midas was given the fulfillment of any wish he desired. The king instantly asked that everything he touched would turn into gold. The favor was granted, and Midas proceeded to put the golden touch into action. He went into his dining room and touched the chairs at the table. They turned into gold. He then touched the silverware, and it turned into gold. Delighted that the golden touch worked, he took a mouthful of food. The moment the food touched his lips, it turned into gold. Now a little nervous about his golden touch, he took a glass full of water, and as he was about to drink it, the water and crystal goblet turned into gold. The king suddenly realized what was happening. As he sat down to ponder this problem, his pet dog jumped into his lap, and it too turned into solid gold. Finally, his young daughter ran into the room and threw her arms around his neck, and she too turned into a gold statue. At that moment, the king realized the golden touch had turned into a golden curse, and he begged the gods to take back this gift. You can use the golden touch with wisdom, and it will work. The golden touch principle can be used without fearing the curse of an overabundance of riches. If you learn to use the golden substance of wealth wisely and for good purposes, money will bless your life and enrich you in every way, without making you suffer or become greedy or monopolistic. Gold is the symbol of all that is valuable and worthwhile. The reason the price of gold soared to such heights was because it is a scarce metal. As people lose faith in paper money that is printed by the billions, they turn to hoarding gold because throughout the centuries it has represented stability and wealth. Use mental alchemy to turn life experiences into glittering gold. As the idea of value expands through your consciousness, you can invoke the golden touch that will turn your life experiences into the glittering gold of reality. This prosperity magic works through a well-known universal law known as the law of transmutation, or as I have called it, mental alchemy. Alchemists in ancient days tried to turn base metal into gold, but they failed because they did not have the technical knowledge needed to perform this miracle. However, you can use this mysterious touch to catapult your golden ideas into riches and abundance if you follow these instructions. Your own miraculous mental alchemy works for you day and night to transmute your ideas into the true gold of life. The wonderful things you can do with the golden Midas touch. Here are some of the wonderful things you can do with the golden Midas touch of mental alchemy. 1. Turn poverty into riches and abundance so you will never again be in want. 2. Transmute sickness into radiant health and energy. This mysterious magic touch heals you, reaches out and blesses the cells of your body with life energy and vitality, 
and keeps you healthy to a ripe old age. 3. Turn enmity into friendship by releasing the mental alchemy of kindness, sympathy and consideration, and banishing the forces of hatred and selfishness from your consciousness. 4. Transmute the forces of loneliness and hatred into the pure gold of love and social reciprocity, so that you can find your true soulmate and happiness. 5. Tum misery and discontent into happiness and fulfillment through the alchemy of positive thinking. 6. Transmute ugliness into radiant beauty by transforming your mental images into pictures of splendor and magnificence. Sprinkle the magic of stardust and moonbeams over harsh reality and soften the outlines of life with a shimmering veil of translucent beauty. Learn what the true gold of life is, then you will achieve it. The true gold of life is more than money and the things it can buy. Gold as a spiritual symbol applies to the riches of the mind and spirit, as well as to the pocketbook and bank account. You can live in a mental palace furnished with magnificent treasures of art, music, poetry, and literature, and be richer than Midas with all his gold. You can know peace of mind and contentment with your family, children, and friends, and enjoy a spiritual gold that cannot be taken from you. A shah with all his billions of dollars and palaces and material possessions may not have your contentment and satisfaction in life. 3. Health, forces of hatred and banishment from his native land make him poorer than the most deprived person in the world. Your mental palace can be a haven, a refuge in times of storm and stress. It is within your power to accumulate the golden nuggets given to the world by the great geniuses of history in every form of creative endeavor. By storing these golden treasures in your mental palace, you can have satisfaction and solace in times of outer confusion and chaos. Great ideas have produced the world's greatest riches. If you look into the fields of science, invention, industry, politics, and medicine, you will find that great ideas have always produced the world's greatest riches. The progress of civilization can be measured in terms of the creative energy released through man's intellect. The wheel has been called one of man's greatest inventions. It helped release man from back-breaking labor that made him a beast of burden. Seeing a rolling stone gather momentum as it rolled down a hill triggered the creative imagination of some primitive person. The idea of a wheel on a cart was mentally projected, and at that moment, civilization received a forward thrust that made possible many other miracles. A rich consciousness gives you a rich life. Creative imagination can be harnessed to give you a rich life immediately. Use the golden Midas touch to turn your ideas into the true gold of life and see results right away. You do not actually require a million dollars to live like a millionaire. A sense of value enriches your consciousness and transmutes your present life experiences into the glittering gold of life. What are the most important things in life? Certainly not money for you cannot eat or drink money, and it is not a suitable companion if you are lonely and want to be loved. An understanding of what is truly valuable and what is not prepares you for this mysterious touch that can catapult your ideas into riches and abundance. After a rich consciousness is built with these valuable elements, you can then build a fortune and never again feel deprived of anything in life. The richest man in the world gave this formula for true riches. At a glamorous party in Beverly Hills, I met the son of one of the richest men in the world, Ali Khan. Ali Khan, the son of Aga Khan, was married to Rita Hayworth, who was then one of Hollywood's most famous and glamorous stars. After the guests had gone home, Ali Khan talked about life in general and told me this story. He said that when he was only 12 years of age, his father, the Aga Khan, spiritual ruler of millions of Muslims, took him into his study and said, one day, my son, you will be one of the world's richest men. I want you to know the true values in life, so you will never be corrupted by money and power. The Aga Khan went on to tell his son that there were greater riches in life that he was to cherish more than money. He listed these as follows. The riches of peace of mind and peace of soul. The blessing of good health and vital energy. The joy of true friends who share in life's pleasures. The glory of sincere love 
and a family of loving children. The beauty and inspiration of nature in all its glory. The mystery and wonder of God and the soul's future immortality. These, my son, the Aga Khan said, are the true riches of life that can bring you the joy and fulfillment that gold and silver, precious jewels and palaces cannot. Always remember this and your great fortune will never become a burden that keeps you from knowing the true riches of life. How to use the golden Midas touch to turn your ideas into riches and abundance. 1. Sit quietly in meditation for at least one hour and think of all the wonderful things you want to obtain in life. Write these down on a piece of paper on which you have written. My cosmic blueprint of destiny. List the many things that you really desire, including good health, peace of mind, love happiness, a home of your own, your own business, an income of $50,000 or more a year, gifts and talents, and anything else that you feel would enrich your life and bring you fulfillment. 2. After you have dwelt on all of the things you desire in life, look at this paper each day when you arise in the morning, and then read it again before you go to bed at night. 3. Concentrate each day for at least 15 minutes on the value of money and the things that money can do for you. See money not only as a material object, but also in terms of ideas, labor, time, and spiritual energy that can be converted into substance. Think of the fruits, vegetables, and products of earth, such as lumber, coal, oil, gold, silver, uranium, pearls in the ocean, and all other good things that are produced by nature to bless you and keep you in comfort and security. Mentally claim all the treasures of the universe as your own. 4. Mentally claim all of these products of nature as your very own to use and enjoy throughout your entire life. Money is only a man-made symbol of the riches that God has created for all mankind. This idea helps you overcome the mental blind spot that most people have about money. It frees you from the necessity of thinking you need a million dollars to have life's worthwhile possessions. 5. Remove from your mind the thought that money is evil and that its possession is sinister and degrading. The Bible does not say that money is evil. It says, The love of money is the root of all evil. A miser with half a million dollars found starving on the streets. A person can be rich and yet live a life that is worse than that of the poorest person. A woman found starving to death on the streets of New York was taken to a hospital and treated for malnutrition. After she died, the police went to her cheap, cold water flat and found a trunk with half a million dollars in it. A miser loves money more than life itself. This can be a very destructive force. 6. Prime your mental pump with creative ideas that can be transformed into money or money equivalents. Each day sit down and ask your subconscious mind to give you one idea for that day that can be used to bring you something of value. This may not always be in the form of cash. It can be a valuable gift, such as tickets for the theater, or a TV set that someone no longer needs, or a piano that someone does not want to move. Prosperity Miracle Number 21 She demonstrated an upright piano. Frida R. had always wanted to own a piano so her ten-year-old daughter could take piano lessons, but she could not afford one. She used this priming principle each day for one week and asked her subconscious mind to show her how to obtain a piano. One day a friend told her of a woman who was moving from New York to Florida and did not want to pay to have an upright piano shipped. She was offering it to anyone who would pay for the cartage charges. Frida had her piano within a few days and did not have to spend a penny for it. 7. Each day remind yourself that time is money and can be converted into cash, so do not waste it. There are eight hours for work, eight hours for sleep, and eight hours left over each day to enrich your consciousness with good books, fine music and poetry and conversation with good friends. You have time to refine your personality, increase your sense of self-value, and enjoy nature, TV, radio and other forms of entertainment that add to a balanced rich life. Prosperity Miracle Number 22 Seed Money Secret brought this man $2,500 the first year. 
When Fred T. learned about the seed money secret for increasing his money supply, he could hardly believe that it would work. He waited for a chance to test it. The chance came a week later, when Fred contributed $10 to a fund for a friend's sick child. He later told me this amazing story of how this sum came back to him, multiplied tenfold. Fred and his wife bought a second-hand chest of drawers for their daughter's bedroom. His wife decided to take the paper out of the drawers and clean them. When she removed the papers from the top drawer, she found ten crisp new ten-dollar bills hidden beneath the paper. A week later Fred's boss gave him a ten-dollar a week raise in salary. Fred decided to increase his weekly tithing to his church from five dollars to ten dollars a week. A short time later, he received a check for five hundred fifty dollars, a refund on his income taxes. Fred sent a birthday cake to a friend's six-year-old child. The next week he won fifteen dollars at the weekly church bingo game. He kept track of his seed money the first year, and it brought him a profit of twenty-five hundred dollars. Eight. Cultivate a healthy respect for money and use it intelligently. Keep a record of what you spend and be sure that you get your money's worth for every dollar spent. Conserving your money and investing it wisely is every bit as important as earning it. Check the consumer's report to see what are the best bargains for your money and buy quality goods that will last. Instead of wanting more things, use the objects that you have wisely and extend their life expectancy. In this way, save your money and build towards a future fortune. How you can become rich through the seed money principle. 9. Use the mystical seed money principle in your daily life. This is merely the idea that the more you give, the more you receive. Tithing is one way of doing this. Give a set amount of your income to your church or to some charitable cause that you believe in. For under this law of giving, you will receive more than you gave. If you cannot give money, give time to serve some worthy cause, such as working with child welfare agencies, the blind, orphans, veterans, handicapped and aged persons. All these expressions of concern for those less fortunate than yourself will motivate your subconscious mind with the inspiration to bring you blessings in life that are often worth more than mere money. Study the lives of great financiers and emulate their ideas. 10. Each day make it a point to learn one secret from the lives of great financiers of the past and present to see how they built their fortunes. You can do this by studying their lives in money magazines like Fortune or Forbes, or reading books on their lives in the public library. Learn how the world's richest men thought and what they did to build their vast fortunes. Then strive to emulate their principles and ideas in your own efforts to build a fortune. Some rich people to study are Vanderbilt, Astor, Gould, Carnegie, Rockefeller, Getty, Ford, Morgenthau, Charles Schwab, Hearst, Baruch, Richard Whitney, who was once head of the New York Stock Exchange, but who lost a fortune because of errors in judgment. Learn from his mistakes, Doheny, Edison, and Sam Insull. Knowing how these great industrialists built their fortunes will benefit you with knowledge of the mistakes they made so that you can avoid them in your own attempts to build a financial empire. Always bear in mind in your attempts to use the golden Midas touch to become rich, that you must be prepared to give something of great value to the world. Henry George said, The ideal social state is not that in which each gets an equal amount of wealth, but in which each gets in proportion to his contribution to the general stock. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 7 1. The golden Midas touch can catapult your ideas into riches and abundance. Learn how to use it at once. 2. The great law of transmutation uses mental alchemy to turn your life experiences into the glittering gold of life. 3. Turn poverty into riches, hatred into love and ugliness into radiant beauty by using this magical power. Four. The greatest riches in the world have been produced by great ideas. Tune in on this higher power to bring you wealth. 5. Learn the formula for true riches given by one of the world's richest men. 6. Learn how to use the golden Midas touch 
to turn your own ideas into riches and abundance. 7. Prime your mental money pump with creative ideas to bring you a steady flow of money. 8. Frida R. used this money pump to bring her a valuable piano she needed, although she did not have a cent. 9. Convert the golden hours of time into riches by utilizing them constructively each day to produce things of value. 10. Without any effort on his part, the seed money principal brought Fred T. $2,500 in extra cash the first year he used it. 11. Study the secrets behind the world's richest men and women to learn how you can convert your ideas into a golden stream of cash. 8. Enter the Hall of Fame reserved for the immortals. Through the miracle of prosperity magic, you can place yourself in a prominent position in your own Hall of Fame, where you will receive recognition of your success and fortune. Focus your mental energies on creating a special niche in this Hall of Fame that will set off your talents and accomplishments in the most favorable way. As you undoubtedly know, the Hall of Fame was created as a memorial to the great men and women of history. In this chapter, you will create your own Hall of Fame and place yourself in a position that brings you honors, riches, and rewards from your peers. You will also be automatically elevated to high places by the impetus of your subconscious and psychic mind centers. Choose the degree of fame and fortune you desire on your psychic barometer. Deep within your psychic mind centers, there is a success barometer that tells you the degree of fame and fortune that you are capable of attaining. More importantly, this psychic barometer of success will warn you when you are getting in over your head, or when you are aiming at a goal that is unrealistic or unattainable. Before you create your own Hall of Fame, it might be wise to consult this psychic barometer by asking yourself some pertinent questions about your goals and ambitions in life. Answer these questions honestly after sitting silently in meditation and letting them sink into your psychic mind centers. The Hall of Fame Reserved for the Immortals 1. Do you wish to become world famous and have your name become a household word? 2. Would you be willing to sacrifice your privacy and personal life for such world fame? 3. Do you feel you are adequately prepared to rise to great heights in your chosen profession or occupation? 4. Can you live in the glaring spotlight of world fame and still feel comfortable? 5. Would you be satisfied with a million-dollar fortune, or would you want to go on until you had built up a multi-million-dollar fortune? 6. Would you be willing to sacrifice your peace of mind and your honor and integrity to achieve the Hall of Fame? An analysis of your answers to the above questions. Before we study the method by which you can put yourself into your own personal Hall of Fame, Analyze the answers you might have given to the above questions. There are no right or wrong answers to these questions, but the way that you answer them will help evaluate your chances for achieving high degrees of fame and fortune. Question number one. If you desire the degree of fame and fortune that would make your name a household word, then your intensity of desire is so high that you are bound to achieve a very great degree of success in your chosen field. Intensity of desire is one of the first keys that can open invisible doors to the type of fame and fortune you wish. If you answered yes to this first question, then you are on the right path and should follow these positive instructions for a position in your own personal hall of fame. Do something to improve yourself each day until you are worthy of winning the plaudits of the world. If you wish to become an outstanding artist, writer, composer, inventor, or musician, you must be sure that you have perfected your art to the point that you are worthy of winning the plaudits of the world as the best in your chosen field. If you desire financial success in industry and commerce, you must be sure that you have laid the foundation by knowing all there is to know about the field you have selected for your own success. Question number two. Would you be willing to sacrifice your privacy and personal life for such world fame? World fame requires the sacrifice of privacy and personal life. If you are not willing to give up this claim to privacy, then you should not make the sacrifices that are required to bring you worldwide acclaim. Charles Lindbergh desired fame and fortune, 
but his life became miserable and tragic when he discovered the heavy price that he had to pay for his success. Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. Ask King Hussein of Jordan or Queen Elizabeth of England about the saying, Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. And you will realize that sometimes the world renown that you desire has a price tag that is too high for you. If this is true, you must be willing to settle for less. So your answer to this second question might be number. Question number three. Do you feel you are adequately prepared to rise to great heights in your chosen profession or occupation? Your success barometer is definitely controlled by the degree of preparation you have made for achieving high goals and a great fortune. Before you can rise to a position of power and fame, you must be the best there is in your field. Follow this regimen to adequately prepare yourself for the degree of fame and fortune your psychic barometer tells you is possible. Use these powerful prosperity magic statements to program your mind. Program your psychic mind centers daily with these powerful prosperity magic suggestions. I want to become an outstanding success in my field and achieve fame and fortune and the recognition of the entire world. I shall perfect my gifts and talents so that I truly excel in my chosen field. I can overcome the obstacles that stand in my way. I am determined to persevere until I achieve my goal. I am willing to be patient and wait for the ultimate success that I know I can achieve. Prosperity Miracle Number 23 Mentally Prepared to Open a Health Food Store A few years ago, at a lecture in Los Angeles, Jessie D. and her husband Herbert told me they wanted to start a small business so they could be financially independent. They had saved $20,000 over the years, owned their own home, and their children were on their own, so their needs were not too great. After probing their minds for a while, I found they were both interested in health foods and diet. They had studied nutrition and learned all they could about the subject, but had never thought of going into it as a business. I told them to ask their higher minds to guide them, and a few days later they returned and told me they had found a small store where they could open their new business. Both felt they would succeed. In fact, when I returned to Los Angeles six months later, I found they had already taken over the store next to them and had hired six employees. They reached their goal quickly because they prepared themselves with the special knowledge it takes to win success in any field. Question number four. Can you live in the glaring spotlight of world fame and still feel comfortable? You will soon know if you can stand the constant exposure that is necessary for people who live in a goldfish bowl. Certain types of fame require that a person be constantly exposed to public scrutiny. This is true in the acting or musical professions, also in the fields of sports, politics, and medicine. After you decide that you enjoy the public spotlight, then concentrate all your efforts on winning high goals. However, if you find that you hate being in the limelight and resent the intrusion of the public in your personal life, it is doubtful that you could stand being in a profession that requires such public scrutiny. Question number five. Would you be satisfied with a million-dollar fortune, or would you want to go on until you had built up a multi-million dollar fortune? Obviously, everyone would like to have a million dollars, but some people are not willing to make the effort or take the time to build such a fortune. If you answer yes to that question and aim at a million dollars, you must be aware of the fact that you really do not need more than a million to give you and your family security. Enjoy the free gifts of life, good friends, nature's beauty, the love and affection of your mate and children, the beauty of music and art, the enjoyment of fine books, and the free education and entertainment that come to you via TV and radio programs. Strive to create your own personal hall of fame where you can enter your name with pride and joy, without the encumbrances that often come from worldly adulation and a vast fortune. Question number six. Would you be willing to sacrifice your peace of mind and your honor and integrity to achieve the Hall of Fame? Obviously, your answer to this question should be number to achieve success and make a fortune with honor and dignity. Do the following things. Never sacrifice your integrity and honesty with any acts that might degrade you or bring you dishonor and distrust. 
you can act within the boundaries of decency and truth and still achieve your niche in the Hall of Fame with dignity and honor. Be sure that anything you undertake falls within the boundaries of the social and moral and spiritual laws that govern human conduct. The Ten Commandments are more than moral laws. They set the standards upon which civilization is built. Observe these laws in your rise to fame and fortune, and you will never need to fear the close scrutiny of your fellow men as to your conduct. Live under the dictates of the Golden Rule, and you will never be ruthless or unkind in your dealings with others. How to Put Yourself into the Hall of Fame Putting yourself into the Hall of Fame will give a mental boost to your subconscious mind, making it work harder to bring you the fame, honors, and riches of the world. Cut out pictures of famous people that you admire greatly and wish to emulate. Put these pictures into a scrapbook the type used to paste your family photos in. Right on top of the page, my personal Hall of Fame. Into the Hall of Fame you can put the names of movie stars, athletes, politicians, authors, artists, composers, opera stars, and even rock and roll performers you enjoy. You can also put the names of famous people from the past that you admire and wish to emulate. If you do not have pictures of people like Edison, Burbank, Da Vinci, Einstein, or Mozart, simply write their names into your Hall of Fame scrapbook. Then on that same page, paste your own photograph with your name printed under the photo. Write the following words under the photos and names of the celebrities you have chosen for your personal Hall of Fame. I now enter the Hall of Fame that is reserved for the immortals of all time. I shall emulate the thoughts of the greatest minds in history, shall strive to act in an honorable and dignified manner at all times. I shall give of my talents to the world and benefit others through my actions. I shall always strive to be idealistic and have the highest standards of conduct in relation to my fellow men. I shall never corrupt myself or demean myself to win fame and fortune. I shall always strive to be worthy of the rewards and recognition that the world will give me. I dedicate myself to serve humanity and to be worthy of the rich rewards that shall bless my life. Sign that declaration of your intentions and every day for the next month, look at your Hall of Fame page and keep affirming the reality of your inclusion in the ranks of the great souls of the universe. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 8 1. Create your own Hall of Fame and place yourself in a position to receive honors, rewards, and the riches you deserve. 2. Use the dynamic law of karma and receive the gifts and money you are entitled to through your own good actions. 3. Choose the degree of fame and fortune you wish to have by creating your own psychic barometer, which will show you exactly how to obtain large sums of money and be included in your personal hall of fame. 4. Know the six questions you should ask yourself to gauge your position on this psychic barometer to fame and fortune. 5. The intensity of your desires will determine how rich and famous you become. Learn how to arouse emotional intensity through your desires. 6. The degree of preparation you make for success will determine how high your success barometer will register for your chosen occupation. 7. Learn the programming statements to put into your higher mind that can guarantee you riches, fame, and personal success. 8. Jessie D. and her husband Herbert used this secret power to open a health food store that made them rich. 9. Do you desire a fortune of a million or more? You can have it if you know the secret formula that gives you the power of money attraction. 10. Put yourself into the Hall of Fame and triumph over lack and limitation by creating your own Hall of Fame and using it every day to program your higher psychic mind. 9. Ascend the Golden Ladder of Dreams for Fame and Fortune Every living person dreams of achieving fame and fortune. It is true that there are different degrees of success and that some people dream only of achieving financial security, love happiness, a healthy, happy family their own home and work they enjoy. These are modest desires that are easily achieved. However, if your dream is to achieve outstanding fame and fortune, this chapter will show how to climb the 10 rungs on the golden ladder
that leads to fame, riches, happiness, and abundance on every plane of expression. By using the miracle power of prosperity magic, you can actually create this golden ladder of dreams by drawing a picture of a ladder on a piece of paper with ten rungs on it. On each rung, beginning with the lowest one, write the designation to be given that rung, and then follow the simple instructions for rising rung by rung to the pinnacle of fame and fortune. At the top of your golden ladder of success, write the words, My Life Goal. Rung number one of your golden ladder of dreams, the vision or dream that is back of your life. Back of every great career is a dream or vision of what the person wants to achieve. This dream should be based on a realistic appraisal of your inner potentials. No one can tell you what you should or should not aim at for your life goal. You alone must make the final decision of what you wish to attain in life. If you depend on others, you will be limited by their desires and restrictions. Throughout history, the ones who dared to break with tradition were the ones who achieved the highest goals. You must adhere to your dream and believe that you can achieve it, regardless of what members of your family tell you or the criticisms of the world in general. Faith in your dream is essential if you wish to take the first step up your golden ladder of dreams that will lead you to fame and fortune. Prosperity Miracle Number 24 Duncan T. grossed $500,000 the first year of his new business. When I met Duncan T., he had just been divorced from his wife of ten years, who had taken their three children with her when she left. He could not even afford the child support that the court decreed he should pay. In this desperate situation, he enrolled in a seminar I was giving in Los Angeles called The Million Dollar Secret Hidden Within Your Mind. Duncan had been a shoe salesman and made barely enough to live on. Now he was unemployed and trying to live on his small unemployment checks. I gave Duncan the motivation to get back into the success consciousness by instilling a desire in him to once again be able to support his three children, and, if possible, and he still desired it, to reconcile with his wife. Duncan enrolled in an evening course in commercial art that stressed writing copy and using advertising to increase business. He became so enthusiastic about his work that he convinced his brother-in-law to loan him $10,000 to open a small shoe store. He wrote small ads telling women the vital reasons for buying shoes from his store, and his chatty, homey style of writing soon captured the attention of women who flocked to his store. His business grew so big that he soon opened branch stores, and within a short time, he was grossing $500,000 from his business. This success story has a happy ending, for Duncan's wife realized how he had changed and returned to him. Now he, his wife, and their three children are reunited and live in a beautiful new home where they are building a solid future. Rung number two on your golden ladder of dreams, the desire or will to succeed. Intensity of desire helps the will to succeed and gives you the emotional impetus necessary to reach high goals in life. Give yourself a five-minute mental treatment each day by stating the following desires to increase your willpower. I desire a healthy body so I may have the energy and vitality to achieve the great success I desire. I desire inner tranquility so that nothing in the outer world distracts me from my goal of high achievement. I desire large sums of money, $100,000 or more, so I may better achieve the goals that I have for security and happiness. I desire my own home, a loving soulmate, children and a social life that brings pleasure and contentment. I desire success in my chosen occupation with advancement and recognition for my work. I desire the unfolding of my inner potentials so that I may rise to great heights and win recognition, honors and rewards from the world. Rung number three on your golden ladder of dreams, your creative imagination. Someone has called the imagination God's workshop. It is through your imagination that you can soar into the realm of great ideas that always precede actual accomplishment. It was in the imagination that a primitive human first thought of flying after he saw birds soaring in the air. Many centuries after this, Leonardo da Vinci built the world's first airplane. It had no motor but was able to fly a few feet before it crashed. 
When the airplane was finally perfected by the Wright brothers, that first mental image of flying, that the primitive human, had became a reality. In your imagination, see yourself in work that is suited to you or a business of your own. Mentally imagine what it would be like to have a million dollars. Think up ways using your creative imagination for getting that million. In your minds, I see yourself living in your dream home. Furnish it. See yourself entertaining your friends, bringing up your children and enjoying the comfort and security that it brings. In your imagination, see yourself painting pictures, writing books, inventing great objects, composing music, singing, acting, dancing and speaking before vast audiences. All these imaginative pictures that pass through your creative mind centers will be caught in the autonomic sympathetic nervous system and bring about the desires you imagine. Prosperity Miracle Number 25 How Stella C. Projected the Image of Her Own Beauty Salon Stella C. was a cosmetologist in a beauty salon in Hollywood. She had a dream of one day owning her own beauty shop in exclusive Beverly Hills and having famous movie stars as her clients. Such a plan would cost at least $100,000 and she had no such amount in the bank. In fact, she had less than $5,000, so this dream seemed impossible. But Stella kept seeing herself owning such a beauty salon through her imagination, and something began to work through her that made her take a greater interest in her work. She spent more time on each customer and gave generously of her time and creative ideas to the owners of the shop. One day Stella was working on a woman who was obviously cultured and wealthy. In chatting with her, Stella found that the woman lived in Beverly Hills. She told Stella that the beauty salon she usually went to had closed because of the owner's sudden death. The woman said wistfully, I sure wish someone like you owned that place. It is so convenient for me to get to. That seed, planted in Stella's creative imagination, grew into a tremendous desire to investigate the closed beauty shop. She found out that the owners of the building were eager to have someone in the place, that it was completely furnished with five chairs and all the modern equipment needed to run it. Stella also learned that the owners would let her take over the lease for a few thousand dollars, keep up small monthly payments on the equipment, and generally help her until she was fully established in the business. Stella called the woman who lived in Beverly Hills to tell her that she wanted to open the shop and ask her if she would lend her $10,000 at a high rate of interest. To Stella's surprise, the woman agreed to the arrangement. They met at her attorneys to draw up the loan papers and make preparations for Stella to take over the shop. Stella soon had a thriving business going as the wealthy woman had many friends among the movie people. They flocked into the salon to have their work done and Stella found herself making a mint of money each week. She was able to pay back her loan, completely buy the equipment, and move into a luxury apartment near Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. Truly, prosperity magic worked for Stella and brought her a miracle because she dared climb the rung of the creative imagination on the ladder of success. Rung number four on your golden ladder of dreams, acquire greater knowledge and wisdom to prepare you for life's richest rewards. To rise to the greatest heights in any chosen occupation or profession, you must be willing to spend time on acquiring greater knowledge and wisdom, thus preparing you for the terrific competition that you will find in every field. When you finish your formal education, you should plan to study something new each day to keep your brain constantly refreshed and up-to-date on all the latest discoveries in every branch of human endeavor. Learn a new word each day or some new fact that will aid you in keeping your mind open and your viewpoint fresh. Many people learn only about their work and fail to keep up on current trends. This often causes them to fall behind the younger people who are up to date on new trends. Subscribe to current magazines that will keep you informed about what's going on in the world around you. Take refresher courses that teach new information about your profession and study all trade magazines relating to your particular occupation. For instance, if you are in a financial or industrial field, you can subscribe to such magazines as Forbes and Fortune, as well as the Wall Street Journal. There are trade publications today that relate to almost every field. These present you with new perspectives in your particular trade or occupation. 
rung number five on your golden ladder of dreams, have a high master motive to inspire you to reach high goals. Achievements in life are in direct proportion to the motivation that inspires you towards your life goal. If you are only interested in money and fame, you may miss out on many of life's other rich rewards. A miser accumulates much money, but often lives in unhappy and uncomfortable conditions. Here are some master motives that can help you climb to the fifth rung on your golden ladder of dreams. Have a desire to educate your children and make them good citizens for the future. Have a desire to serve your community and your country so that life will improve for everyone. Busy yourself with charitable acts in veterans' organizations, homes for the blind or orphaned or handicapped. Strive to elevate the standards of the world by having high ideals and moral conduct. Rung number six on your golden ladder of dreams, refuse to be discouraged by people who tell you cannot succeed. Discouragement often makes people lose their desire for achieving high goals. Throughout history, great men and women have had to fight the discouragement and opposition of those who did not believe in their work. Your family and friends may not have faith in your ability to achieve greatness. You may have to openly fight the opposition to succeed. Rung number seven on your golden ladder of dreams, exercise the power of your will to propel you to the top rung of the ladder of success. Behind every great success, there is a strong will to succeed. Willpower is what makes a person keep fighting against all obstacles in the path of success. Willpower can be interpreted as the mind deliberately choosing a course of action, and then adhering to that action until success is achieved. To strengthen your willpower, each day make yourself take some action that brings you a step nearer to your goal. Make yourself write that important letter or seek that interview for a position that you have put off for too long. Write out a list of things to do to aid you in achieving your life goal. Then for the next few weeks, make yourself do all the things on your list. Use four positive willpower statements as often as you can to direct you to your goal. These four statements are, I can. I will. I am. I do. The I can statements. I can get a better job. I can make more money. I can become successful and famous. I can overcome my problems. I can be happy. I can become rich. The I will statements. I will achieve my goals. I will start my own business. I will make more money. I will overcome negative habits. I will build positive habits that lead to success. I will become rich and famous. The I am statements. I am successful in everything I do. I am confident that I can achieve my goals. I am happy and optimistic. I am kind, considerate, and loving in all my relationships. I am already a success in my consciousness. I am on my way to a great destiny. The I do statements. I do only those things that lead me to success. I do have faith in myself and my destiny. I do overcome my personality defects. I do develop my powers of concentration on my goal. I do acquire wisdom and knowledge to better prepare me for success. I do build habit patterns of success in my thoughts and actions. Rung number eight on your golden ladder of dreams, build inspiration to achieve success by having a desire to create something beautiful. One of the most inspiring elements for achieving success, other than the emotion of love, is the desire to create something beautiful in life. This tremendous force has been responsible for all of the world's great architectural and artistic masterpieces. To rise on your golden ladder of dreams, you must have a sincere desire to bring something beautiful and beneficial to the world and all humanity. Rung number nine on your golden ladder of dreams, build daily success habits in your life that will furnish an overall pattern for riches and fame. 
Many people have failure syndromes that build up over a period of years that make them think in terms of poverty, failure, and discontent. These negative habit patterns are difficult to overcome, so it is wise to try to form daily habit patterns of success. View each step as leading you a little higher up on the ladder of success. Do not admit to failures, but call each attempt delayed success. In this way, you will condition your subconscious mind to think in positive terms and not of failure. Each day set a small goal for yourself that you wish to achieve. In this way, you will accustom yourself to think in terms of success. Set your daily goals for certain amounts of work letters you will write, interviews you will have things that are easy to attain. These have a cumulative effect on your subconscious mind and give you the feeling that you are accomplishing worthwhile goals. Rung number 10 on your golden ladder of dreams, use the power of your own intuition to guide you in important decisions in your life. You have been given intuitive powers which can guide you to achieve the goals you have set for yourself in life. When you have important decisions to make, sit in quiet periods of daily meditation and ask this higher psychic mind what steps you should take. You can write down the questions you wish this intuitive mind to answer, such as should I quit my job and seek a better one? Should I marry this person or search further? Should I make this investment at this time? What talents do I have, and how should I go about developing them more fully? When you go into psychic meditation and present the questions to your higher mind, sit quietly for about 15 minutes and wait for an answer to come through. If you do not receive a direct answer, go about your regular activities. The answers to your questions will come in the normal course of events and they will seem to stem from your own conscious mind, but it is your psychic mind working through your subconscious mind that is really guiding you to your life goal. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 9 1. There is a golden ladder of dreams that easily leads to fame and fortune. Discover the magic formula and use it to achieve riches. 2. The first rung on this ladder of dreams is the vision that is back of your life. Learn to find this hidden power. 3. The great men and women of history rose to fame by using their dreams and desires for fame and fortune. 4. Duncan T. used this first rung on the ladder of dreams to help him think of an idea that grossed $500,000 in his first year of business. 5. The will to succeed takes you to the second rung on the golden ladder of dreams. Learn the five-minute-a-day treatment to bring you greater success. 6. Use your imagination to furnish the impetus to climb the third rung of the ladder. 7. Stella C. projected a dream of owning her own business. She borrowed $10,000 from a wealthy friend to start it. 8. Wisdom and knowledge furnish you with the necessary impetus to climb the fourth rung on the golden ladder of dreams. 9. You receive riches and abundance in direct proportion to the inspiration you receive from high master motives. 10. Willpower exercises help you rise on the golden ladder of dreams and achieve a big income and personal success. 11. Use the dynamic verbs of action. I can, I will, I am and I do, to propel you up the golden ladder of dreams. 12. The desire to create something of beauty can inspire you to achieve greatness. This desire creates tremendous power to point life in the direction of riches and abundance. 13. Build daily success habits that give you an overall pattern for riches and fame by daily thoughts of success, happiness, prosperity and health. 10. The secret formula that puts you in command of the rewarding hidden forces of the universe. Hidden force fields in the invisible universe respond to the subtle commands of nature and give us a multiplicity of products to sustain life on this planet. You will learn a secret prosperity formula that lets you command these miraculous forces to work for you and help you unlock the doors to the universal storehouse of riches. In the hidden interstices of the universe, there are powerful wavelengths of energy that respond to your commands.
you will learn to motivate these hidden force fields with your mind. Nature uses this invisible power to create everything in the world through the magnetic attraction within the Earth. This attraction produces a vast array of elements, such as food, lumber, coal, oil, gold, and silver, that man utilizes in his complex daily life. The law of capillary attraction within the soil itself causes some vast cosmic intelligence to command the acorn to attract from the soil all the elements it needs to become a giant oak tree. Although the original acorn weighs only two ounces, the oak tree that issues from the hidden secret forces within the acorn may weigh two billion times more than the acorn. This chapter reveals the secret formula that enables you to command these hidden forces of the universe. Through this formula, you may attract every good and precious gift that God wants you to have. This secret power resides within your psychic mind centers. Where do you search for the secret formula that opens hidden doors to the universal treasures you desire? The power is inside you, within your own higher psychic mind centers. Just as the power is locked within the inner structure of the acorn, enabling it to become a giant oak tree, so too this mystical power is hidden within your own consciousness. Using this higher power lets you shape any destiny that you desire, attract any person you wish, and rise to any level of goal achievement that you set for yourself. Your command becomes the all-powerful open sesame of the ancient fable that unlocks secret doors to the hidden treasures of the universe. Just as you send an abbreviated message to someone through telegrams, you will now be able to send psychic messages with telecosmograms or mental word pictures with telecosmographs. You can then command this higher cosmic intelligence to make manifest those things that you desire in life and in the most miraculous way. Use these telecosmograms to release prosperity magic. You are ready to use the four telecosmograms that will stir your higher psychic mind centers into creative action and bring you large sums of money or other things that you desire. Action is the first law of the universe, so we shall use four verbs of action as powerful telecosmograms to communicate your desires to your higher psychic mind centers. These are I desire I increase I visualize I claim. Make up your telecosmograms using these keywords to designate what you wish your higher psychic mind to manifest for you. Form telecosmographs to transmit pictures of the things you want. Flash the telecosmograms of what you desire to your higher mind. You can then communicate picture words or telecosmographs to this higher mind through mental images of those things. This could be a large sum of money, a new job, a business of your own, your true soulmate, or the dream home you desire. Sit quietly in meditation and review in your imagination the things that you desire for fulfillment of your life goals. When you know what it is you desire, use the first action words, I desire, to flash your telecosmographs to the cosmic mind, creator of all things in the universe. Read these statements aloud or silently until you make up your own. The following statements are examples of the things most people desire. Your own needs and desires may be different. I desire the sum of $50,000 to give me financial freedom from debts. I desire a home of my own with beautiful furnishings so I may have a solid foundation for raising my family and entertaining my friends. I desire a business of my own that will bring me an income of $50,000 or more a year. I desire work in my chosen profession and to make enough money to give my family and myself security. I desire beautiful clothes, jewelry, a car of my own, a color TV set, and everything else I need for my comfort, convenience, and welfare. Prosperity Miracle Number 26 He attracted a $2 million business. Sasha Brastoff attended classes in Los Angeles and learned this method of communicating his desires through telecosmograms to the cosmic mind. He was an artist whose desire was to bring beauty to the world through his art. He had learned ceramics and had created many beautiful patterns and designs, producing beautiful dinnerware and art objects for the home. Sasha projected the desire to have a large factory where he could turn out his ceramics at a cost everyone could afford, but this would take at least a million dollars or more. 
He had complete faith that this money would come to him. He sat in meditation every day for one month and sent this telecosmogram to the cosmic mind. I wish to attract someone who can finance my factory so I may give beauty to the world. Then he projected telecosmographs of people working in his factory, turning out the products he designed. He saw these objects in people's homes and visualized all the kinds of items he would create. Within a month's time, a friend of Sasha's in Beverly Hills visited him and said that he knew Winthrop Rockefeller. The friend offered to show several of Sasha's beautiful ceramics to the famous philanthropist. The result, Mr. Rockefeller put up the sum of $2 million to build a ceramics factory. To introduce Sasha's beautiful creations to the world, Mr. Rockefeller invited 2,000 people to the official opening of the ceramics factory and paid $30,000 for publicity and gifts for every person who attended. It was one of the most glamorous parties I have ever attended. When I witnessed the results of the miracle power of prosperity magic, I knew that it could work for any person who sincerely believed in it and used it for constructive purposes. How the I Increase Telecosmogram Can Bring You Riches Now you are ready to project the second telecosmogram to your higher psychic mind. This is I Increase. Repeat the following positive programming statements at least seven times. I increase my gifts and talents through study and the development of my inner potentials. I know that I was born to become a success, and I now increase my powers of concentration and projection, so that I can impress everyone who can help me achieve my life goals. I increase my money supply from my present limitations to an unlimited flow that shall come to me from many channels. I believe that I am worthy of the best life has to offer, and I now increase my expectations to include the best that the world has to offer. I increase my money awareness from small sums to large sums. I project the mental images of money to the cosmic mind that created all things and ask that my life shall be blessed with riches and abundance. When you do this exercise, repeat the telecosmogram I increase each morning and also each night to imprint it upon your higher psychic mind centers. Prosperity Miracle Number 27 Dinah W. attracted $100,000 by using the I Increase Telecosmogram. Using these powerful telecosmograms to increase your riches triggers something in the higher psychic mind that leads to the building of a fortune. Dinah W. had been left a widow at the age of 50. She had three grown children, a home that was heavily mortgaged and no resources to draw upon. When her husband, Dan, was alive, he had dabbled in the stock market and most of the time he lost money. All he had to show for his efforts at the time of his death was a stack of unsuccessful stock certificates. Dinah learned about the miracle of prosperity magic in our Los Angeles classes and heard me say that one must empty his or her consciousness of all old ideas of defeat and failure. She used the I increase telecosmograms to ask for $100,000 or more to give her future security. Something prompted her to literally begin to empty out the old and prepare for the new. She went up into the attic to begin this process, and in an old trunk she found all the stock certificates that her husband had accumulated over the years. As she was throwing them out, she came across some gold certificates, stocks in some abandoned Canadian mine that her husband had bought long ago. These aroused her curiosity, so she laid them aside, planning on looking them over more carefully when she had finished. Later, Dinah checked with the broker and found that the abandoned gold mine had been opened up again and that they had struck it rich. Now the stocks were worth more than $100,000. Use the telecosmogram I visualize to focus creative power. Now you are ready to project the third telecosmogram with its accompanying telecosmographs or pictures of what you desire. This is I visualize. I visualize myself as the center of a world that is richly endowed with every type of treasure. I visualize myself living in a beautiful home, surrounded by magnificent furnishings, enjoying my family life and my friends. I visualize myself having the money to travel in luxury all over the world. I see myself meeting important and interesting people who will enjoy my company and enrich my life. Prosperity Miracle Number 28 
How Barbara T. Projected Visual Images for a New Life After Barbara T.'s husband was killed in an auto accident, she was left with two children to support and very little money. I was giving a series of lectures in New York City called The Million Dollar Secret Seminar. She enrolled and told me her purpose in taking the course. I need money to take care of the children since they are only 10 and 12. She also told me in our interview, I don't know how I'll do it, but I want a beautiful home. I'd like to marry someone who would love my children and take care of them. And I'd like to live in the country, away from the dangerous life we now have in the city. Barbara learned how to project telecosmograms to her higher psychic mind centers. She began this process in April of that year, and by June she had amazing results. Barbara had an aunt and uncle who lived in Montana on a sheep ranch. They invited Barbara to come and live with them. They had never had children and welcomed Barbara and her two daughters. But I would die of loneliness on a sheep ranch. Barbara told me, no chance for me to ever meet an eligible man to marry and what would happen to my children. However, before the summer was over, Barbara became so tired of the grind in New York that she told me she would accept her aunt's invitation. Barbara promised she would write and let me know what happened. By Christmas of that year, Barbara's letters changed from routine news to detailed descriptions of an exciting new life that had opened up for her and her daughters. Two miles from her aunt's ranch lived a young man whose wife had died in childbirth the previous year. He was shattered and reckless at the time he happened to meet Barbara at Church Bazaar. While they danced and ate together, Barbara told him that her husband had also died and that she was left with two young girls to care for. The young man told Barbara he was planning to sell his ranch and move to the city where he thought he could meet people and have a new life. But now he suddenly changed plans and decided to remain on his ranch. Barbara was certain that he made this decision because he was interested in her. The young rancher began to see Barbara regularly, and by spring he proposed marriage. She wrote to tell me they would be married in June. My daughters love Phil as much as if he were their own father, and he seems eager to have a ready-made family, so we are going to be married and live here on the ranch. Whenever you want to invoke this telecosmogram, simply say the words, I visualize, seven times and instantly, all the telecosmographs you have pictured will be projected to the higher cosmic mind, starting the action to bring your desires into actual reality. You are now ready to claim the treasures of the universe. Use the fourth telecosmogram to demonstrate the riches that you desire I claim. This telecosmogram will flash to your higher psychic mind, centers the powerful message that you are now actually laying claim to all of the world's treasures and that you feel you are worthy of them. I claim all of the things that I desire here and now. I accept riches and abundance as being my natural heritage, for I know that God created the universe and all therein for me to use and enjoy. I now claim the treasures that are in art galleries and museums, for this accumulation of the world's greatest art is mine to enjoy and use. The libraries, with all their accumulated treasures of wisdom and knowledge, now belong to me, and I may share in the priceless heritage of the great thoughts of geniuses of all time. I claim all these treasures and more as mine to immediately use and enjoy. Whenever you want to stimulate your higher psychic mind centers with the idea of riches and abundance, repeat the telecosmogram I claim seven times and then pass the telecosmographs or word pictures of all the things you claim through your higher mind centers. These four telecosmograms and telecosmographs will condition your higher mind centers with the idea that you are already rich, making you enjoy the good things of life now before you have a million dollars. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 10 1. Learn how to tap the powerful wavelengths of energy hidden in the interstices of the universe and use them to command nature to grant you a harvest of riches and abundance. 2. Discover the same power that Alibaba and the Forty Thieves used to gain access to the treasures hidden in a cave. 3. Use the secret password of the telecosmograms to open the doors to the universal treasures and shower you with every precious gift in life. 4. Learn the four action telecosmograms, I desire, 
I increase, I visualize and I claim, to bring you every known form of power and riches. 5. Use telecosmographs or mental picture writing to project sums of money from $1,000 to $1 million your own business, a beautiful home, love happiness, clothes, jewels, a car and other treasures. 6. A student of this mystic knowledge attracted a fortune, amounting to $2 million using these telecosmograms and telecosmographs. 7. Learn how to use the I desire and I increase telecosmograms to instantly attune your higher psychic mind to infinite riches. 8. Dinah W. Use the I increase telecosmogram to bring her the sum of $100,000 after she had been left a widow. 9. Learn how the telecosmograms I visualize and I claim can direct your higher mind toward universal riches in every department of your life. 10. Barbara T. Use the I visualize telecosmogram to project the image of a new life. She and her two children moved to a new life that brought them love and security. Pictures from bills that. 11. Learn how to mentally project a big money range from $1 to $100,000. 12. Instantly claim the treasures of the universe by using the I claim telecosmogram and grow rich beyond your wildest dreams. 11. Powerful prosperity magic chants and rituals for money miracles. Deep within your higher psychic mind centers are powerful money motivators that can bring you anything in life that you desire. By using secret prosperity magic chants and rituals, you can reach the innermost recesses of this higher mind and trigger instant reactions that motivate you to build a vast fortune. This chapter shows how to release this prosperity magic so that each day presents you with something of value. Money or money equivalents will shower upon you once you know how to use this mystical power. How to Program Higher Psychic Mind Centers for Money Miracles 1. Each day, set aside a definite period of time for programming your higher psychic mind centers with magic chants and rituals for money miracles. This can be in the evening just before you retire or any time of the day when you will be alone and uninterrupted for at least one hour. 2. Use the following psychic stimulators to reach your psychic mind centers and stir them into instant action. I desire the following money miracles in my life. I ask my psychic mind to demonstrate for me the following sums of money from unusual and unexpected sources. I desire $1,000 to meet my current needs and expenses. I desire $5,000 for extra needs, comforts, and even luxuries that will make my life more enjoyable. I desire $10,000 in additional income within the next year, so I can buy my own home, travel, use it for educational purposes, or to furnish my present home with extra items that make it more attractive and livable. I desire $50,000 from sources that my higher mind shall guide me toward, so I can have my own business and make $50,000 a year or more through my own creative efforts. I ask my higher mind centers to bring me $100,000 so I can have overall security with which to buy income property or to invest in sources that can enrich me throughout the years. Prosperity Miracle Number 29 Ingrid P. used magic chants and money rituals to change her life. A woman came to a lecture in New York City, who was 45 years of age, a widow with three children to care for. She asked me after the first class lesson, What chance do I ever have for attracting what I want most in life? I want to marry again, because I still feel young and have my three children to care for. But who'd want a middle-aged woman with three children? I didn't argue the point with her, for on the surface of things, it did seem that the cards were stacked against her. But I also knew of the miracles that had occurred to people who had used these chants and money rituals, so I gave her psychic stimulators to use for the next two months. After that time, I lost touch with Ingrid, but one day she called me at my office, and her voice reflected great joy and excitement. She told me, the chants and rituals worked for me. I saw an ad in the paper for a housekeeper to care for a retired man. I applied and found a charming, middle-aged man whose wife had died three years before. 
I got the job immediately, and the work is easy. But what do you think? He doesn't treat me like his housekeeper I. Eat my meals with him. I go to the theater and concerts with him. I ride in his limousine to the country where he has a summer home. In the very first week, he asked me to move my three children into the east side house he owns. And now the place has come to life. He was taking pills for a heart condition, but now he seems so healthy and happy that he's stopped taking medication. To make the rest of this story about Ingrid short, six months later her life dream was fulfilled. The man proposed marriage to her, and they had a quiet wedding with close friends attending. Ingrid's children were accepted by the man as if they were his own. Now you can see, she told me after this thrilling event, I do believe in your teachings, for my own life has changed dramatically, and I am happier than I ever dared to believe I could be. 3. After programming desired amounts of money into your psychic mind centers, close your eyes gently and sit back and relax with confidence that these money miracles will begin to work for you. 4. The next step is the actual chanting of the rituals that can produce money miracles. Chant these rituals in a sing-song low voice, repeating each ritual at least three or four times. A mystical mantra from the ancient lands of India and Tibet is used in this chant. This statement is Aum Main Padmeam. Pronounce the Aum, Om, and say the entire four-word statement a few times. This powerful mystical chant helps open the Padmas, the psychic mind centers, so that all your mystic chants and rituals will lodge themselves in your psychic mind and be carried into action through your sympathetic nervous system. Repeat now, Aum Main Padmeam. Say it three times. Now repeat only the first two words of the mantra, Amen, saying it three times. Now as you say the Amen, you will put the two words together, so they sound like this, O oh money, 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 Om. You have now converted the powerful mantra Amen into a ritual chant that easily becomes, O oh money, money, money. Repeat this mantra at least 10 or 15 times, until it is lodged in your higher psychic mind centers as a persuasive command to produce the money you desire. 5. Now recite other prosperity magic chants and rituals to program your higher psychic mind centers. Repeat each of the following rituals and chants at least five times. I am rich, 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 rich. I attract money, 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 money. I magnetize riches of all kinds. I can become wealthy and attract all the money I desire. My psychic mind now releases golden ideas that can bring me a flood tide of riches. I now magnetize gold and attract riches from many new channels. I desire one million dollars so I can have security for the future and purchase anything in the world that I wish. How to make your psychic mind a money siphon? 6. A wonderful psychic money siphon will now be set into motion, which will draw into your orbit of activity the large sums of money you desire. A siphon works like a vacuum cleaner, sucking into it whatever is in its path. You can create a siphon in your mind that will draw anything you concentrate on into your orbit of action. Meditate with your eyes closed after saying the chants and money rituals given previously. Visualize a siphon in your brain, reaching out like a vacuum cleaner into the outer world. Now, mentally see a stream of money being sucked into the mental siphon. The power to use is desire, the emotion that creates tremendous attraction within your brain centers for whatever you desire intensely. Visualize a shower of money being siphoned into your environment. See a swirling mass of big bills rushing toward you as you exert the power of your mental siphon. Command this higher psychic mind siphon by saying aloud. I now command the money siphon to work for me. I wish to attract the sum of $50,000 to meet my present and future needs. Prosperity Miracle Number 30 Her psychic money siphon brought her $15,000 in one week. Pamela F. had no idea how she would ever make enough money to pay off her mortgage, support her four children, and run the small ranch that her husband left to her when he died. She lived in San Fernando Valley and often came to our Sunday morning lectures on metaphysics. She told me about her problems and asked my advice. 
I told Pamela about the psychic money siphon that she could use to help her receive money or things of value. Pamela began to use the prosperity magic chants and rituals given in Section 5, and specifically named the various things she wanted. She gave her higher psychic mind the command that she would attract $15,000 within the next two weeks. With no idea how this would come about, she faithfully did her mental projections and chants each night just before going to sleep, confident that the money would come to her. Pamela's property was on Ventura Boulevard, in a district zone for business, but she never had thought of going into a business of her own. One day, shortly after she began her mental projection for money, a man approached her with a business proposition. He wanted to lease some of her ranch for the purpose of making and selling plaster figures for people's lawns figures of deer, ducks, mushrooms and dwarfs, and other items for home and lawn decorations. As a result of these negotiations, the man paid Pamela the first year's rent in advance. It was exactly the figure she had projected in her mental siphon, $15,000. Not only did she receive this amount in cash, but his business thrived, and Pamela had a steady income for the future. 7. To further help you release prosperity magic from your psychic mind centers, use the Pyramid Money Power exercise to immediately bring in unexpected sources of money. To do this, take a dollar bill, and with the green side facing you, Look at it closely. You will notice that it has a pyramid within a circle printed on it. At the top of the pyramid, you will see an eye. This is a mystical symbol that was put on the bills in the years of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's presidency. Now hold your pyramid power dollar in your right hand as you chant the following money ritual aloud. You can repeat this chant for at least five times. I now project pyramid money power to my higher psychic mind centers. I ask for divine guidance to show me how to increase my money supply. I now open my all-knowing psychic third eye and ask that it reveal for me the methods by which I can become as rich as I wish to be. 8. To magnetize the higher psychic centers with the thought of big money, make out a check to yourself for $1 million and sign at God, the universal banker. Mentally claim any part of that million dollars that you may need for immediate use. Make this money ritual statement. I now claim $10,000 from God's Universal Bank. I need this amount for the following purposes. Here mentally review what you wish to do with that money. I shall use this money wisely and only for good purposes. 9. Another exercise for magnetizing large sums of money is to put into your psychic portfolio the 10 pieces of white blank paper on which you wrote $10,000 in each of the corners. Count out how much money you require to buy a new car, to make a down payment on a new home, or for any other purpose. Say this money chant as you do this exercise. I now ask from God, my universal banker, that I be given the following amounts of money for these specific purposes. I require $8,000 to obtain a new car. I wish for $15,000 to make a down payment on a new home. I ask for $5,000 to take a second honeymoon trip with my soulmate to Europe. I desire $50,000 to go into my own business. I have faith that God, my universal banker, wants me to have all these things and more, and now showers riches and abundance on me from many different channels. Prosperity Miracle Number 31 Interior Decorator Projected Himself to International Fame An interior decorator named Stephen Heilbronner once attended a lecture I gave on prosperity magic in Los Angeles. He was visiting the West Coast and planned on decorating some of the movie star's homes. When he introduced himself after the lecture, I suggested he begin by decorating my home in Bel Air. He began to use the psychic portfolio exercise to bring him additional decorating jobs and large sums of money. As he worked on my home, I could see the great talent he possessed, which had made him one of New York's leading interior designers. His use of color was fabulous, and he created a veritable showplace in the 30-room mansion, which was a duplicate of a Venetian palace. Later, when Prince Rainier of Monaco rented my home while he courted Grace Kelly, he admired the decorations and called the home a miniature palace that equaled the grandeur of his larger palace in Monaco. 
He asked who decorated it, and I arranged for him to meet Stephen Heilbronner. From that chance meeting, a few short years later, Princess Grace had Stephen do several rooms in her palace. His mental projection brought him international fame and even greater success in the years ahead. Magic Chants and Rituals to Win and Hold Friends 10. These powerful prosperity magic chants and rituals may be used for purposes other than demonstrating money. You can use this same mystical power to win and hold friends and loved ones. I now project the desire to attract friends and loved ones. I shall strive to be worthy of the love and adoration of others by being kind and loving. I shall forgive others and not hold grudges or want revenge. I wish to attract people who will give me respect and admiration and love. 11. Use the following magic chants and rituals for finding your true soul mate and happiness in love and marriage. I now project my ideal of love to the cosmic mind. I wish to attract my true soul mate who will love me as I deserve to be loved. I wish for qualities of loyalty, kindness, consideration, sensitivity, emotional responsiveness, peace, and inner beauty. I am willing to meet my true soul mate more than halfway in the sanctity of love and marriage. I desire a family of loving children and a beautiful home in which to raise them. 12. The following magic chants and rituals bring you success in your profession. I desire success and advancement in my chosen profession. I wish to give my creative gifts and talents to benefit the world through my efforts. I am willing to work hard and dedicate myself to doing good with the money that I shall be paid. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 11 1. Money and money equivalents will shower upon you when you learn how to use powerful prosperity magic chants and rituals. 2. Learn how to program higher psychic mind centers for money miracles that bring you everything in life that you desire. 3. Use these money rituals and magic chants to bring you sums from $1,000 to $100,000 or even more in a short time. 4. Ingrid P. used these money chants and rituals to attract a wealthy man who married her and provided a fine life for her and three children. 5. Use the mystic chants from Tiber and India for producing money her miracles, using the Aum Main Padme Aum chant as a powerful money chant that produces money miracles. 6. There is a money siphon that exists in your psychic mind and attracts money and other things you desire. 7. Pamela F. used this money siphon to attract $15,000 in one week and continuing funds for the future. 8. Understand the pyramid power dollar with its mystical symbols of the pyramid and the all-seeing eye and learn how to use it to magically produce a stream of money. 9. Carry the million-dollar check signed God, the universal banker, to program your higher mind with money magic. 10. Use your psychic portfolio to project mental images of large amounts of money that come from unexpected sources. 11. An interior decorator used this secret to gain international fame and fortune. 12. Use magic chants and rituals to win and hold friends. 13. Learn magic chants and rituals to bring you success in your chosen occupation and also for finding love happiness. 12. How 10 Golden Prosperity Keys Open Doors to Hidden Treasures All around you are hidden treasures that can be reached if you know the 10 Golden Prosperity Keys that can open the invisible doors to these riches. The most powerful forces in the universe exist in an invisible domain. They can only be harnessed by man after he discovers the keys to unlock the stupendous natural forces of the universe. Electricity exists in this invisible realm. Franklin proved its existence with his kite experiment, and Edison harnessed this electrical power by conducting it through copper wires. A new age of industry and progress was then opened for all mankind. The force known as gravity or magnetism has existed since time began, but only in our modern age did man learn how to use rocket thrusts to overcome gravity and get to the moon? Because man used this key to unlock invisible doors, 
he is able to fly. Tremendous power exists in the invisible atom. When Einstein used the golden key of knowledge to open hidden doors to atomic energy, man discovered atomic power, which can be used for good or for evil purposes. Capillary attraction, working in the invisible realm of nature, makes seeds attract the elements they require to furnish us with a harvest of abundance. These invisible forces of the universe also work their miracles for you when you tap them by using the ten golden prosperity keys explained in this chapter. Then you can command the invisible forces of the cosmos to bring you the hidden treasures that you require for your life fulfillment. Golden Prosperity Key Number 1. Activated Desire Everyone has a desire to have a fortune. This desire makes people frequent gambling halls and races in the attempt to strike it rich. Millions of people buy lottery tickets or play the numbers game for this reason. However, the desire to become rich is not the golden prosperity key that can open doors to the hidden treasures of the universe. It must be an activated desire. In other words, you do not sit back and simply desire something. You must activate your higher mind centers by taking steps to make your dreams come true. To activate your desires for greater success, money and the things money can buy. Have some definite purpose in mind for which you require money. A desire to buy your own home to educate your children, to elevate your standards of living, to bring something good to the world all. These are activated desires. Also, if you take some definite steps to achieve each of your desires, you will be using the dynamic first law of the universe action. Do not simply desire money for its own sake like a miser does. This is not always sufficient motivation for building and attracting a fortune. Prosperity Miracle Number 32 a carpenter with five children used activated desire. Henry T. and his wife Mabel had five children and lived in a rented house in San Fernando Valley, California. When they came to see me for private consultation, they told me right away that they were too poor to pay for the interview, but they were desperate. They had been to a few of my lectures and wanted to learn how they could improve their lives. Henry was a carpenter at the studios but had been laid off because work was scarce. He spent the first half hour telling me of their desperate plight and how they were behind on the rent and would soon be evicted. Their next step would be to go on welfare. There's absolutely nothing I can do to change this situation, he said. Perhaps you can suggest something. I knew immediately that I had to give this couple a strong mental jolt to break the mesmerizing effect of their desperate situation. I had to give them some motivation that would inspire them to make a supreme effort to succeed for the sake of their five children. After a moment's thought, I said, Henry, I think I know a way out for you. I know a very wealthy couple in Beverly Hills who have no children. They have told me they would be willing to pay as much as $100,000 to any parent who let them adopt a suitable child. Would you be interested? Henry and his wife sat for a moment in stunned disbelief. Their faces were masks of rage and indignation. Then he blurted out, Why, why, we wouldn't consent to give up even one of our children for a million dollars. There isn't enough money in the world to buy them. I smiled and said, Why then, you consider your children to be worth more than five million dollars? In reality then, you're really richer than the Beverly Hills couple who have no children. Then I confessed there had been no such offer to adopt a child, but that it was only a ruse to change their level of consciousness from one of poverty and despair to one of riches and abundance. This mental jolt worked as I had expected it would. It reached into Henry's psychic mind centers and triggered immediate reactions. Within a week he telephoned and told me a great idea had come to him as he sat in meditation asking for guidance. He owned a small panel truck. On the sides he had painted, Home Repairs Reasonable with his telephone number and address. He began to do renovation jobs on homes, such as putting in kitchen cabinets and shelves, and renovating bathrooms, tile flooring and wall paneling. Soon Henry had so much work that he had to hire two men to work for him. He eventually had three panel trucks and a fleet of workers, and was making so much money that he made a down payment on his own home. 
The last I heard was that he was on the road to making his first million. Golden Prosperity Key Number 2. Use the Law of Magnetic Attraction. The law of magnetism states that you attract to yourself what you put into your consciousness. This applies to both negative and positive experiences in life. You will just as easily attract good fortune as bad if you constantly work to put only positive thoughts into your consciousness. If you want to attract large sums of money, spend some time each day thinking about money and what you will do with it when you have it. If you long for your own home, spend some time cutting out pictures of beautiful homes and pasting them in your scrapbook of destiny. Then put in photographs of all the furnishings you want in your dream home. To magnetize a new car, a color TV set or other useful objects, simply cut out pictures of these things and paste them in your scrapbook of destiny. Each day look at this scrapbook and visualize yourself owning all of the objects you desire. This sets up invisible wavelengths of magnetism within your higher mind that attract the things you have magnetized. Prosperity Miracle Number 33 Her scrapbook of destiny brought her valuable gifts. Susie Five never made much money at her job as a secretary, but she had dreams of one day living in a beautiful home, wearing fine clothes, and having her home furnished with the latest and most beautiful objects. She made her scrapbook and pasted into it pictures of a magnificent home. She furnished it with colored pictures from magazines, pictures of a color TV set, a new car, fine jewelry, and other valuable objects she wanted in her home. Susie's mother had long been estranged from her brother Arthur, who had gone to the West Coast and was enormously successful in real estate development. One day, soon after Susie began her mental projection of her dream images, there was a telephone call from Uncle Arthur. He told them that his wife Adelaide had died of cancer, and he was left alone in a big house in Beverly Hills with only a housekeeper to look after him. He said, Let's forget our differences. We're getting older, and after all, we are family. Why don't you and Susie come out here and make this your home? Susie later told me that she had never projected how her dreams of fortune would materialize. In fact, she had forgotten about her rich uncle. But when she found herself living in the magnificently furnished home, with the three color TV sets, a beautiful Steinway grand piano, her own private bedroom, and every comfort and luxury, she realized that her psychic mind had found a way by which her scrapbook of destiny could be fulfilled. One day, her uncle opened a jewel box and gave her a set of pearls, a diamond ring, a valuable sapphire brooch, and other jewelry. And Susie realized that even the jewelry she had projected was now a reality. Her uncle said, Why Walt until I'm dead to give you and my sister these things? After all, they'll all belong to you one day, and you might as well begin to enjoy them now. Golden Prosperity Key Number 3 A Creative Imagination This golden key has opened doors to treasures of the universe for many millions of people. Everything that has ever been discovered or invented first had its origin in someone's imagination. To use your own creative imagination constructively, exercise the powers of your imagination through daily sessions of development. Imagine yourself as active in the work you wish to do or owning your own business. See yourself being promoted or making big money through the sale of your products or services. In your imagination, visualize yourself living the type of social life you want, meeting new friends and being popular and well-liked by your friends. Imagine how you would live if you had a million dollars. See yourself taking luxury cruises to foreign countries. Visualize the type of home you would live in, the forms of entertainment and leisure activities you would enjoy. Imagine yourself inventing something or making a great discovery that might bring you fame and a million dollars. Golden Prosperity Key Number 4 Use the Law of Dynamic Action as the law of action is the first law of the universe, use dynamic action for your greater prosperity. The Chinese have a saying, a journey of 1,000 miles begins with but a single step. Take that first step towards goal achievement today. It is important that you break the force of inertia that keeps you from achieving high goals. If you wish to become a famous author, 
learn how to typewrite first. Then put a piece of paper in the typewriter and write the first words of your great novel. If you cannot think of anything to write, start with the ABCs or an account of your day's activities. Anything to start the action of your subconscious mind, which will do the actual writing for you once you start. The inspiration for any great career must be carefully built and nurtured within your mind by a belief in yourself and your talents, and by the determination that you will achieve your high goals in life, no matter how long you must wait. Take the first step for advancement in life. Study and evolve, so you will be worthy of high goals. Seek an interview for a better job, or write a letter to the head of a company asking for an interview. Be active in the things that will lead to progress and achievement, and soon you will be rewarded for your efforts. Golden Prosperity Key Number 5 Have a High Master Motive Before you can achieve high goals and win a fortune through your efforts, there must be a high master motive back in your life. In motivational psychology, we learn that a person is driven to greater effort and higher achievement if he has a real need or a sincere desire to achieve high goals. There are many master motives that you can use to gain greater prosperity and success. A few of these are A desire to give your family all the advantages that money can buy, such as a fine home, a better education, ideal living conditions, and opportunities to achieve their life goals. A desire to bring peace and brotherhood to the world. An urge to give beauty in some form to the world. The emotion of love as a motivating force behind the world's great art, music, literature, poetry, scientific discoveries, and architecture. Golden Prosperity Key Number 6 The Emotion of Enthusiasm Enthusiasm is defined as a passionate zeal for a person, object or pursuit, keen interest. I like to call this golden key the magnificent obsession, for when enthusiasm is overpowering and becomes the moving emotion back of your life, all the forces of your mind and body concentrate on achieving one great goal in life. This magnificent obsession, enthusiasm, keeps a genius alive and makes him focus all his powers on achieving a great objective. Try to be in work that makes you enthusiastic and eager to face each day's tasks. If you are in work that you dislike, you simply cannot have this powerful, driving emotion of enthusiasm. Get out of such work by first preparing yourself for the career you really desire. This may take two or three years, but it is preferable to staying in one situation for the rest of your life, feeling frustrated and discontented. If other people discourage you, and try to kill your enthusiasm by telling you cannot achieve these things. You must work hard to counteract their negative suggestions with positive ones. You can use these subconscious motivators to help you build your enthusiasm for each day's tasks. I am on the high road of achievement, and nothing can stop me nor stand in my way. I now negate all suggestions of failure that others gloomy and affirm that I can accomplish anything I set my mind on. I imprint my subconscious mind with thoughts of success, building a fortune and achieving the things I desire. Golden Prosperity Key Number 7 Perseverance and Determination These two words belong together, for perseverance means to maintain an effort and not to give in. Determination means adherence to a definite line of action and to be unwavering, resolute, and firm. Researchers estimate that most people who fail in life do so, because they give up just at the point when success is assured. It often takes such a long time to reach a point where your efforts are going to be crowned with success that you may be discouraged and want to give up and try something else. By persevering a while longer, you may finally achieve your goal. Prosperity Miracle Number 34 A miner in Nevada struck it rich die persevering. A prospector in the Nevada desert was certain that there was gold in his claim, but after working by hand for weeks to find gold, he finally gave up in discouragement and sold his claim to a man he knew. This man, O.T. Johnson, using only a pick and shovel, kept digging where the other miner had left off and soon uncovered one pocket of gold that brought him $40,000. Then he bought machinery and continued digging into his mountain, and over a period of five years, he brought $5 million in gold from that claim. 
This was the famous Johnny Mine near Las Vegas, and in those days that amount was equivalent to $20 million today. This same man took his gold earnings to Los Angeles and bought 2,000 acres of land in the heart of the city. By the year 1954, that land was subdivided into homes and lots at an estimated value of $450 million. Sometimes perseverance and determination pay off greatly. Golden Prosperity Key Number 8 Accurate Knowledge Do you have sufficient knowledge about your work to assure that you will make a fortune in it? Are you using all your knowledge to promote yourself and your products or services? One of the great essentials in goal achievement is knowing what you want, knowing all there is to know about the subject you have taken up, and using this knowledge as an active tool in forging your pathway to riches and success. To increase this knowledge, do not stop learning when you leave high school or college. Keep up to date on everything that pertains to your work. Read the trade papers, study the latest scientific findings, subscribe to weekly periodicals that keep you abreast of the times. Golden Prosperity Key Number 9 Courage to Face the Obstacles of Life No career has ever been built without the courage to face the obstacles that constantly arise in life. Courage helps you overcome problems, to face discouragement without giving up, and to grow strong enough to finally master life and achieve your high goals. Nature favors the bold. Everything in nature shows the constant struggle to survive. The dinosaur did not have the intelligence to fight the forces that eventually destroyed that species. Sometimes a person with mediocre talent but much courage will triumph over someone who gives up the struggle after a few disappointments and defeats. Even a college education does not guarantee success unless a person has the courage to fight through to victory. Golden Prosperity Key Number 10 Subconscious Mind Power one of the most powerful allies in your climb to fame and fortune is your subconscious mind. Use these auto-suggestions each day to program your higher mind with ideas for fame and fortune. I am worthy of the fortune I now ask of my subconscious mind. I imprint my subconscious mind with the positive idea that I can make a million dollars or more through my talents and by my determination to succeed. I ask that my subconscious assist me in giving me ideas that will be useful in making a fortune. I now have the courage to ask for bigger goals in life, knowing that I am able to achieve these high goals. I desire success so I can have all the money I need to carry out my various plans for my family and myself. Chapter 6 shows the complete regimen for harnessing the miracle power of your subconscious mind. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 12 1. Discover hidden treasures all around you by using 10 golden prosperity keys to open secret doors to riches. 2. Atomic power and capillary attraction, as well as the invisible power of magnetism, can be tapped by your higher mind to reveal an invisible world of riches. 3. The golden key of activated desire brings you a fortune after you know how to focus this power in your higher mind. 4. A carpenter with five children used this golden key to start a flourishing business that brought him a beautiful new home. 5. The great law of magnetic attraction works as a golden key to unlock the treasures of the universe. Learn how to attract riches and abundance through this secret. 6. Create your scrapbook of destiny and put in it pictures of the home, the car, the TV ser, and anything else that you desire. 7. Susie V. used this secret power to demonstrate a beautiful Steinway grand piano, a new car, fine jewelry, and other things of great value. 8. Use the golden key of creative imagination to project your life work, your own business, your romantic life, and all the treasures you dream of having. 9. Use the golden key of dynamic action to start you on the pathway to fame, fortune, and happiness. 10. Gain the impetus you desire to elevate you to high places by deciding upon a master motive. 11. Use the golden keys of enthusiasm, perseverance, and determination to bring you the fulfillment of your every dream.
12. A miner in Nevada used these keys and struck it rich, taking $5 million in gold from his mine. 13. Accurate knowledge and the courage to face life's obstacles give you the ability to overcome problems and to successfully meet life's challenges and win outstanding success. 14. Use powerful auto-suggestions to program your subconscious mind with money-making ideas and to win outstanding success. 13. Tap astral realms to awaken the prosperity genie within you. There is a tremendous power within your higher mind which may be tapped at night while you sleep. I call this power the prosperity genie that slumbers within your subconscious mind. When preparing for sleep at night, you can actually program this prosperity genie, giving it the instructions for your enrichment and prosperity that you have mentally decided upon. Scientists now believe that our eight hours of sleep each night can be harnessed and made to work miracles for us. The dream world that we encounter at night is another dimension of time and space. Your soul can wander the astral realms and work out a pattern of destiny for itself which has already been predetermined in your conscious waking hours. This chapter explains how to tap the astral realms while you sleep, so the slumbering prosperity genie within your subconscious mind can release its creative ideas for your enrichment and prosperity. Throughout history, geniuses have used this higher power to achieve their great deeds. Edison received many of his ideas for the invention of the electric light, the motion picture camera, and other great inventions while he slept. After he had failed 10,000 times to find a substance for the electric bulb filament, he gave his higher mind instructions at night to reveal the secret to him on the astral realm while he slept. One night he had a vivid dream of what he should do. He wrote down the events in the dream, and the next day he perfected the electric light bulb, thus changing the course of history for all. Jules Verne's astral visions from his subconscious mind gave him more than 100 astounding ideas for such things as submarines, long-range cannons, television, radio and space rockets that could take me to other planets. His subconscious mind knew all these amazing secrets and gave him prophetic vision. Swedenborg, the famous Swedish mystic, received astral projections during a deep reverie and saw a fire 300 miles away that killed several hundred people. The next day, he received the news that his astral vision had indeed been accurate. Michelangelo, at 70, decorated the ceiling and walls of the Sistine Chapel. Through astral projection, he received the inspiration for the more than 200 majestic figures that adorn his masterpiece. He had no models, yet his heroic images are among the greatest ever created by man. How you can tap the astral realms to awaken your own prosperity, genie. 1. Before retiring, review all of the things that you would like to achieve in your life. Instruct your superconscious mind as to what you want it to do while your soul is on the astral planes while you sleep. 2. The superconscious mind is the higher mind which can link itself to the cosmic mind or soul of the universe. This higher mind can receive inspiration and creative ideas from the all knowing master mind. The mastermind gave the geniuses of all time great ideas for inventions, stories, songs, art, industry, and finances. Just as you go to sleep at night, hold in your mind the one thing that you would like to receive from this cosmic intelligence that works on the astral planes. If it is a large amount of money, write down the amount that you need for your immediate use. 3. If you have an overwhelming problem that you wish this higher mind would solve for you, Take this out onto the astral planes by writing it down. Ask that this problem be solved for you. 4. Your astral request chart might look like this sample one, but it should reflect your own individual desires and needs too. This list is given only as an example of the form that you might use. I ask my superconscious mind to contact the soul of the universe as I sleep tonight. I have the following astral requests that I wish to make. These are my desires. I wish to have the sum of $10,000 so I can make a down payment on a home of my own. I ask for $50,000 or more as a yearly income that will give me a higher standard of living. 
I ask of the great master mind of the universe that I be shown how to go into my own business in whatever line of work I feel I am fitted for. I ask the prosperity genie of my higher mind to bring me one idea for an invention that can make a million dollars for me. I ask the masters on the astral planes to give me the same inspiration they have given to such geniuses as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Mozart, Beethoven, Shakespeare, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Edison, Einstein, George Washington Carver, Burbank, Lincoln, Henry Ford, and Rockefeller, the first. I realized these were all ordinary human beings like myself, until they were touched by the finger of God and received extraordinary powers of the mind and spirit that elevated them to the realm of immortals. Their greatness has benefited all mankind. I now ask the astral forces to unlock the same stupendous powers within my mind and soul that can lead to greatness. I ask this higher astral mind to help me with the solution to this difficult problem. Here state the problem. You can list more than one, because this higher power knows the solution to all of life's trying problems. Prosperity Miracle Number 35 Her astral requests for a soul mate and $50,000 income came to her. Lorraine D. learned about astral projection in our classes and decided she would use this knowledge to further her career and to bring her a fortune. She made out an astral request chart listing the following things she desired. A beautiful home of my own in Beverly Hills. A husband who will be my true soulmate. A business that will bring in more than $50,000 a year. A fine car that I shall be proud of. Travel, exciting experiences and meeting new people. When Lorraine began her nightly astral programming, she had no idea how her astral requests would be granted, but each night while she was sleeping, she began to have remarkable experiences. She saw herself living in a pink mansion in the hills near Hollywood. She visualized herself speaking before large groups of people, mostly women, selling some beauty product. She had an eerie feeling that her mind was being shaped by astral masters who were preparing her for some great career. Each morning, when Lorraine awakened, she wrote down her vivid astral dreams, and several times during the day, she ran these projections through her mind with the feeling that they were about to occur. Fate then stepped in. Lorraine's psychic mind made her pick up a Beverly Hills newspaper one day, where she saw an ad that asked for women to demonstrate cosmetics. It was a simple beginning that led Lorraine to take the steps, which finally brought her everything she ever dreamed of. She was trained by a cosmetics company to demonstrate a new line of beauty products before groups of women. Lorraine was ready for this push forward, for she had been living in this mental fantasy for some time, so she presented a fine, magnetic personality that easily sold the beauty products she was demonstrating. Within a year, Lorraine was a district manager, training other women for the company. She received salary and commissions from the sales of those she trained. She was guided to a home that she decided to buy a beautiful pink mansion in the Hollywood Hills. It was not in Beverly Hills, but a place called Mount Olympus, a new real estate development, where she obtained the mansion for a small down payment. One day she passed a used car lot, and there was her pink Cadillac, just as she had seen it on the Astral. She bought it for a small down payment, and was on her way to fulfilling the rest of her Astral requests. Lorraine was sent into the field to train large groups of women in the sales techniques she learned. She was so dynamic and forceful because of her confidence in her destiny that she was soon recruiting more sales representatives for the company than any other woman. She received a bonus check for $50,000 in the second year of her new career. While on a trip to Texas, appearing before 800 women recruits, she met the man she had dreamed of, the person she believed was her true soulmate. He was a Texas executive for the company that she worked for. There was something electric between them, Lorraine told me later, from the first moment they met. When he proposed marriage to her, Lorraine accepted and moved to Texas, where she lived in a home even more magnificent than the one she sold in Hollywood. Every one of her astral requests came to her within a period of three years. 5. When you have made your list of astral requests, you can prepare for going out onto the astral realm. The mystics of the Far East call this astral projection. 
Breathe deeply five to ten times and bid your mind to be still. Keep saying the word, relax, over and over, until you feel completely at ease. Keep your eyes closed as you command your soul to go out onto the astral planes where it can contact the soul of the universe and present your astral requests. You need not worry about what the soul of the universe is, nor how it will know your dreams and aspirations. There is a soul communion of your psyche with this master intelligence that created the universe. Soul speaks to soul as star to star, someone has said. Your soul merges with the soul of the universe in this mystical communication that occurs out on the astral planes while you sleep. 6. To exteriorize your soul, continue to breathe deeply and mentally command your soul to be released and to blend with the soul of the universe. You will experience a feeling of lightness, almost as if your body did not exist. Suddenly, you may feel that your body is rising, but actually, it will be the gentle tug of your soul as it rises out of your body into the astral realm. The soul is tied to the body by a kind of spiritual umbilical cord, but will never be severed until death occurs, so do not fear this experience. The soul will automatically return to the body at the end of your astral journey without any effort on your part. Mystics have estimated that there are seven astral realms and that your soul will automatically select that astral realm where it can receive the instructions or guidance for which you have asked. 7. When you achieve astral release from your earth body, your soul is then free to ascend to any of the seven astral realms it chooses. It may select to go back into history, in the misty corridors of time and space, to reveal other lives that you have had. You may have vivid dreams in full color in which you find yourself doing astounding things. 8. Out on the astral realm you may also be projected to a future era where you see yourself carrying out a cosmic plan that you will not understand in your waking state. The astral realm that your soul selects may be the current era where you are now working out your karmic destiny for the future. You will then be visited by masters who guide you through various experiences that bring you the solutions to your life problems, ideas for growing rich, or other conditions that you have asked for in your astral requests? 9. Generally these visions will be very clear, and you will feel that you are actually experiencing the events that make up astral dreams. Sometimes astral visions will take the form of clairvoyant or clairaudient experiences in which you see or hear future events of your life. You hear sound effects and see people whom you will meet, such as a future soulmate that you will fall in love with, or children that will bless a future marriage. Prosperity Miracle Number 36 His clairvoyant experiences on the astral prophesied his future. Lyle C. had experienced astral flights before he became interested in mystic philosophy. He wanted to find out even more about this other soul dimension. When he learned that he could actually prepare his soul for certain astral experiences before he went to sleep at night, Lyle began to use the astral requests to transmit his desires to the astral realm. Lyle wrote down as one of his requests that he wished to become the manager of the large home appliances firm that he worked for. Second, he asked for a true soul mate to share his life experiences, a family of three children, and a beautiful home near a body of water. After he completed his astral request list, he went to bed each night with these desires in his mind. The very first night he had an astral journey that took him away to foreign countries. He seemed to be visiting India, Egypt and ancient Greece, where he had the amazing experience of seeing himself as a young, important person, married, with three children, a boy and two girls. When he awakened, he jotted down his astral experiences and thought them interesting but hardly instructive. It was three weeks later that Lyle began to see some semblance of order in his clairvoyant dreams. He was suddenly promoted at work, which raised his salary from $20,000 a year to $30,000. He got the job as field representative for the large appliance firm. The first place he was sent to was Europe, meeting with heads of companies in Paris, London, Rome, and Athens that could utilize the line of products his company produced. Lyle was so successful in this venture that when he returned, his company gave him an additional bonus of $5,000 and then sent him to the Mideast, where he visited Egypt and Israel. 
From there he was sent to India and Russia. His astral projection of foreign lands came true in the most astounding manner. Upon his return to America months later, he left London on the same plane as a young woman who seemed vaguely familiar to him. He suddenly realized the face as that of the woman he had met on his astral flights, the soul mate who would bear him three children, a boy and two girls. I kept track of Lyle for several years. He married the English girl, and they did have three children, and as in his astral vision, they were two girls and a boy. Every one of the clairvoyant experiences he had on the astral came true in the most astounding way. 10. When you are in this dimension of astral projection, you may receive warnings of dangers you can avoid, such as a fire or an accident in a car or airplane. Many times you may have a revelation of how you met death in a past incarnation. You may see yourself drowning, or being murdered, or dying of old age. You may suddenly awaken when you have such shocking revelations and have the feeling of falling from great heights. You may awaken with a start, with the astral vision still very vivid in your mind. It is then that you should write down the various astral experiences you have had, and later try to sort them out and put them in their time compartments, such as past, present, and future. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 13 1. Discover the prosperity genie that slumbers within your subconscious mind and how you may tap this power through astral projection. 2. The dream world is actually another dimension in which your soul gathers valuable information and probes secrets of the universe that can make you rich. 3. Geniuses throughout history have used the astral realms to make great discoveries and become famous and successful. 4. Learn the regimen for tapping astral realms to awaken your own personal prosperity magic genie. 5. The superconscious mind contacts the cosmic mind, bringing you valuable information for achieving success. 6. Use the astral realm to work out problems and gain valuable insight into the various situations that afflict you. 7. Make out your astral request chart and ask for gifts and talents as well as amounts of money ranging from $10,000 to $1 million. 8. Lorraine D. used astral projection and requested a beautiful home, a true soul mare, $50,000 a year in income, a new car, and traveling to meet people. All these requests were granted. 9. Learn how to prepare yourself for taking astral journeys at night while you sleep. 10. Contact the soul of the universe while out on the astral realms and gain tremendous power from masters on other planes. 11. Learn how to exteriorize your soul for astral flights while you sleep at night and achieve astral travel to the past or future. 12. There are seven astral realms that you may discover while your soul ascends the invisible corridors of time. 13. You can receive clairvoyant visions and clairaudient messages of the future events of your life from the masters who exist on the astral realms. 14. Lyle C. received prophetic visions of the woman he was to marry, the children they would have, and the place he was to live. These clairvoyant prophecies all came true. 15. Learn how you can receive warnings of dangers such as fire or accident while your soul is out on the astral realms. 14. The Ten Dynamic Mental Laws That Trigger Prosperity Miracle After Miracle The entire universe operates under laws that are as fixed and definite as the law of gravity. Cosmic magnetism operates throughout space, causing the planets to rotate in their orbits. There is no confusion among these fixed stars. Each appears in its designated place every night, letting scientists predict accurately where each planet will be for hundreds of years. In the same way, there are universal laws that work in your life to bring you prosperity miracles that you can depend on. These laws work through your mind, triggering positive reactions that cause you to increase your prosperity as easily and as automatically as you breathe. It is natural for you to be successful, healthy, happy, prosperous, and rich. If you follow the 10 dynamic mental laws in this chapter, you will see immediate results in your life. 
Miracle after miracle will occur in your life because these mental and universal laws work as surely as the law of mathematics. Under that law, 2 plus 2 always makes 4, not 5 or 6. If the results in your life have always been wrong, you can change this by applying these 10 dynamic mental laws to your life. Number 1. The Law of Predominant Mental Impression This psychological law works through the power of your subconscious mind. Whatever imprints itself most forcibly upon your subconscious becomes the predominant mental impression which will determine all of your future actions. Each day for the next month, imprint your subconscious mind with the dynamic thoughts given in this chapter. Say these dynamic sentences aloud a few times until they are firmly imprinted upon your subconscious mind. If you wish to, however, you can repeat these words to yourself either. Method will drive them into the depths of your subconscious. They then become the laws that govern your automatic responses for the rest of your life. First, let us define what we mean by predominant. It means the thoughts that are most prevalent in your mind and which you think about most frequently. The flood of outer influences that bombards your mind with negative results can be controlled. The world will always be in confusion and discord, with wars always existing in some corner of the world. In 5,000 years of civilization, we have had only 100 years of peace. If you had lived during that time, thinking your life would change when war ended, you would never have found peace and security. Use the law of predominant mental impression to create an inner world of the mind. There you can live in peace and harmony, find love, happiness, and fulfillment, and be prosperous, healthy, and successful. Prosperity Miracle Number 37 he projected the mental image of a land deal that came through. At a lecture in Kansas City some years ago, a young man studied these laws that can trigger miracles in life. He told me later that he and his brothers ran a 150-acre grain and dairy farm nearby, but that they felt they needed another 10 acres for expansion. He wanted to know how to bring this miracle about, for the neighbors who owned this land did not want to sell it and did not need the money. I gave Frank L. the information he needed about how to use the dynamic law of predominant mental impression. He put down on his blueprint of destiny that he desired the ten acres of land, and that it would be his by divine right. He read it over three times a day and concentrated on it just before going to sleep at night. Frank L. disappeared from the scene for one year, but one day a letter arrived at my New York office from the young man. He said, the most amazing thing has happened in regard to the ten acres of land we wanted to buy. The man who owned it decided he wanted to retire from farming and go to Kansas City to live, so he put it on the market, and I got my ten acres at the price I had set. Use this law of predominant mental impression each day and repeat positive statements as often as possible, such as, I can make a fortune. I shall be a great success in my work. I shall overcome my negative habits. I wish to attract large amounts of money. I believe in myself and my ability to make a fortune. I have a million-dollar idea within my mind, and I wish to discover it for my financial improvement. I can do anything any other person can. I am happy in my present circumstances and shall strive to improve them in the future. I am rich in this moment and enjoy all the free gifts of life beauty in nature, music, art, good books, and loving friends and relatives. Number 2. The Law of Cause and Effect Your every thought is a cause that produces an effect in your life. These thoughts work first in your own body. If your thoughts are positive, healthy, and happy, they have the effect of alkalinity in your body which creates a healthy, strong, and youthful body that stands up under the stresses of life. Here are some powerful sentences that can trigger miracles in the various departments of your life. For the miracle of perfect health, I now imprint on my subconscious mind these positive thoughts. I am healthy, vital, young, and strong. I wish to live a long, useful life in which I achieve all my goals. My body's vital functions operate under the control of my subconscious mind, and therefore I am free of worry regarding their proper working. 
for the miracle of increased income. I now ask my subconscious mind for creative ideas that will help increase my income. I desire financial security and large amounts of money. I wish to have a home of my own, a new car, beautiful furnishings for my home, a business that I can operate with great success, and an income of $50,000 or more a year. For the miracle of romantic fulfillment. I desire romantic fulfillment with my true soulmate. I wish to attract a companion who is loving, considerate, and kind. I wish to build my life with such a soulmate. I now ask for guidance from my subconscious mind so I can find my perfect mate. Prosperity Miracle Number 38 At 45, she attracted her true soulmate. Jessica F. was widowed at the age of 40 and left alone with three children to care for. Five years later, when she was 45, she accidentally happened to attend a lecture of mine in which I talked about the dynamic mental laws one could use for prosperity. After the lecture, she asked, Can the same laws be used to bring me love fulfillment? I told her they could, and she replied, But all my friends tell me I'm too old to search for my soulmate, to forget it, and get busy with the job of raising my family alone. I convinced Jessica that she could project the mental image of her true soulmate by using the exact statement that was given previously. By faithfully reciting this positive programming statement, knowing that the law of cause and effect would be set into motion, she would have a chance to meet her soulmate. I also told her to go out more socially, to meet people, and not stay home all the time. The children were all old enough to get along without her for hours at a time. At a square dance given by her church, Jessica met the orchestra leader, whose wife had recently died. He was a very fine man of about 55 years of age, and his orchestra played in various cities throughout Southern California. The outcome of this meeting was that he eventually proposed to Jessica, and she accepted. He owned a fine home in San Diego, where she and her three children moved. The man accepted her family, as he had no children of his own, and now Jessica has the fulfillment of her every dream. For the miracle of peace of mind and peace of soul. I now imprint my subconscious mind with the desire for peace of mind and peace of soul. I wish to live in love and harmony with my family, my friends, my co workers, and my neighbors. I forget others for things they may have done that were wrong. And I desire harmony and love in my relationships with people. For the miracle of happiness and inner contentment. I realize that the outer world is not perfect. I now ask my subconscious mind to build my own personal Shangri-La within me, where I can find refuge from the winds of misfortune that blow in the world of matter. I now wish to find the eternal springtime of my soul, where I can live out my life in happiness and inner contentment. For the miracle of winning and holding friends. I realize that I do not live for myself alone. I now ask of my subconscious that I radiate a friendly and loving personality that will win friends and hold them. I know that I need social contacts for a greater enjoyment of life. I shall strive to be magnetic and attractive, to smile more often, and to say words that are positive and encouraging to every person I meet. Number 3. The Law of Divine Intuition Program your subconscious mind by using this law of divine intuition daily. Whenever you have problems to solve or difficult tasks to perform, do not struggle with your conscious mind, but instead go into a period of quiet meditation and ask your higher psychic mind to solve them for you. Divine intuition is the natural power of your higher superconscious mind in action. It knows how to create your body in nine months' time in the mother's womb. The law of divine intuition also keeps the body's organs functioning perfectly, attending to such routine matters as your digestion circulation, heartbeat, blood pressure, and other natural body functions. Program this superconscious mind by using simple statements that reach into your subconscious mind and then are relayed to the higher intuitive mind, which is called the superconscious by psychologists. For problem-solving, use these statements. I now appeal to my higher intuitive mind to help me solve this problem. I wish to ask if I should go into this marriage and if the person I love really loves me. I ask for help with this problem. 
Should I go into this business venture, and is the person honest? I request a sum of $10,000 to help me pay my debts. I now appeal to my intuitive mind to help me get this money. For protection and safety use these statements. I wish to have protection for my family and myself. Please reveal any hidden dangers that might exist, such as accidents, fire, burglary, theft or other crimes directed against us. I wish to know if it is safe to take an airplane trip at this time. Let me know of any hidden dangers that might exist. For finding hidden treasures, large sums of money, jewelry, or other things of value. I ask my higher psychic mind to guide me toward valuable objects. I ask to be shown where large sums of money might be hidden, or where I can find gold, silver, oil, uranium, or other natural deposits in the earth. I also request information regarding investments in real estate, the stock market, or other products that might increase in value and make me rich. Prosperity Miracle Number 39 A man discovers $72,000 hidden in an upholstered chair. When Julius W. bought the tattered old green upholstered chair at auction for $55, he planned on having it recovered. He lived in a simple house with his married daughter and her two children and did not have enough money to buy expensive furnishings for the home. Julius had learned the dynamic mental laws from our lecture classes in Los Angeles, and he wanted to increase his flow of cash to make life easier for his daughter and her family. He told me later that he didn't know what made him buy the old chair, but he had dreamed several nights in a row that he was walking down a street and found large sums of money on the sidewalk. He took his chair home in his panel truck. Two weeks later, when he decided he wanted to try his hand at upholstering it, he tore the old upholstery off, and hidden in the chair's stuffing, he found $72,000 in big bills. He checked with the police to be sure it was not stolen money. When it was cleared, he was the sudden recipient of a small fortune. For finding lost objects. I asked to be guided to the recovery of the ring I lost. Show me where I put it, and if it has been stolen, reveal to me who took it and how might recover it. Number 4. The Law of Cosmic Alchemy This law works in nature to tum black soil into white cotton, red apples and purple orchids. It transforms the rain, sunshine and oxygen into oranges, peaches and berries. All of Earth's natural products are created under this cosmic law of alchemy. It works in the realm of nature and can also work its miracles for you. Sit in meditation and ask for this cosmic intelligence back of the universe to produce miracles in your life. Here are some of the things cosmic alchemy will do for you. It will turn sickness into vibrant good health. It will change poverty into riches. It will turn enmity into friendship. Ugliness will yield to the desire to create beauty. Misery and discontent can be transmuted into happiness. Here is how you can accomplish all this with cosmic alchemy. Go into daily periods of meditation and examine your present thinking. Do you constantly expect the worst in life? Do you see people as being treacherous and dishonest? Do you constantly remind yourself that you can never succeed or become rich? Do you believe that your body must be sick, in pain and suffer chronically from numerous diseases, and that man must die at the age three score and ten? All of these negative beliefs cloud your higher psychic mind centers and magnetize all of the events in your life. To use the law of cosmic alchemy, change the chemistry of your thinking from negative to positive. Each word you say should be charged with confidence, faith, and the conviction that only good things will come to you in life. Sit in meditation and concentrate each day on a different facet of your life experiences. One day concentrate on nothing but good health, your right weight overcoming all tendencies towards sickness, pain, suffering, and old age. Make health the predominant thought that is programmed into your higher mind. Do the same thing with the other negative states and concentrate the next day on turning poverty into riches. See yourself surrounded by the world's treasures. Visualize yourself making large sums of money buying the things you desire, living in a beautiful home. Make riches the reality of your life, not poverty. 
Tom hatred into love by expressing love daily to your family. Friends If you are surrounded by ugly situations in life, use the spiritual plus and say, I now bless this situation and turn it into one of beauty and joy. The plus sign is a cross, so make the sign of the cross when you bless a person or a situation and want to change them into positive patterns of action. Prosperity Miracle Number 40 she used the law of cosmic alchemy to turn hate into love. When Greta P. married at the age of 23, she felt that she had found the supreme happiness of which she had dreamed for years. Her husband was kind, loving, and generous. His mother and father owned a large fur establishment, and the husband worked with them, making a very good income. Greta had everything she wanted in her home. Her life seemed to be turning into a joyous fulfillment of her every dream when she bore a child, a boy, who seemed to make this the perfect marriage. In the third year of her happy marriage, her father-in-law died of a stroke, and her life suddenly became a nightmare. Her husband decided to move his mother into their house without consulting Greta about this sudden decision. The mother-in-law then took over the home, supervised the daily routine, monopolized her grandchild, and gave orders as if she were the wife? In one year's time, this became an unbearable situation, and Greta told her husband she could no longer go on letting the older woman ruin her life. Her husband was furious with her and said she was selfish and unkind. At this point, I met Greta, and she asked for my advice. I told her she must not separate from her husband and break up her home. Send out loving thoughts to your mother-in-law, I told her. This will change her attitude and possibly cause her to move elsewhere. Greta used the law of cosmic alchemy and told herself daily, I shall bless this situation and turn it into one of joy and beauty. She tried to act in a more loving manner towards her mother-in-law. She gave the situation less attention and began to visualize her mother-in-law as having moved elsewhere to benefit them all. Exactly one month from the time Greta began using the law of cosmic alchemy, her mother-in-law began to change her attitude towards her and her child. She actually seemed to be more tolerant and less intrusive. One day she brought out a little jewel box and presented it to Greta, saying, I want you to have this beautiful diamond ring that my husband gave me. You can enjoy it for many years. I was going to will it to you anyway when I died. But why wait? Then the second miracle happened within another week. The woman's other son, who worked in the fur business with Greta's husband, announced he wanted to sell out and move to Florida. The mother-in-law moved with her other son and his wife, and Greta was suddenly free. Number 5. The Law of Faith and Belief Each day express faith in yourself and your ability to attract only happy and prosperous situations in your life. This belief in your powers of demonstration of your goodness helps your higher psychic mind centers determine the positive course of action in your life. Thy faith hath made thee whole. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. The Bible gives this law of faith as the key to all miracles. Number 6. The Law of Involution and Evolution There are two parts to this great law. You will always evolve in your outer life that which you have involved in your inner, subjective self. If you wish to reach high goals and greater levels of prosperity, you must involve or put into your consciousness more wisdom and knowledge. Study everything you can that pertains to your chosen career and keep up to date on all modern improvements in your field. If you wish to have more friends and be popular, involve the consciousness of good manners, decency in your approach to others, the right use of language, a happy, smiling expression, and thoughts of friendliness and harmony when you meet others. If you wish to become rich and successful, involve into your consciousness the examples of men and women who have achieved success. Study their lives, learn their rules for riches, find out something about money and how it works, know about investments and how to increase your money, and work hard and save your money. When all these positive principles are involved into your consciousness, they will eventually evolve in dynamic action patterns that bring you the riches you desire. Happiness in love and marriage is a simple goal to achieve. You merely involve or put into your higher mind this positive thought, 
I am a loving person, and my actions shall always reflect friendliness, peace, and divine love. I attract love because I radiate only thoughts of goodness and love. Number 7. The Law of the Harvest If we look to the realm of nature, where all these cosmic laws are reflected, we find that man does not reap grapes from thorns and thistles. We are told in the Bible, As ye sow, so shall ye reap. This law of the harvest assures you of reaping what you have sown in the garden of destiny. Sow seeds of health and your body will be healthy. Plant the seeds of peace and harmony, and these will bless your life with a crop of love and happiness. Put the seeds of greatness into your mind, and you will become successful and rich. Plant the seeds of wisdom by studying the lives of great people, and you will see the harvest of rich ideas in your life. Number 8. The Law of Creative Imagery Everyone has been given the power to create images in his mind. This is known as visualization and imagination. You can imagine that which you wish to externalize in your life by quietly sitting in meditation and running these mental pictures through your mind. The Bible says, Let us make man in our image. This means that man has the power of creating through his imagination. The only place you can hold an image is in the imagination. There are two types of mental images that you can project. One is negative. This will produce the effects of sickness, poverty, accident, misery, and tragedy. The other type is positive. This will bring effects of health, happiness, prosperity, and riches, as well as peace of mind, long life, and love fulfillment. Sit in stated periods of meditation each day and build the mental images you wish to project to the outer world. Hold an idea in your mind, such as your dream home. Close your eyes and mentally visualize a screen stretched across your forehead, on which you project this picture of your dream home, just as though it was on a film and being transmitted through a motion picture projector. Visualize that dream home in every respect. See the rooms, the type of furniture you have in it, the bedrooms, kitchen, bath, dining room, nursery. Visualize it in every detail. To make your creative imagery more real, look at the scrapbook of destiny you have created, in which you pasted pictures of all the things you want in your life. As you see each of these pictures, your dream home, the car, the TV set, the furniture mentally, project them onto the white screen across your forehead inside of your head. This exercise will help you activate your mental images and create the deep impression of third-dimensional reality in your subconscious mind. Number 9. The Law of Reciprocity The Bible gives this law in very simple language. Give, and it shall be given unto you. This also refers to the law of reciprocity that tells us to give part of our income to a church or some worthy charity. The Mormon Church is a very good example of how this law of reciprocity works. Mormons believe in tithing part of their yearly income. Because of this system, they prospered so well that during the years of the Depression, none of their people ever went without work or were hungry. You can apply the law of reciprocity every day, and it will always work to give you back more than you gave. Give a smile, and you will win friends and be popular. Give beauty to the world, and it will repay you with riches and abundance. Give kindness to others, and they will love you and want to benefit you in some way. Give happiness and share it with your family and friends, and in turn you will always be joyous and carefree. Give goodness to others, and they will bless your life with every good and precious gift. Give love and devotion to your family and friends, and they will never desert you in time of need. Prosperity Miracle Number 41 her life was suddenly enriched by using the law of reciprocity. Eunice Kay had been brought up by a mother who was very frugal and never wasted anything. She accumulated an attic full of old clothes, bric-a-brac, kitchen utensils, and discarded furniture. Eunice simply could not throw anything away. This ungenerous spirit of hers even colored her relationships with family and friends. She never wanted to share anything with anyone. Eunice fell into this pattern of selfishness without even being aware of it. 
It was only after attending a few of my lessons in metaphysics that Eunice learned it is more blessed to give than to receive. There were many things that she wanted from life, but because she had stifled the spirit of giving, these things were withheld from her. I told Eunice to start making the law work for her by clearing out her closets and drawers and giving all the articles she no longer used to some charitable organization like the Salvation Army or a church group. The channels of supply are clogged with this old, useless junk and keep you from replenishing your own supply of good, I said. Then I told her to further increase the flow of money into her life by setting aside more money for her church each week. She increased the amount from $2 to $5 a week. Besides all this, I advised her to do volunteer work several hours a week for social services connected with a community group that visited old people in hospitals, worked with veterans, and also visited orphan ages and blind people. Soon Eunice was busy doing things for others, and her life began to prosper in amazing ways. Her mother joined her in doing charitable work, as she had lost her husband and had free time to help. She cleared out her attic and gave Eunice all the stuff that had been stored there for years. In rummaging through the various articles in the attic, Eunice came across a very beautiful lamp made of pieces of colored glass that formed a very unusual design. She asked a local antique dealer to look at it before she gave it away and found that it was an original Tiffany lamp worth as much as $15,000. Two weeks later, her husband received a sizable raise in salary and was promoted to manager of his department. Eunice began to reap the harvest of good that she had sown, and her life began to prosper more and more in the months ahead. Number 10. The Law of Personification This law simply states you must act out the part in life which you wish to be. To personify means to take on the qualities and characteristics of the person you would like to become. The word comes from the Latin words persona, a person, and facere, to make. You literally make up the type of person you wish to be, assuming all the qualities and characteristics that you most admire, and then simply act out that part on the stage of life. Begin today to think, talk, look, and act like a successful person. Do you want to attract large sums of money and have all the beautiful things you dream of? Then start at this moment to take on the mental atmosphere of a millionaire. Tell yourself that you own the universe and all the riches it possesses, including gold, silver, oil, coal, diamonds, pearls, and lumber. All these riches were created by God for you to use and enjoy. Until you grasp the concept of what it is to be rich, you will never really be able to attract large sums of money or possessions like houses, lands, income units, jewels, and other precious things. Try to cultivate admirable types of friends who have all the qualities that attract you. You can meet such people by joining church groups where you mix and mingle with the successful people of your city. Join a club where the members represent the ideals you wish to express. Take vacations in places like Hawaii, Florida, Jamaica, or the various capital cities of Europe, where you can expect to meet people who are on higher planes of expression. Make it a practice to sit in the lobbies of expensive first-class hotels in your city or town where rich people gather. Observe their actions, listen to their speech, emulate their manners, and try to act in such a way that might attract them as friends. At least once a month dress up and take your mate to a first-class restaurant where the finest foods and wines are served. This will help give you a success consciousness. Stand before your mirror and practice looking like a poised, confident, and successful person. Put a smile on your face. Talk in a deep, sincere tone of voice. Hold your head high and proud, as if you were wearing a crown. Practice the hypnotic eye. When you talk to people, look at them sincerely, focusing your eyes on a spot between their eyes, which will make it appear as though you are looking at them. As you cannot look into both eyes at the same time, Shift your gaze from one eye to the other. This will magnetize the person and make them be attracted to you without knowing why. When talking to someone you want to like you, mentally project a golden line between your forehead and theirs and mentally pull that cord towards you while saying to yourself, You are going to like me. I like you and want you to be my friend. They will not know what you are doing, 
but they will sense the magnetism that flows from your mind to theirs, and they will respond by wanting to be your friend and to help you. Listen to others when they talk and keep the conversational ball going in both directions. A person who hogs the conversation is seldom popular. How this secret magnetic attraction worked a miracle. As a young man in Hollywood, I wanted to meet people who could help my career as an aspiring writer. Being only 20 years of age, I had not yet made important contacts. However, a friend invited me to a cocktail party where important people were supposed to gather. I noticed a middle-aged man, who was deaf, being slighted by most of the guests, so I sought him out and began to talk to him. He turned out to be charming and responded in a most friendly manner. Before we left the party, he asked me for my phone number and I gave it to him. A few days later, this man, who turned out to be Rupert Hughes, a famous author and uncle of Howard Hughes, called to invite me to his home for dinner. He then told me how impressed he had been by the fact that I was kind and considerate, when others did not want to talk to him because of his hearing impairment. Through this one simple act, I was later able to meet Howard Hughes, who played a big part in my life, when he lived in my Bel Air home, where he later married a famous actress. Many benefits came from this contact. Prince Rainier courted Grace Kelly from this same home. Hughes introduced me to my first publisher and put up the money to publish my first book by George Palmer Putnam. Later, Rupert Hughes introduced me to William Randolph Hearst, the biggest publisher in America at the time, and Mr. Hearst gave me a full page for four weeks in a row in the famous Sunday supplement, American Weekly, which was read by millions of people every week. In that full page right up for four weeks, my new book was publicized and sold into the thousands. Also from that early contact came the noted singer Elvis Presley, who also lived in my Bel Air home for one year before he bought his own home in that location. From one simple act, a chain reaction began, which brought fame and fortune to someone who was kind to a deaf old man. From that simple beginning, I met movie stars, producers, directors, and other famous people. That was how I eventually became famous as the advisor to the Hollywood stars. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 14 1. There are universal laws that work in your life to bring you prosperity, miracles of money, love, happiness, and suitable work. 2. Miracles can be produced in your life by using the law of predominant mental impression that shapes the future events of your life in the most dramatic way. 3. Frank L. used this dynamic law to project the mental image of a land deal that he desired, and it came through as he pictured. 4. Positive statements can be used to imprint your higher psychic mind centers for money, health, happiness, and love. 5. Learn to use the law of cause and effect to bring into focus the events you desire in your present and future life. 6. Use dynamic statements to imprint on your subconscious mind an increased income, perfect health, romantic fulfillment, and anything else that you desire. 7. Jessica F. at 40, a widow with three children, used this law to ask for a happy second marriage. She attracted her true soul, mate, and a happy home. 8. Achieve the miracles of peace of mind a social life with plenty of good friends and happiness through this dynamic secret. 9. Divine intuition is a cosmic law which can help you solve your problems and be guided to a life of fulfillment and riches. 10. Leave the dynamic programming statements to use to bring you safety and protection throughout your life. 11. Find large sums of money, hidden treasures, jewelry, and other things of value by tapping the power of your psychic mind. 12. One man discovered $72,000 hidden in an upholstered chair that he bought secondhand by using prosperity magic secrets. 13. Cosmic alchemy can be used to change the negative conditions of your life from poverty to riches. 14. Greta P. used this force to turn hatred into love and triumphed over her mother-in-law's domination and other negative forces. 15. The law of faith and the law of involution and evolution can be used to alter dramatically the circumstances of life 
and bring you the prosperity and happiness you dream of achieving. 16. Learn how to use the low of the harvest and creative imagery to reap a crop of riches and abundance. Learn how to plant the seeds that give you a glorious destiny. 17. Eunice K. used the low of reciprocity to increase the flow of money in her life and to demonstrate a valuable antique that was worth $15,000. 18. Use the law of personification to make you think, talk, look and act like a successful person and take possession of the treasures of the universe. 15. The priceless power of super-persuasion that leads to super-achievement. In examining the past, we find that the men and women who have helped change the course of destiny for the world have been people who used the priceless power of super-persuasion to lead them to great achievement. These molders of public opinion influenced others to follow their precepts and used the power of their minds to persuade others. They became the super salespersons of history because they used a great psychological principle that let them command the respect and admiration of millions. By using this principle, super persuasion, they were able to convince multitudes to do their bidding. Here is what the power of super persuasion will do for you. 1. You will win the minds and hearts of people who will be eager to serve you and help you achieve fame and fortune. 2. Super persuasion will put into your hands the magical keys that unlock invisible doors to the treasures of the universe. 3. Rise to a position of power and have at your command the forces to make people want to give you large sums of money for some great cause. Riches will be thrust upon you almost automatically as you use the powers of super-persuasion to open the doors to the hearts of millions of people. 4. You will no longer be an ordinary person once you learn how to use the secret power of super-persuasion. You will become extraordinary and will hold the interest of millions of people who will gravitate around you like planets around the sun, held in their fixed orbits by the great law of cosmic magnetism. 5. Use the secret power of super-persuasion to inspire and persuade people to follow you. Apply your great ideas to their lives to bring you personal glory and recognition. 6. Super-persuasion will give you victory in the game of life. You can demand rich rewards, influence others to give you loyalty, love and affection, win undying friendship and devotion. 7. If you wish to become a super salesperson of your ideas, services, or products to the public, super persuasion will give you an almost hypnotic control over the minds of others, making them want to patronize you. 8. Your mastery of people depends on your use of super persuasive techniques to command their interest and attention, to control their emotional reactions so they will freely rush to your aid in achieving your every goal. 9. In using the art of super-persuasion, you will so magnetize your own mind centers with dynamic power that other people will in turn become magnetically attracted to you. You can then command and control them to do your bidding and yield to your demands with ease. 10. If you have a desire to communicate your ideas to others by becoming a public speaker, actor, or performer, you can instantly use the secret power of super-persuasion and reach out with your magic circle of enchantment to mesmerize the hearts and minds of millions of people. All great speakers, singers, actors, dancers, and other performers have used super-persuasion in their work. This gives them the star quality that makes people pay millions at the box office to see them perform. Apply these seven super-persuasive power packs that lead to super-achievement. Super-persuasive power pack number one build the superego that gives power without egotism or selfishness. First, understand what is meant by the ego. It is defined as the personal identity, the self, the whole person. In no sense does it mean being egotistical or selfish. The average person may not have enough ego drive to reach high goals of achievement. Many people have tremendous egotism, which makes them self-centered and selfish but this is not the type of ego you require for sustained success. The superego asks for rewards and recognition that are appropriate to the quality of services performed by the individual. If a person develops gifts and talents and knows that these are of the highest order, 
There is nothing wrong in correctly appraising those talents and then asking suitable compensation for them. An opera star like Joan Sutherland can command $10,000 for a concert performance because she has spent years in developing her voice, learning languages, stage presence, and techniques that make her worth that amount of money. At the other extreme, in the popular music field, a rock and roll singer like Linda Ronstad may command as much or even more than Joan Sutherland because she has suited her talents to the needs of modern young audiences. Sometimes a person with very little talent but a big superego will flash across the horizons of the world and make a fortune. But unless there is continued effort to build talent to match the superego, that person is often doomed to eventual failure. A singer by the name of Tiny Tim was such a person. He had inadequate talent but a colossal superego, which let him win worldwide fame and earn as much as $10,000 a week in Las Vegas for a short period. Then his career faded because there was not sufficient talent to sustain the recognition he had achieved. Build your own sense of self-importance by each day studying something that will add to your sum total of knowledge and make you a more important and valuable person. This can be learning new words and how to use them, public speaking so you can better express your creative ideas and influence others, writing out lists of things you intend to do, which become your own personal blueprint of destiny. Set high goals for yourself to achieve, and each day take one step that will lead you to the fulfillment of that dream. You might write a letter to some important person you wish to help you, or seek an interview with someone at the head of an organization you wish to work for. Before you go out for an important interview for a job, or to advance some of your ideas, or to sell a product or services, stand before your mirror and assume a pleasant but commanding posture. Hold your head high, your spine straight, breathe deeply, and then say aloud several times, I am, say your name. I have something very valuable that I wish to present to the world. I know that I have perfected my talents and my personality. I am now ready to face the world and ask adequate rewards for my services. I shall always strive to be worthy of the fame and fortune that I now ask of the world. I am, here state your name again, and I shall become famous because I deserve such recognition. Super Persuasive Power Pack Number 2 Program your higher mind centers with super persuasive suggestions for success, riches, fame, and greatness. Your subconscious mind is the true power back of the throne of success and fame. It is ready to believe anything that you tell it about yourself and your talents. However, you cannot lie to it, for if you are demanding a million-dollar fortune and do not have the necessary requisites for such a fortune, the subconscious will not respond. This is why you must build your superego first to truly have the ability to make that million-dollar fortune. To build a superego, do the following things. Study and develop your mind and your talents until you are sure that you have acquired proficiency in your chosen occupation. Then proceed to ask for fame and fortune with the confidence that you will eventually achieve recognition. Program your subconscious mind by giving yourself positive auto-suggestions daily to build your ego power. Below are some suitable auto-suggestions you can use. Stand before a mirror and say the following ego-building statements aloud. I am John Smith. State your own name and repeat several times to get a sense of self-identity. I now build my sense of value and ego power. I have confidence in myself and know that I can succeed. I shall strive to build my talents to be worthy of the rich rewards that I expect of the world. I desire fame and fortune, and I am willing to give my time and talent for such recognition. I am worthy of a million-dollar fortune, and I shall strive to do good with my money. As you repeat these auto-suggestions before your mirror, hold your head high, as if you were wearing a crown. Speak in an authoritative voice on the lowest note in your vocal range. Keep your spine straight and feel as though you have just been crowned as king or queen. Super Persuasive Power Pack No. 3. Develop the self-image that you respect and that will win and hold people. Before others can love you, there must first be respect for yourself and admiration of the self-image that you have created. Some people actually hate themselves 
and envision others as hating them. They think up all kinds of shortcomings that they believe makes them objects of ridicule and failures in life. How famous people overcame defects to go on to fame and fortune. A negative self-image kills a person's magnetism and weakens his or her powers of persuasion. Many famous people have had physical or mental handicaps and succeeded despite their limitations. Demosthenes, the famous Greek orator, stuttered. He spent weeks talking with pebbles in his mouth to overcome this defect. Lord Byron was born with a club foot, which did not stop him from achieving fame and fortune through his poetry. Steinmetz, the electrical genius, was born a hunchback, but he achieved high goals despite that handicap. Edison and Beethoven both were afflicted with deafness, but were able to achieve fulfillment of their life destinies. Helen Keller became deaf, dumb, and blind early in life, but through the prosperity magic of her close friend, companion, and teacher, and Sullivan, she was able to build a career that helped inspire millions of other handicapped persons. Several men became presidents of the United States without college educations. Neither did Henry Ford finish his education, yet in his lifetime he founded a dynasty that has brought happiness to millions of people. There are no limitations to your success except those you set for yourself. A veteran lost both arms and became a fine painter. One Vietnam veteran returned to the United States with much bitterness because he had lost both arms. He had wanted to become an artist, but now it was impossible for him to even hold a brush. After he built a new self-image, he became inspired to again try to become an artist. He succeeded by holding the brush in his teeth. He was soon painting very good pictures and had a one-man exhibition in New York where all of his paintings sold. Lost his arms in war and learned to type with his feet. A war veteran who had wanted to become an author also lost his arms. He learned to type with his feet and sold his first novel to the movies. Another woman shown on TV was born without arms. She acquired such facility with the use of her feet that soon she was feeding herself, dressing, raising her family, driving a car, going shopping and doing all the things that we usually associate with normal people. How to overcome defects and begin with your new self-image of success. Start with whatever you have now and accept that as the beginning of your new self-image. A mouth too big or a nose or eyes that are not spaced just right, a weak chin none, of these should be considered a handicap. You can overcome each and every one of life's limitations by realizing that the way you are now is the way you must begin. On that foundation, you can build the self-image of poise, confidence, self-awareness, and magnetism. Spend some time before a mirror studying yourself. See your good points and your weaknesses. Then try to overcome the weak points in your personality. Tell yourself over and over in subconscious autosuggestion. I now project charm and magnetism. I like others and they will like me. I smile and the world smiles back. I see myself as a happy, successful, loving human being, and I shall now attract a destiny that is worthy of my true high attributes. Live in the imagination for greater powers of super persuasion. Imagine yourself being in social groups and having others admire you and praise you. See yourself winning admiration in your work because of your qualities of integrity, hard work and enthusiasm. Visualize yourself as a romantic lover, courting the person whom you admire and want to be loved by. Speak in a voice that reflects love and kindness. Be kind and considerate in your relationships with your family and also with strangers and co-workers. Soon this self-image will graft onto your present personality and bring you recognition from others and life's richest rewards in fame, fortune, and acceptance. Super persuasive power pack number four get rid of the ten short circuiting negative emotions that stifle your drive to riches and success. Ten negative emotions may be holding you back from building the new self image of success and riches. They are fear, worry, hate, jealousy, envy, greed, selfishness, miserliness, resentment, and pessimism. All of these ten negative emotions cannot be overcome in one day, so take a different one each day and work on it. The first day, try to analyze the things you fear. 
Then rationalize and overcome them by thinking thoughts that are positive and confident. Do the same with each negative emotion, substituting the opposite positive emotion until you have cleared your subconscious mind of all the previously mentioned negative short-circuiting emotions. Some of the positive emotions you should strive to put into your new self-image are confidence, peace, trust, charity, love, joy, forgiveness, kindness, consideration, beauty, goodness, and optimism. Super Persuasive Power Pack Number 5 Cultivate the super persuasive personality that wins others and causes them to do your bidding. Every person carries an aura about them that flashes like a neon sign and tells other people what they are like. If you build this aura with super persuasive qualities that are positive, people will instantly recognize that you are a presence, not just an ordinary person. The outer expression of your personality, even the expressions on your face and in your eyes, tell accurately what you are like inside. Body language communicates to the outer world whether you are a loving person or cold and withdrawn. Even your gestures reveal whether you have confidence and poise or if you are honeycombed with feelings of insecurity and inferiority. Things to do to build the super persuasive personality. You can practice acquiring the super persuasive personality while you stand before a mirror and build these positive qualities. Force yourself to smile as often as possible. People are attracted to a smiling face, but not to a person who frowns all the time. Reflect confidence and poise in your outer personality by feeling confident and poised. If you do not have these two traits, work hard to build your confidence by trying to win goals that are easy to achieve. Then strive to reach even higher goals. Poise comes from a feeling of confidence in yourself and your talents. If you suffer from feelings of self-consciousness, inferiority, and inadequacy, you can overcome this negative personality by joining a dramatic group in your community and forcing yourself to face an audience. Also build true quality and value in your mind by studying hard and acquiring the wisdom and knowledge that makes you feel superior. Super Persuasive Power Pack Number 6 Use the five super persuasive emotional drives used by the world's richest people. In a study of more than 10,000 cases of the world's most successful men and women, I have discovered that there are actually only five emotional drives that motivate them to achieve their goals. These are 1. A desire to improve oneself. 2. A desire to help one's family to educate the children and live in a comfortable home. 3. A desire to raise the standards of the world so others may live in peace and comfort and security. 4. A desire to use creative power to bring something of beauty into the world for the enjoyment of others. 5. A desire to bring peace, brotherhood and equality to all peoples. Super Persuasive Power Pack N07 Cultivate and Use the Power of the Hypnotic Eye Project your mental commands to persuade others to do your bidding by cultivating and using the power of the hypnotic eye. To practice this hypnotic control, sit quietly in a room by yourself for at least half an hour. Look at some object in the room and try not to blink your eyes for a count of five. If you cannot accomplish this right away, Keep trying until you are able to do so. Then try to avoid blinking to a count of ten. This can be done with a little practice. The open, honest, friendly expression in your eyes will convey itself to the person you are trying to influence. Keeping your eyes fixed on one spot without blinking, say these suggestions to yourself. I like you and you are going to like me. I want only good things to happen to you. You will feel my honesty and integrity, and you will respond with friendship and kindness. Now you will respond to my mental power and follow all of my suggestions. You will buy my products, for they are the best you can buy. You will want to buy the house I am selling, for it is perfect for you. You will see yourself driving this car and being admired by your friends. You are now responding to my suggestions in a positive way, for you know that I am honest sincere and desire only your good. Prosperity Miracle Number 42 Real estate salesmen use this technique to become rich. 
A young man, Byron S., came to my classes on the power of super-persuasion. He told me this dream after the class. Byron wanted to become a real estate broker and sell high-class property to the rich. He learned how to use the power of the hypnotic eye. He practiced this projection every day, without people knowing it. I advised him to enroll in an evening course in real estate sales to prepare himself for the career he desired. After completing his course, he asked me for further assistance on what he should do, and I advised him to join the Beverly Hills Club, where rich people gathered. In this way, he would get to know these people in preparation for selling high-priced homes and estates. He took my advice and soon had a job working with an established real estate company in Beverly Hills. Within two weeks' time, he successfully sold a $250,000 estate to a movie star, receiving a large commission. He kept using this mental projection each time he showed a home to a client. You will buy this house. It is exactly what you need. You will live here in comfort and luxury and find great happiness. His interest in his clients was genuine, and they felt his sincerity. Within six months, Byron had sold more property than any other salesperson in the company. Within two years, he had his broker's license and opened his own real estate office. Because of his many sales and large commissions, he was able to buy a Rolls Royce and drive his clients in style to look at the high-priced properties he had for sale. Byron is now one of the West Coast's most successful real estate brokers, with an office and a staff of 10 people working for him. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 15 1. You can use super-persuasion to mold public opinion and influence people to give you respect, recognition, and riches. 2. Learn the 10 amazing miracles that this power will accomplish for you, bringing you everything in life that you ever dreamed of having. 3. Use power pack number 1 to build a superego that gives you power without egotism. See the amazing chain reaction that follows. 4. Learn how you can build a sense of self-importance that can bring you more money, a business of your own and personal success. 5. Use power pack number two to program your higher mind centers with success, riches, fame, and greatness. Six, power pack number three helps develop the self-image that wins respect and admiration from other people. Seven, famous people overcome personal defects and gain fame and fortune by using their powers of persuasion. Eight, a Vietnam veteran lost both arms yet he became a fine artist. Another veteran without arms learned to type with his feet and became a novelist. 9. Learn how you can overcome personal defects and create a new self-image of success, riches and prominence. 10. Get rid of all 10 short-circuiting negative emotions by using power pack number 4 to become confident, poised, and self-reliant. Eleven. Use power pack number five to develop a super persuasive personality that wins others and makes them do your bidding. Twelve. Build the super persuasive personality with a regimen of physical and mental exercises that will bring you success. Thirteen. There are five super persuasive emotional drives that the world's richest people have used. These can also bring you riches. Fourteen. Power pack number seven reveals the cultivation and use of the power of the hypnotic eye, which causes other people to help you in your climb to fame and fortune. 15. A real estate salesman used this hypnotic power to become rich. Within six months, he sold more property than all the other salespersons in his office. 16. How to keep alive the goose that lays the golden eggs. Some people kill the goose that lays the golden eggs without being aware of it. Sometimes this happens because of a subconscious will to fail, as a punishment for dishonesty or some other infraction of the moral or social laws. Two examples of this type of destructiveness were evident in the conduct of former Vice President Spiro Agnew and former President Richard Nixon. Many people do the same as the greedy man in the legend about the golden goose. They become impatient 
and want all of the golden eggs at once. They rush into investments without considering the safety factor and sometimes lose everything they own. Others are so greedy that they put their trust in things like undiscovered oil wells, gold mines, and uranium deposits in some distant place. In 98% of such cases, these people lose their money because they did not thoroughly investigate the background of the company first. Sometimes people think that the golden goose will lay the golden egg for them through a lottery ticket or at the races or at Las Vegas. They expect a miracle, and in most cases, they spend a fortune trying to win, but seldom ever do. If they spend half the money and time that they waste in such useless pursuits, they might invest in a business of their own and earn the fortune of which they dream. This golden goose myth is actually more real than one might expect. There is a higher mind center within your consciousness that projects into your conscious mind all the golden ideas that can become riches. It pours forth a stream of creative images that gives you the money to buy houses, income units, land, jewels, expensive furnishings for your home, and any other material treasures that you desire. I call this higher mind within you the golden goose, for it will faithfully deliver a golden nugget of an idea every day of your life if you actually request it. All your creative ideas spring from your superconscious mind, then they are transmitted to the subconscious. Finally, when you consciously call on it, the subconscious will deliver the golden egg right to your conscious mind, ready to bring you the fulfillment of your every dream. In the realm of nature, we see this egg principle at work, for everything springs from the fertilized egg. A kernel of corn or wheat has within its invisible realm the form of its own future physical self. It will produce in its own image when it is planted in the soil. So too, the idea for riches, when implanted in your own consciousness, will gather momentum and drive you in the direction of the fortune you desire. This creative power must be kept alive, however, and utilized daily. It must be nurtured with a certain regimen that will assure its perpetuity, otherwise it will languish and eventually become inactive. In other words, you may kill the golden goose that lays the golden eggs through neglect. Prosperity Miracle Number 43 she turned seeming failure into success through this idea. Desiree H. wanted desperately to become an artist, but she hadn't the vaguest notion of how to go about it. With a study group in prosperity magic, she learned about the golden goose theory and began to meditate each day on how to begin her art career. That day she asked her higher mind for one big idea that would help her advance to the position in life she desired. She finished her meditation and then read the paper. An ad for people to learn how to do photo coloring at home caught her eye. This was in the days before big color prints were reasonable, so hand coloring of big photographs was in vogue and paid very well. Desiree enrolled in the short course and found that her natural artistic talent helped her do very nice work. She learned how to make folders that were sent to every photographer in New York City, and soon she was flooded with orders to hand color big portraits. Within a few weeks' time, Desiree was making more money than she had ever dreamed was possible. She then enrolled in an evening art course and seriously studied drawing and painting. Her mental golden goose gave her the creative flow of ideas that eventually made her a very fine artist. Adopt this plan to keep alive the goose that lays the golden eggs. 1. Meditate quietly for at least half an hour a day and ask your higher mind to give you one idea for that day that can bring you more money. Improve your life and make it healthier, happier, and more prosperous. Sometimes more than one idea will come through in such a session, but keep asking this higher mind for at least one golden egg each day. For this meditation, use the following powerful statements to reach into the depths of your subconscious and superconscious minds and trigger creative action. I now ask my higher mind to release creative ideas that will help me improve my life and make me rich. I want one big idea that I can use today to enrich me. I ask for something of value to come to me through today's activity. This can be in the form of money or money equivalents. 2. Sometimes you can receive an inspiring idea from this higher mind that forms the basis for increasing your income. If you are a business person, 
This may be a way to increase the sale of your products or services. If you are an author or an artist or designer, you can ask for new inspiration for the day that will help you create something beautiful and valuable and in turn will help enrich you. Perhaps it will be an idea for an invention that can make you gain a fortune. Many times, the golden egg is the inspiration to buy a certain piece of property that increases in value. Or it might be a desire to buy some stocks that are low at present, which in time increase in value. Prosperity Miracle Number 44 His golden egg was a stock that soared to bring him a fortune. Jimby had an intense desire to become rich, but he simply did not know what steps to take. He enrolled in my prosperity magic class and told me his desire. He said, I have carefully saved $10,000 over the years by working hard. Now I would like to invest it in something that will double my money. Jim began using the golden goose theory and projected the desire to be guided to stock that would go up in value and make him a small fortune. One night Jim had a vivid dream of a large bell that kept ringing and ringing for no apparent reason. He awakened and wrote down the dream. The next morning, while reading the paper, something prompted him to look at the stocks. He had a vague feeling that he might find something that he could buy cheaply now that would go up in value. His eye rested on one stock called Packard Bell. Something in his subconscious clicked as he remembered his dream. He went to the stock exchange and asked a broker to buy him as much of Packard Bell as his $10,000 would purchase. The stock was selling at the time at $9 a share, and the broker told him he felt there was little hope that the stock would ever go much higher. Jim persisted and became the owner of 1,000 shares of a very low-priced stock. The very next day, Packard Bell began its unbelievable climb and kept going up and up and up until it reached $40 a share. Jim's golden goose urged him to sell it immediately and he found that he had made approximately $30,000 on his $10,000 investment. When you invoke the golden goose principle, you never know from what source you will reap your harvest. 3. Avoid killing the golden goose by harboring negative thoughts and emotions. Some thoughts to avoid are fear of failure, worry, jealousy, hatred, revenge, selfishness, pessimism, and resentment. Instead, each day programs into your higher mind centers the positive emotions of hope, faith, good expectations, beauty, peace, joy, kindness, generosity, forgiveness, tolerance, and love. Positive thoughts and emotions help inspire your psychic mind centers and keep the golden goose power of creativity alive. 4. Do not stifle or neglect any talents that you may have. They could bring you riches and success. Many people get into a lifetime rut by following one line of activity for years. They never explore the creative potentials that lie within their subconscious minds. Every person is a potential genius. Find out what those potentials are by daring to try various forms of creative activity until you are able to find at least one talent that you can fully exploit. By such neglect, many people kill the golden goose before it has had a chance to lay even one tiny golden egg. If you do not have the strength of your own convictions to guide you to success, then your creative ideas will die before the eggs have a chance to hatch. If we cannot meet the challenges of life and survive, then we are not worthy of the rich rewards that life gives to the strong. In the same manner, be strong enough to dare to release your own creative ideas and keep up the courage to try until you succeed. If you never search within for your great hidden potentials, they will never be released. 5. Give your higher mind centers the big plan that you have for the future, and it will immediately shape your destiny according to that plan. This is analogous to determining the size of the golden egg that the goose is going to lay. If your plans are small, then your destiny will never be great. There must be a subconscious motivation back in your life in order to stimulate your higher mind with the greater inspiration to achieve riches. Some of these subconscious motivators are a desire to educate your children so they can go to college and have a better life than you had, a determination to have financial security for the middle and latter years of life so you will always be independent, 
a plan to go into your own business so that you can be assured of a steady flow of income throughout your entire life. The wish to own a fine home with beautiful furnishings. A desire to travel and use your leisure time for cultural pursuits, thus enriching your life on all planes. Prosperity Miracle Number 45 He dared dream big and built his $500 into millions. When the plastics industry was still fairly new, Helmut S. was looking for an opportunity in a business that could bring him a fortune. After a lecture on prosperity magic, Helmut told me he believed in my theories and wanted to take the million-dollar seminar. He admitted he had only $500 to his name, but after learning about the golden goose theory, he felt that he would be guided toward the right channels in building a million-dollar fortune. Helmut, a New Jersey resident, told me later that although he programmed his higher mind for a fortune, nothing seemed to make him a fortune. A few months later, Helmut came to my studio in great excitement. A large plastics factory near his home was going broke, and he had a chance to take it over on a long-term lease with no down payment and a sharing of the profits. Helmut obtained a loan from the bank and went into the business at the exact time the plastics industry hit its first big boom. He received an order from a large chain store for one million plastic candlestick holders, which he could manufacture for a few cents. This one order put him over the top, and Helmut's business thrived. Soon he was making $500,000 a year from the golden goose that laid the enormous golden egg. 6. Accept the small rewards that come into your life, and do not expect the goose to lay bigger golden eggs until you have utilized all the present gifts that life has already given you. For example, you may not like your present job and your limited income. You naturally want more, but until you can prove to your higher mind that you are worth more, it is unlikely that your mental goose will lay the golden eggs that make you rich. Try to get all you can out of your present job. Give all you can to it. Learn something new each day. See how you can improve the business and act as though you actually own the business. Then, when your higher mind is programmed with your sense of worth, something amazing can happen. Your boss may give you a raise or elevate you to a better position, or you will be guided by your psychic mind to another position that will reward you for your true worth. Prosperity Miracle Number 46 Fred R. and his wife used this golden goose principle with success. Fred R. and his wife worked for three years for a nationwide chain store that sold franchises. They learned everything there was to know about the business. They gave excellent service, found ways to save the owner money, and built the business just as if it were their own. At the end of the three years, they felt they had gained all they could from this venture and quit their jobs. The couple had built excellent credit with their bank. Using their savings and a loan from the bank, they bought their own franchise in a different neighborhood. Soon the people they had served so well sought them out, and Fred and his wife were on their way to doubling the income that the other store had made. The mental goose that lays the golden eggs of riches, fame, and success will never fail to reward you when you give your best to your career. 7. Avoid getting yourself into debt to buy a house or to go into a business of your own until you know that you can carry the extra financial load. This is like squeezing the golden goose daily to force it to lay a golden egg when the time is not yet ripe. If you feel your talents have matured enough and that you are ready to make the bigger demands from life, then it is time for you to demand more. This applies also to the maturing of your creative talents in the artistic fields. You may study art or music or writing to prepare yourself for a great career. Until you have mastered the elements of your art and proved to yourself that you are ready, it is unwise to try to force public acceptance of your work. Before you can appear in a recital in Carnegie Hall, be sure that you have learned all you can about your art of music. Practice in smaller halls until you feel that you are really ready to make your professional debut in the highest musical circles. 8. Be prepared to handle the flow of riches that you expect from the golden goose before they actually come. Otherwise, you may not know how to invest your money and will soon lose it. Take a course in economics. Know a little more about banking, mortgages, interest rates, the stock market, 
real estate or other fields in which you wish to invest. Accurate knowledge about money and its growth prepares you for the golden years ahead when you will be ready to invest in solid things. All this assures you that the golden goose will continue to lay a stream of golden eggs throughout your entire life. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 16 1. You can increase your riches and abundance by using the secret of the golden goose that lays the golden eggs. 2. There is a higher mind center within your consciousness where you receive golden ideas that can be converted into fame and fortune. 3. Desiree H. used this golden goose secret to turn seeming failure into success and soon made more money than ever before. 4. Learn to meditate and program your higher mind to bring you one golden idea a day that you can convert into cash. 5. Jim B. used this golden goose secret to program his higher psychic mind. He dreamed of a stock bought for very little money that brought him $30,000 in a short time. 6. Avoid killing the goose that lays the golden eggs by overcoming the negative emotions that cause you to fail. 7. Probe your inner mind for golden ideas that release your potentials for greatness and for making a fortune. 8. There are five subconscious motivators that stimulate the creative power of the golden goose to bring riches. 9. One man dared dream big, and a few months later, Helmut S. had built his $500 nest egg into a fortune in the millions. 10. Use your present situation as a stepping stone to greater achievement. Fred R. and his wife used this theory to build a fortune. 11. Lean to keep the golden goose laying a big supply of eggs and build financial security for life. 17. Snowball your prosperity miracles through self-hypnosis. One of the easiest and quickest ways to snowball your prosperity miracle is through the use of self-hypnosis. This easy-to-use method gives you instant access to the amazing powers that lie hidden within your subconscious and superconscious minds. Self-hypnosis helps you align your conscious mind with the higher mind that controls all of the automatic functions of your body. Use this power daily to imprint your higher mind and immediately see positive results in every department of your life. How to use self-hypnosis to program your higher mind. 1. Sit quietly in a place where you will not be disturbed for at least one full hour. Relax your mind and body by saying quietly to yourself, I am now relaxed and still. Peace, peace, peace. Relax, relax, relax. I enter into my Shangri-La of eternal peace and joy. I now prepare my mind to receive the positive instructions that will lead to cosmic fulfillment. Relax, relax, relax. Peace, peace, peace. 2. If you sit in a chair for your self-hypnosis exercises, select a spot straight ahead of you, slightly above your head, that you can look at steadily until your eyes feel heavy and slightly drowsy. Self-hypnosis bypasses your conscious mind and appeals directly to your subconscious mind where the power back of your life resides. 3. You are now ready to use auto-suggestions that reach your higher mind, imprinting it with the ideas you want it to carry out. Auto-suggestion literally means talking to yourself, talking to your subconscious mind. Use the following positive verbs of action to imprint your desires on your subconscious mind. I am. I can. I will. I do. I have. I desire. Besides the auto-suggestions mentioned, you can make up your own, using the above verbs of action, and imprint your subconscious mind with anything that you desire. Prosperity Secret No. 1. To increase the flow of money in your life immediately. I desire large sums of money to help me achieve financial security. I ask for ideas that bring money from unexpected sources immediately. I desire the sum of $10,000 to help me pay off debts and to afford to live a more comfortable life. 
I wish to be guided to a source of income that will amount to more than $50,000 a year. I desire a business of my own with someone to finance me, so I can become independent and rich. I now tap the hidden gold mine within my subconscious mind for ideas that can make me rich, rich, rich. Repeat these auto-suggestions at least five times each. Prosperity Miracle Number 47 She used self-hypnosis to revive a dying beauty business. Mary S. lived in an outlying community near Los Angeles. She had bought a small beauty shop with money she had saved over the years as a secretary. When she came to the class, she told me that her business was failing, and she was running into debt. Not enough women sought out her services in beauty culture. Soon I had Mary practicing prosperity secret number one to increase the flow of money immediately. She repeated the auto-suggestions previously given ten times each night before she fell asleep. She had a desperate need for $10,000 to pay off her debts, so she began with that amount first. One week later, a young woman came into her shop. Her first words were startling. I can triple your business within two weeks, or you need not pay me a cent for my services, she said. Of course, Mary accepted the offer, for it would cost her nothing if it failed. Sure enough, the woman did have a big idea. She put ads in the local papers saying, Hollywood beauty expert offers free skin and beauty analysis and expert advice on hair, skin, and nail care. Learn the secrets of the movie stars for greater beauty. The next day the shop was packed with women eager to benefit from an expert's advice. Of course, they were advised to have skin treatments, massages, facials with special creams, and specific beauty products carried by the salon, which made very big profits for Mary the very first day. From this initial start, Mary soon had the $10,000 she had asked for to pay off her debts and was on the way to making $50,000 and more a year from her revived business. Prosperity Secret Number 2 For Peace of Mind and Peace of Soul I am now the center of a pool of stillness and quiescence within my own higher mind. I am peaceful and still. I am united with the cosmic mind that knows only peace and joy. I will myself to overcome the turbulence that is all around me. I am quiet and calm, while others give in to stormy passions and anger. Peace, be still, be still, be still, and know that I am God. Repeat these auto-suggestions at least five times each. Prosperity Secret Number 3 to improve your personality and become charming and magnetic. I now magnetize my higher mind centers with thoughts of friendship and social reciprocity. I can be loving and kind. I radiate charm and consideration. People will respond with love and friendship. I desire a forceful personality so I can win friends and influence them to do my bidding. I will act in a positive manner towards others. I shall smile and have a pleasant expression on my face at all times. My words shall reflect love and kindness. I can overcome the hostility and anger that may be directed against me by forgiving others and showing only love and consideration. Repeat the above auto-suggestions at least five times each. Prosperity Secret Number 4 To find love happiness and create an atmosphere of love and harmony in marriage. I desire fulfillment in my love life. I wish to attract my true soulmate. I shall be cheerful and optimistic in my relationship with my beloved. I shall give more than I receive in this loving union. I try to overcome any defects that may blight my love life. I will make every effort to be kind, considerate, forgiving and loving. If problems arise, I shall be patient in helping to solve them. I shall create an atmosphere of a perpetual honeymoon in love and marriage. I shall say the three magic words, I love you, every day to my beloved. Prosperity Miracle Number 48 Her faltering marriage was saved through self-hypnosis. Jeanette L. had two small children and was desperately anxious to save her marriage from breaking up. She found this increasingly difficult to do because her husband was a compulsive gambler and spent every penny on his destructive habit. She had tried nagging her husband about his bad habits, but this only seemed to drive them farther apart. 
and he did not stop his gambling. Her personality had become so negative that she seldom smiled, and her sex drive was completely gone. Finally, she sought my help, but only after she had made her decision to get a divorce and win custody of her children. When I told Jeanette that she should try using self-hypnosis, she cried out, But it's not me who needs to change. It's my husband. He's the one who's spending all the money and depriving me and the children of even the necessities of life. I finally persuaded her that she needed to change also, so she could have a positive influence on her husband. I gave her the appropriate auto-suggestions, under Section 4, that fitted her exact needs and told her to repeat these at night just before going to sleep. Your husband may not know what you're doing, but he will soon see the change in you and will want to become a more loving, considerate, and cooperative human being. This strategy worked miracles. As Jeanette became a more loving, forgiving, and considerate wife, her husband began to change in his attitude. He still gambled occasionally, but much less than before. Finally, he volunteered to join a group for compulsive gamblers that eventually cured him of his habit. Jeanette saved her marriage, and her children are now emotionally secure in a home which is filled with love and happiness. Prosperity Secret Number 5 To have good health, long life, and to overcome harmful habits, such as smoking, drinking, or overeating. I ask my subconscious mind to create a strong, healthy, and youthful body, which shall sustain me for a long and useful life. I wish to overcome negative habits that might imperil my health and keep me from expressing life energy. I wish to control my appetite so I do not overeat and grow obese. I ask for control of the following habits that might be harming my health. Here state these habits, such as drinking alcohol excessively, smoking or taking unnecessary stimulants. I ask for willpower to master all negative forces in my life. I will think only positive thoughts that express life, energy, health, happiness, and peace. I program my cosmic time clock with the desire to live to be 100 years of age, so that I may successfully fulfill all my life ambitions. Repeat each of these auto-suggestions at least five times. Prosperity Secret Number 6 To remove negative personality traits of self-consciousness, inferiority and inadequacy, and implant poise, confidence and self-reliance. I now build the new self-image of the positive, poised and self-confident personality that I desire. I can and will overcome all tendencies to self-consciousness and inferiority that keep me from achieving high goals. I am created in the image and likeness of God. Therefore, I reflect only His qualities of perfection and idealism. I desire a personality that is magnetic and attractive. I do things that make me friendly, cooperative, and loving. I reflect inner and outer poise and confidence. I prepare my mind with adequate knowledge to give me supreme confidence in myself that makes me feel at ease in the presence of others. I think superior thoughts and become inspired with the desire to achieve high goals. Repeat each of these auto-suggestions at least five times. Prosperity Secret Number 7 To achieve new life experiences and thrilling adventures in your quest for cosmic fulfillment. I am aware that I was created to have a great destiny. The gift of life entitles me to thrilling adventures and rewards that bring soul satisfaction and dream fulfillment. I desire to travel to exciting new places, have contacts with interesting and important people, experience cultural benefits that enable me to enjoy fine art, beautiful music, inspiring poetry, magnificent literature, and the beauty that adorns all nature. I shall cultivate an appreciation of that which is inspiring and beautiful. I ask for contacts with people of culture and refinement who express the same feelings of beauty and idealism as myself. Repeat each of these auto-suggestions at least five times. Prosperity Miracle Number 48 Marcia Kay gained thrilling new experiences in her life. After five years of secretarial work, Marcia Kay admitted that she was tired of her work and wanted desperately to make changes in her life. She told me she wanted to travel to foreign countries to meet important and interesting people, and also to find a soulmate who would bring romantic fulfillment. She began giving herself self-hypnotic suggestions to change the habit patterns of her life 
and help her find the fulfillment of her dream. She had enrolled in a French study course two years before because she hoped one day she might use this international language in some way. She took a refresher course in French and kept up her self-hypnotic suggestions for six more months before the big miracle happened. A girlfriend of Marcia's worked at the UN for a French official. She invited Marcia to have lunch with them one day, and from that introduction came the miracle Marcia had hoped for. A man at the UN had to return to Paris to take up his post there, and he needed a secretary who could converse and write in both English and French. Marcia got the job, and before she knew it, she was packed and on her way to the glamorous capital of France to take up her new duties there. She was soon invited to a round of parties at the embassy, where she met important and interesting people, and soon was dating two young men who both wanted to marry her. Her dreams were on their way to coming true. Prosperity secret number eight, release of creative gifts and talents through the power of visualization and imagination. I wish to become a channel for the expression of creative gifts and talents that will bring me fame and fortune. I ask my subconscious mind to release the power of my imagination so I can visualize myself writing great books, composing beautiful music, inventing useful objects, and performing great works that enlist my full potentials for greatness. I know there is a hidden gold mine within me from which I can bring forth golden nuggets of great ideas that will make me rich and famous. I visualize myself as winning world acclaim for my creative ideas. I imagine the prospect of receiving large sums of money for my efforts. I visualize living in a beautiful home, surrounded by my loved ones and entertaining my friends. Prosperity Miracle Number 49 her first novel brought her success through self-hypnosis. Dorothy E. had always felt that she was destined for a great career, but her life was mired down with hard work and little money. She married when she was 18 and had two children in three years. Her husband believed that a wife's place was in the home and would never consent to letting her work because of the children. One night Dorothy had her mother stay with the children in order to attend my class with a friend. That night I spoke about how a person can release creative gifts through self-hypnosis using visualization and imagination. She began to use self-hypnosis that night to program a writing career for herself. Later Dorothy told me this impelled her to take books out of the public library about writing novels. Learning how great authors had written their novels inspired her to write down her ideas for her own future novel. Writing when the children were asleep and when the housework was done, Dorothy soon had written a fairly large novel in which she was the heroine. She found that the flow seemed to come from a higher mind. She personally took the book to various publishing houses, but each one turned it down. She made up her mind that she would not give up and enrolled in an evening course in short story writing. It was there that her miracle occurred. A young man was also taking the course who just happened to work for a fairly new publisher that was looking for manuscripts. When Dorothy told him about her novel, he asked to read it. The result was that he took it to his boss, who liked it and published it. Dorothy is now writing a TV script for national viewing and seems to be on her way to the career that she dreamed about. Prosperity secret number nine, to achieve a social life in which you are popular and able to sway people to do your bidding. I wish to become socially popular so I may function gracefully in a group of people who are talented, interesting, and refined. I wish to attract friends who are idealistic and whose ambitions reflect my own inner feelings and desires. I shall strive to cultivate my mind with knowledge of many different fields. I shall be conversant on the latest books, the current political scene, the scientific progress of the day, the latest inventions, the classical forms of art as well as modem art and try to keep abreast of the times in all fields. I will my subconscious mind to find ways in which I can improve my social contacts and to attract only those friends who are on the same plane of action as myself. Repeat each of these auto-suggestions at least five times. Prosperity secret number 10, to find spiritual fulfillment and soul serenity to rise above life's recurring tragedies. I long to find cosmic fulfillment and soul serenity so I can soar above life's recurring disasters and disappointments. Guide me to spiritual studies and revelations that will give my soul cosmic awareness of life's mysteries. 
I ask for union with the soul of the universe so that I can function under divine guidance and intuition. I ask for powers of clairvoyance and clairaudience so that I can hear the voice of the spirit that is trying to give me visions of my future life. I relax and let go of all worries, fears, and anxieties, knowing that I am a child of a loving God who now takes over my life and leads me to cosmic fulfillment. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 17 1. Use self-hypnosis to release the amazing power that lies hidden within your subconscious and superconscious minds. 2. Self-hypnosis can be induced through concentration, relaxation, and giving yourself powerful auto-suggestions. 3. Learn the six verbs of action that program your higher mind. I am, I can, I will, I do, I have, and I desire, and how to use them. 4. Use the I desire suggestions to increase the flow of money into your life and ask for an income of $50,000 or more a year. 5. Mary S. used self-hypnosis to revive her failing beauty business and made an income of $50,000 a year. 6. Use auto-suggestions for peace of mind and peace of soul and achieve immediate inner tranquility and joy. 7. Use self-hypnotic statements to improve your personality and make you a charming and magnetic person who is able to win friends and hold them. 8. Learn the self-hypnotic suggestions that bring you love happiness and create an atmosphere of harmony and love in your home. 9. Jeanette used self-hypnosis to save a broken marriage and cure her gambling husband of his habit. 10. Use self-hypnotic suggestions to give you good health, a long life, and to overcome bad habits like smoking, drinking, or overeating. 11. Use the self-hypnotic suggestions daily to help overcome negative traits of self-consciousness, inferiority, and inadequacy, and achieve instant poise, confidence, and self-reliance. 12. Thrilling life adventures and a completely new life can be programmed by using self-hypnotic suggestions for cosmic fulfillment. 13. Marsha K. desired a life of travel, adventure, and excitement. She used self-hypnosis, and within six months, miracles happened. 14. Unlock hidden potentials of creative gifts by using self-hypnosis and become an artist, writer, inventor, composer, or successful business person. 15. Dorothy E. used self-hypnosis to release the creative gift of writing and soon wrote a successful first novel. 16. Build the right social life and attract friends by giving yourself self-hypnotic treatment. 18. Master plan your life with prosperity magic for every need. There is a master plan back of the universe that makes all creation operate under perfect law. We see this in the law of magnetism that holds the planets in their fixed orbits, causing them to revolve around the sun in order and without confusion. In fact, the stars are so accurate under this master plan that we set our clocks on earth by the stars in the heavens. The same master plan is at work in nature's realm. Spring is for planting the seed that brings a bountiful crop in the master plan for man's survival. Summer is for growth. Fall is for the harvest of the crops. And winter is a time of rest and recovery. These four cycles also exist in the master plan for your future growth and evolvement. You can release prosperity magic in each of these four seasons of life so your mystical tree of life bears fruit at harvest time. The soul, too, experiences growth and evolvement in the winter time of life as man prepares for another springtime when the soul's immortality is assured. Your personal master plan for your future prosperity. Your personal master plan should include all of the elements that bring you satisfaction, enjoyment, and fulfillment. Make up your own personal master plan, using the following statements as a guide to the most prominent elements. 1. The right work or career that you choose. 2. Money rewards or other forms of remuneration. 3. Cultural and educational pursuits. 4. 
leisure time in which to enjoy the rewards of life. 5. The romantic life, including marriage happiness, children, and a home of your own. 6. A satisfactory social life with people you enjoy. 7. Ego satisfaction derived from creative expression of your inner potentials. 8. Perfect health and a long, useful life. 9. A peaceful life with harmony in your home and work. 10. Soul growth and evolvement spiritually. Include all of these elements in your own master plan and add others that might be of personal value to you. Then follow the schedule given below to master plan your life with prosperity magic for your every need. 1. How to master plan your right work or career. If you have not yet chosen your life work and do not know what career you should follow for future success, you may need intuitive guidance toward your capabilities. Meditate quietly for an hour or more and ask your higher psychic mind for guidance. Mentally ask your higher mind this question, what work am I best suited to follow? The answer may not come through as a sudden revelation, so continue to think about the various types of work that you would enjoy doing. As you visualize yourself in these various occupations, your higher mind will automatically select the one for which you are best suited. You will return to that category again and again. For example, if you have an interest in electronics, you will find yourself eliminating all other fields and returning unconsciously to the electronics field for your career. If you are suited for an artistic career, such as designing, painting, writing, composing, or the performing arts, all other possibilities will be automatically eliminated after you give consideration to your artistic and creative potentials. When your psychic mind keeps feeding back the same information time after time, you know that you are on the right track and that your hidden potentials are being revealed to you. If you have already found your right career and are happy in your present work, then proceed to make plans for reaching your goals in the future. 2. How to Master Plan Money Rewards or Other Remuneration First, build your own sense of value. How much do you really think you deserve to earn as a salary? If you feel that you have prepared yourself for big money rewards, then you should proceed to ask for rich rewards from life. If you feel inadequately prepared, then you should take time out to prepare yourself with more accurate knowledge so that you are worthy of a bigger salary or a better job. Do you have a healthy respect for money with regard to increasing your money through careful investments? If so, money will continue to seek you out, and your higher psychic mind will guide you to ways through which you can make larger amounts. Keep accurate financial records of what you buy and sell. Have a money goal that you will try to reach and set a definite age for financial independence. Prosperity Miracle Number 50 Young man set high goals early in life and achieved them. Richard E. told me that when he was first married, he had little money in the bank, but high goals and expectations in his mind. As a wedding present, he gave his wife a check for $10,000 for a string of matched pearls. He said, cash this check five years from today and buy the pearl necklace as a wedding gift. His wife put the check away, and they both forgot about it but Richard's subconscious mind remembered it. During that five-year period, he went into the used car business and made big money. Exactly on the date that he had written on the check, Richard's wife went to the bank with confidence that the $10,000 would be there. It was, and with it, she bought the wedding gift that her husband had promised her. The inspiration and motivation that Richard had released worked a miracle of success in his subconscious mind and fulfilled his dream of prosperity. 3. How to master plan your cultural and educational pursuits. You should never be finished with your education. Even after you graduate from school, there should be a study schedule that continues throughout your adult life. Learn something new each day. A word, a new way of doing business, something about science or politics or the arts. Learn a new language. Study something that prepares you for an avocation or hobby like ceramics, painting pictures, photography, 
interior decorating, collecting stamps, coins or antiques, or other objects of value. The continuation of your education can be achieved also through use of your public library. Books are there on any and all subjects that interest you. Also through use of an encyclopedia set, you can find invaluable information about subjects that interest you, such as astronomy, archaeology, botany, history, medicine, and science. 4. How to master plan time in which you can enjoy the rewards of life. You have been given one of the most valuable gifts in all creation, 24 golden hours of priceless time every day. You can either waste life's precious hours in useless pursuits, or spend these 24 golden hours each day with great care, and obtain the greatest value for every moment of life. Master plan each day, allowing yourself eight hours for profitable work. Then set aside eight hours for personal use. This can be for entertainment, social life, studying some special subject, watching TV, or going to public places like theaters or sporting events. Then there are left eight hours for resting and sleeping. By dividing your day into these three segments of time, you can live a full, rich and rewarding life without overdoing in any department. The eight hours for your personal use can also be spent in exercising, jogging, swimming, tennis, golf, or other sports. Two hours a day should be carefully reserved for your own personal spiritual growth, such as meditation or studies such as metaphysics, religion, or philosophy. This gives you balance in times of stress and helps build inner poise and serenity. 5. How to master plan your romantic life for happiness. Even your romantic life must follow certain rules if you are to find happiness in love and marriage. Give more time to your romantic life than you do now. If married, spend more time with your family and share precious moments with your mate and children. After the children are grown and you look back, you will regret every moment that you missed with them. Search for your true soulmate, if still single, with the knowledge of the qualities you want in that person. Before you enter into the state of marriage, be sure that you are ready to take on the responsibilities and duties that a family life entails. Cultivate the qualities of tolerance, patience, compassion, forgiveness, and understanding, so you will be able to handle various situations that are bound to arise in every marriage. 6. How to master plan your social life. Choose your friends with great care, for they are the people who will share many precious hours of your future life. Avoid people of low standards and shabby morals. Choose those who are on the same educational and social background as yourself, for people on a lower level may tend to pull you down to their level. Join church groups, social clubs, or lodges, where you can meet people with cultivated minds, whose ambitions and desires parallel your own. Busy yourself with community affairs and seek to be active on committees that advocate social progress, school reforms, and other things that benefit the community. Avoid settling down into a dull routine of life by going out socially at least one night a week. You can do this by inviting small groups of people for games, barbecues, special anniversaries, birthday parties, and holidays. Take short trips occasionally to vary your routine of life. Go on vacations to places where you can meet the type of people who interest you most. You will often meet people on vacation who become lifelong friends. Live in a neighborhood where there are families with children who can play with your children, and that is near good schools for your children. 7. How to master plan creative expression of your inner potentials. There are vast hidden reserves that everyone possesses, which, when brought into creative expression, can bring much satisfaction and rich rewards. Discover what these inner potentials are. They vary from person to person. In your case, it may be the desire to paint pictures, create beautiful music, write poetry, decorate homes, or other art forms, such as wood carving, ceramics, or weaving. Once you discover what your hidden potentials are, you can begin a careful and systematic release of the creative talent you possess. Sometimes this leads to a completely new career. Then again, it can be used to give pleasure to your family and friends. Try many different forms of creative expression. 
Join groups in art, music, drama, public speaking, gardening, knitting and sewing and designing garments. You can do one or more things at a time and still do them well. The satisfaction of your ego is assured when your mind actively engages in creative expression of some sort. 8. How to master plan your health for a long life. Even your future health depends on having a master plan by which you live. Each day give time to the routine needs of your body. Attend to diet. Make sure it is balanced and fits your energy expenditure. Balance your working hours by suitable rest periods and relaxation. Exercise moderately each day if you are past 40. If younger, swim, play tennis, jog, lift weights, or try other activities that give you healthful exercise without strain. Maintain a good mental and emotional balance and avoid the negative emotions that often short-circuit the body, such as fear, worry, hate, jealousy, greed, revenge, selfishness, and envy. Enthrone the positive health-giving emotions such as confidence, peace, joy, friendliness, forgiveness, generosity, sharing, and love. 9. How to master plan peace and harmony in your home and work. Living too much in the outer world of confusion, change, and strife, you may find yourself mentally distressed and unhappy. There will always be problems in the world, so you must learn to live in the world, but not be of the world. Learn to retire at least half an hour to one full hour a day into your own peaceful Shangri-La, where you can find serenity and joy. This is done through meditation which causes you to withdraw your sense perceptions from the troubles of the outer world and ascend to the spiritual mountaintop, where you are far removed from the world's tragedies. Adopt the law of passing time as your philosophy. Know that a certain problem, tragedy, loss of a beloved one, will pass away on the stream of time. Mentally project yourself five years away from the present, when all these problems and anxieties will be over. Try to experience the feeling that the future is already here, and that you are free of life's fretful burdens. 10. How to Master Plan Spirituality and Soul Growth Have a spiritual belief in some power, such as God. Atheists are usually not happy people, so try to express your belief in a power by daily worship, faith, and prayer. Do good for others and adopt a loving personality that expresses itself daily. For God is good, and God is love. Study all of the world's religions. Although there are nine recognized world religions, there are also thousands of different sects in all these spiritual revelations. Choose a church that you can attend regularly and find other harmonious souls who believe as you do. You must build your life on solid values. These are spiritual in nature. As you grow older and near the end of life, take comfort in the knowledge that there is a master plan back of the universe. You are part of that glorious tapestry of dreams, which is God's cosmic plan for His creation. Whatever is ahead is right and proper for your stage of evolution. So accept this mystical mosaic of life with poise and equanimity as you approach the sunset years of life. Prosperity Magic Guidelines in Chapter 18 1. Learn the master plan that is back of the universe and how it operates through the law of gravity and magnetism. 2. There are four cycles or seasons in nature that also direct your life. Springtime for planting, summer for growth, fall for the harvest, and winter for rest and spiritual growth. 3. The personal master plan for your future prosperity should include ten viral elements that bring you fulfillment and cosmic completion. 4. Use this regimen to master plan your right work or career and begin immediately to benefit from your great success. 5. Money and other rewards should flow in abundance when you build your own sense of value and demand more money from life. 6. Richard E. Master planned his life early. He gave his wife a $10,000 check. Five years later, she was able to cash it as he planned. 7. Your master plan includes cultural and educational activities. 8. Twenty-four golden hours a day have been given to you for work, play, relaxation, cultural and social pursuits, 
and spiritual growth. 9. The master plan back of your romantic life includes marriage to your true soulmate and the forming of a family unit of your own. 10. The master plan for health includes work balanced by play, rest and exercise, as well as a diet that nourishes and sustains the body. 11. Apply the law of passing time to your life when things seem to be going wrong. 12. Learn how to master plan your spirituality and soul growth to bring you inner tranquility and peace and prepare you for the sunset years of life. This recording of the Miracle of Prosperity Magic by Norval was presented by Stargate Book. Sound recording copyright 2023 and produced by DeepSend Limited 2023.